Have I'm you sorry. ever been to a furry convention? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm talking what? about weird what? things. What? You want to talk about... <laughs> What? <laughs> For real? So, we're talking so, about who you're attracted to, right? Yeah. <laughs> do you know what those people do? Yes, yes, I do. He's too high to have a conversation. It's perfect. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there was a UFC once. No. And it was in a Pittsburgh. A UFC furry convention. No, no, no. Bro. What the fuck are you doing? I'm trying to no, tell no. you a story. I thought, I thought it was both. I was there like, was a UFC once yeah. in Pittsburgh. And the day we flew into yeah, town dude. was the same day as a furry convention. Okay. So we land at the airport. Yeah. We get the rental car. We're driving to the hotel. And yeah. along the way, we're like, what the fuck is going yeah. on? <laughs> so like, what do you do? You, like, hop out and suck their dicks? Or what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus, bro. <laughs> They're animals. Marijuana is not good for everybody, yeah, yeah. Right, ladies right, and gentlemen. Right, yeah. If one. we've learned... <laughs> <laughs> Anything today. It's don't give in to peer pressure. <laughs> Imagine he ain't when some bro. drug addict offers you their <laughs> daily drug of choice he's and you never much smoke more weed. Than don't listen to them. Thank bro. You. He's much more high than you. I'm not high, but I got a piss. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should probably go ahead and do that. Hold on. So the furry convention, go. You guys yeah. pull up. So who is all, it? It's you who? I don't remember who was with me at the time. Um, it was uh Probably some of the folks that worked at the UFC we were probably, I don't remember, but yeah. I remember that as we were on our way to the hotel, we were like, why is everyone dressed like a mascot? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah like, yeah. I was like, what is going on? And we're passing by, like, what the fuck is happening here? And then somebody figured out that it was a furry convention. And by the time we got to the hotel, we, we became friends with the guy who worked at the front desk. And he goes, uh, dude. I'm so glad normal people are staying here, too. <laughs> I go, what do you mean? He goes, most of the hotel is furries. I go, what? I go, well, what's the big deal? He goes, dude, they want a litter box. No. They no. asked for a litter Fuck. box to put in the front courtyard. I go, that what? disgusting. They literally asked, they requested a litter box. They were eating all of their food off of bowls. Bro. I'm like, are you no. fucking serious? He goes, no, dude, it's, it's like, crazy. there's different, he goes, there's not... <laughs> He goes, I'm not saying everybody's doing it. He goes, there's different levels. Like cereal bowls. Yeah. I'm just saying, we yeah. all like, use bowls. It's not the craziest thing. I think thing. he meant like, pet bowls. Litter boxes, wow. Some yeah, of yeah. these people are like... Asians. <laughs> doing party drugs yeah. and fucking each other while they're wearing their costumes. And that's they never fire. take the costumes off. I love that. Burn them it. I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's not, you think that's that crazy? I don't think it's that crazy. I just don't like the cartoon. The cartoon box is fucking but insane. They, yeah, they got to have those Pixar bodies, though. The Pixar animals are fire. That's my point. <laughs> right? The yeah. Pixar animals got the dumb <laughs> dumpsters. <laughs> But I don't like that they're cartoon animals. Like, I like animals. If you're going to dress up like one, be a, like an actual yeah, realistic my, animal. My, 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 yeah. Yeah. Stop, like the one that scared What's you as a child? Yes, exactly. What the, what the fuck, fuck is he fuck? doing, bro? Be a full blown Yo, bear. Mark, what type of bears you really like? Rainbow shirt? <laughs> 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 bro, somewhere in the Middle East, this guy hired a private investigator in North Carolina. I have no context to find me. Um, and this is just something that oh, happens. Yeah, 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 someone, this happens a lot. So whenever people call local private investigators, they just let us know because a lot of people just want to know where I am for whatever reason. Oh, the private investigators call you directly. Yeah, it's usually, which now I'm giving away my secrets, but oh well, I'm in too deep. But yeah. um, so he calls us, lets us know. He's like, this time it's someone from like Dubai. We don't really know what he wants, but he's just flying to North Carolina tomorrow. And I'm, he just paid me to find you. And we're like, okay, cool. Um, and so then the next day he gets there, and then with the private, I have security. So my security went with the private investigator to meet him, and my security's just like, "Why the fuck are you here? Why are you trying to find Jimmy?" And the guy's like, "I just have video ideas. I really want to give them." And my security's like, "Fuck you! Why are you actually here?" And he's he just kept saying it like thirty times in a row. He's just like, "I just want to give him this sheet of ideas." And it's just a piece of paper with video ideas. Flies across the world, private investigator, everything, and so they're like, "We don't believe you." And so they, like, he let them, my security, search his hotel room, couldn't find anything, nothing in there, just a suitcase of clothes. Um, and he just literally just did all that to give me a list of ideas. And, and? Then, and then, well, my security was like, oh, Jimmy's out of town for three months. I was, and I was <laughs> like, did you ever get the fucking ideas? Yeah, well, then, and just get, took it, I was like, I'll give it to Jimmy. And then he gave it to me, and it was just like, it was like, open up a free gas station, like, open hey, up. That's actually, gas. that's. Yeah. It's a very Middle Eastern yeah. idea. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it was like literally so, like. He's trying to make money off you. He was getting a lick uh, off of you. It was like 30 ideas like that. And then I was just like. This is actually a watch women read in public or something like that. Like, <laughs> is that one of them? We, yeah. we, we did get Squid Game out of that. 
Bullshit. No. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. <laughs> you guys stole the guy from Dubai's idea? <laughs> this was before the real Squid Game. That's the Yeah, no, part. he wrote it all out. Yeah, he yeah. just all 456 the, fucking, the screenplay. And so yeah. This guy just hired private investigators, flew down there, all this money, camped out, just to give me a list of video ideas. And none of them were good. None of them were good. <laughs> wow. What a what loser. What a fucking idiot, right? <laughs> what a fucking you loser. dumb idiot. You're probably watching right <laughs> I've now. I've never told this story publicly. Now he's going to know that I actually did it. He and he's can. coming back because he oh, knows where to find you. Good. He should no. know. You read his ideas and they sucked. They he were ought to find you. Ideas. He's got money to get an investigator if you can find him. He's oh, yeah, this you guy's guys. got money too. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. Next time, pitch him on ideas. Pitch me. I got plenty of ideas. Hire the your private investigators. I need ideas. Give me the Dubai ideas. I paid Instagram Bro, influencer for. one million dollars to shit on a glass York. table. <laughs> I love you, dude. I kiss you on the lips right now, but you won't do it because you're a little weird about that stuff. You are a little weird about that stuff. Kissing on the lips, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How about the cheek? Like, a... Yeah, I'd do that. Okay. Yeah, okay, come, no come. problem. Yeah. Steal it. Go ahead. Steal it. Kiss him on the mouth. There you go. Steal oh, it. No problem. Like, do both sides, right? No? Okay, that's fine. Do it. Like, let's do a scene. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. All right, Bobby, you're gonna see you. No, and I have to say that. Oh. Or no? Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, but you're way too fast. Because I know you're trying to. I know you're trying to kiss me on the no. lips. No, I'm not. I know you're way too fast. Because do do I know. That. I know you're a sneaky. No, no, no. <laughs> Fuck you. No, 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 no. no. Oh, it. homophobic. <laughs> I see homophobic. <laughs> Oh. Weird, huh? Weird. Right, so when we see, stop. What do you mean by sneaky? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Dude, did you, you know get that? I got hurt. Yeah, you know how he sent me his dick? Huh? You know how he sent me his dick? I said I love you, and then he just sent me a picture of his dick. And that's love. That's love. That's, that's not love. love. That's, that's, that's not love. That's a cultural thing. That's not cultural. That's not cultural. Bonjour, no. And we walked out. We have to walk out. You guys are in Italy. You guys are in Italy. We just bumped into each other on the streets of Rome. Let's do the bump first. Okay. Okay. I'm walking down the street. Oh. Oh. Bonjour. <laughs> I have figured out a See, workaround. I figured out a workaround. I figured out a workaround. Yeah. You know what I mean? Very if smart. You, if Italy saw that, you wouldn't think it was weird. They're like, oh, that's a no, no, no. That, that, that looked weird. weird. That, 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 that looked weird. That looked weird. I put his hand here so you wouldn't kiss. So him. you oh, oh, that's right. a kiss. Yeah. But if everyone trusted his theory, it would still sit there wrong. And there'd be spaceships, you know, crashing into moons. Now, is that how you feel about uh, the vaccine and, <laughs> you know, and <laughs> AIDS and stuff? Like, how do you? Yeah. AIDS. What about AIDS and stuff? Well, AIDS. I trust AIDS. Yeah. I trust AIDS. Do you? AIDS is doing a great job at what it does. At I'm not saying it, it should be doing it. Right. I'm saying it's it, it's, it, it's a fantastic yes, it's virus. Efficient. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like 9/11, you had to in the sorrow and the anger and the and the rage and the sadness, you had to go, dude, fucking bullseye, <laughs> bullseye. <laughs> Bulls eye. I'm glad you Bulls said it because I can't. You right, know what yeah. I mean? Um, thank Bulls you. Bulls yeah. fucking IE. Both? You got both? It's two. You fucking. It's two. Yeah. And the Pentagon. Yeah. And the Pentagon. Are you yeah. fucking crazy? Boom, boom, boom. And Building 7. One. Building 7. Fucking, yeah. You know? I mean, just. Oh. Mm. Lord have mercy. They were. Masterpiece, would you say? Yeah. 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 Some might say It's the Mona Lisa of terrorism. For sure. I wish they hadn't. Sure. But. Because of fucking, all people that died. Whoa, they really nailed it. They fucking <laughs> nailed it, dude. Yeah. yeah. I'm sh and I think they see it that way. They can appreciate One it. One of my favorite stories about it was uh, there was a documentary about it on PBS after. And they talked, uh, you know, they tried once before with the with the truck bomb. Mm -hmm. the, in the one the notorious B.I.G. sang about. I think it was 96. In like 95 or 96. Yeah. 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 I remember it. I was living here. And uh, they found, so they got the one of the guys they, that did it. They took him. They were uh, taking him. Uh, they talked to a cop. This is a great interview. They talked. To <laughs> he just had a fucking Rain Man moment right there. I think it was ninety three. It was ninety five or ninety six. I think. It, what, what was ninety three? Wasn't that? What was that? The Somalia. <laughs> Black Hawk Down? It was in 93. Black Black in Kuwait. You're thinking of Kuwait, I think. <laughs> well, wait, when, looked, did, when did Biggie up. die? Ninety seven. Okay. Okay. Biggie had time. 1993 to was the bombing. Let's go, list. Let's fucking go. Okay. <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> oh, I know my bummy. And then 2004 was 9/11. He knows. When was the, when was, 
<laughs> the guy, the guy that gets the '93 bombing, but not the 2001. <laughs> Once you have a kid, morning fucking, sex, oh. bye bye. Yeah, really. I'm not a big morning sex guy. I feel I like mean, that's when you're at your worst. I used to love. Not it. A big I just, you know, yeah, I don't, I'm asexual. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Why morning sex? Well, just because the kid ends up in your bed every morning. They're like, wake up before you. You want to go back to sleep. You bring them to the bed. Uh, you know, breastfeeding. It's not really sexy. Yeah, you guys did the pregnancy porn, too. That was wild. That's like the one category I don't go to. I've never watched it either. But she she was so <laughs> determined. She wanted to keep working up until she was like six months in. We did one scene where she was so huge and just full For of babies. Talk, yeah, yeah that, that she was just like, you fuck her. Emily you Willis. Fuck her. I was like, <laughs> Can barely breathe. You took maternity you, leave, basically. Yeah, basically. No. But like, okay, so when I was pregnant, it was peak pandemic, and that was the best time for OnlyFans. Like, the numbers were just through the roof. Everyone yeah. had their stimulus checks. You oh. set the record, right? I mean, those were my record months for sure. Okay. Like, I was not gonna stop working. Yeah. So it was just, I'm pregnant, but we're killing it with money. And then there are people who are probably extra freaky want to see the pregnancy stuff. Mm. People Can you feel for- the baby kick? Is that weird? Like you got your hand on it and it's like Bro. giving you a pound? Like, I'm, r- I'm just you saying. You like, what I wouldn't want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> and I had nothing to say, I but this is it. I had. What am I saying? You know, I'm just question, saying, it? It, yeah. you know, what do people think about you, you that stuff? I don't that. watch you it. Can't what, what are the comments that, say? You cannot ask Okay, that. I'm not asking but You can it. ask Adam. Did you uh, feel uh, it? Uh, <laughs> soccer kick to the head. <laughs> I don't remember. The truth is I really don't remember. Do you guys think you've completely revolutionized how people see porn? No. In terms of, <laughs> in terms of stigma. I, th- I think you have. I think but the OnlyFans revolution on as a whole has, yeah. and I think she was very, very early on to be like a normal person who just started in the OnlyFans, and like the level of attention that she got when she first started Crazy. was insane because it just really felt like you were a normal person who chose to do OnlyFans or Private Snap at the time. Yeah. And there was definitely like something about that, whereas I feel like the, the public is maybe a little disillusioned to that now where they realize like, oh, they can make a ton of money. That's why they're doing it. Uh. Yeah, I think maybe it's like the number here hits and then American greed like it's like baked into our DNA we start saying oh that's a reasonable way to make money like, yeah, yeah. like like we're totally fine like with a pharmaceutical company we're totally fine with a, I'm sure you guys have gone through these like moral gymnastics where you're like oh there are things that should be scrutinized but they're not and this thing yeah. is very heavily scrutinized well a lot of OnlyFans girls get to like you know 20k a month or something and they're like oh I've, I've made it I'm done we're, we're the greedy ones who are actually like, no, how are we going to take this to the next level and really make a real fucking business out of it? And then that's like the mentality that led us to like, well, maybe we could do a podcast that's also a porno. And this is Plug Talk. Only yeah. PlugTalk.com. Okay, so this is, yeah, I mean, plug everything. I am, I, because I do it. <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay. Just want to throw that in there. Plug Talk. Plug Talk. Interview the porn star. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Have sex with her afterwards. Mm-hmm. Yes. Keep the mics on. No, no, we switched to the boom mic, which is so annoying because it would be nice to just fuck, but you got to deal with the headset thing. No, I'm a journalist, happened. bro. We've had real, you know, we have a superstar on the show right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have my glasses somewhere, but I did real research, man. I did like real in-depth Nardwar shit with you. All right. So what do you got? Like Nardwar says something that no one knows about the person. Do you have something? You played for the 49ers when you were 11 years old. Whoa. Bang! Whoa. Your dad was the assistant coach. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. And you hate when people tickle your belly button. Bro, shit. <laughs> <laughs> is it this true? is good. Yeah, is yeah. Don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. You know what's funny? I've seen him knock people out, so I'm kind of saying, <laughs> yeah, like, like, wow. wow. that's a little annoying. Yeah. Well, you're on the hook side. Yeah, he can that's get true. you. That's yeah, true. I gotta yeah. be careful. Info from my brother? No, no, I don't even know your brother like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay? Yeah, I could have. <laughs> okay. I also, I also know another thing. Uh, you don't like when people touch your toes. That's true, too. Okay. That's yeah. tough here because we're into toes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're yeah. a real toe fetish. Yeah. yeah. This, this, this side fetish. of the room loves feet. But then, what if they ask work. you? They're going to be like, oh, Schultz, what's your position on foreign policy? What do we do? Well, it depends what foreign policy. Gas prices. What do we do about that? Gas prices are going up. Yep. A lot of people is affecting a lot of people. Can I take this one? Sure. <laughs> Gas prices are going up. Lower them. That's honestly, honestly I think that's beautiful. brilliant, actually. <laughs> Guys, this is so easy. I can't believe you think this is hard. Give Yo, me another one. He's killing it. 
Okay, uh, what about like uh, trans equality in America? You don't think he supports trans? He watches Euphoria. He supports gays. He got the same length pants as Gerard Carmichael. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good ass point, actually. <laughs> what else? What else? What else? What else? <laughs> Uh, Hot I mean, button topics, big issues. I have to be ready. I have to be prepared for this. Or like refugees, like would you take refugees and stuff like that? If they can get here, yes. <laughs> yeah. If they find a way, yeah. if they could, I mean, if they, if they get turned away, or you know, in a boat in like the Black Sea and then end up over here, that's that's impressive. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I'm Dodging with that. Pirates and shit. That's yeah, how Columbus yeah, 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 yeah. started this whole shit. I think. Yeah. I think you should be able to arrive to to America by boat. Ooh, uh, I like that. You can only come here by boat. By boat, yeah. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, who's gonna stop you? Like, if you just pull up to these river, like, I don't think anybody's gonna say you can't be here. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's good. They will, yeah. No, they will boat. say that though. They, say again? they do say you can't be here if you just pull. Up who's to say? It's a Puerto Rican guy fishing. <laughs> There's no one that's gonna stop you from like entering the country. Come by boat. People aren't coming by boat. No, they are. They who? The Cubans. <laughs> they don't have boats. What do they have? A boot. <laughs> if they had a boat they could actually make it into this country okay. effectively i'm supportive of this okay. i've really solved every problem al is there anything in your community oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah they've been complaining about the racism stuff nonstop. yeah yeah did you forget you're black for a second yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> i work see, for the government i'm not really yeah, got yeah, to yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm blue flag authority <laughs> <all day. laughs> <laughs> well, yes, Black Lives Matter. How do you feel about Black that? I think they matter. Okay. You, you think they matter? Okay. I think they matter. That's okay. a good answer. I don't answer. think we should be able to touch black people at all. And I'm only going to hire black Secret Service. Why? Because oh. they hold the most secrets. <laughs> yeah, they don't snitch. They oh, don't snitch yeah. at all. Oh, yeah, not like Blacks service. don't snitch. Okay. So wherever we fucking go, nobody's going to know. Okay. Okay. Uh, what else? Employment's going up. That's good. I like that. Yes. Well, another hot fucking topic. Uh, did uh, you call police. it a hot bucket topic? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's not chicken, topic. Al. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about chicken? How do I feel about chicken? We are going to make all the things that endanger black people illegal. Mm. Okay. Fried chicken. Okay. Mm. Sugar. Mm. Police? That's not a big issue. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we're going to start with fried foods and sugar and see where we go. Oh, okay. Because black lives matter to me. You just lost the black vote. How? You just lost the You took away everything we How love. How can I lose the vote if I don't let them vote? Oh, oh that's also oh, a good point. Right? So who's allowed to shit. vote? Say again? Who's allowed to vote? Whoever though? votes for me. Oh, okay. Oh, dictator. Yeah, yeah, dictator. Right. Yeah, again, dictator. I'm not trying to be president over here. Uh, we got to change some shit up. We yeah. got to be able to compete with the Chinese. Another one. Go. Oh, what about universal health care? That's a, that's a good one. I don't believe in it. Why? I've told you this before. What? Because Americans shouldn't have to pay the health care for the whole universe. Okay. That's a good point. That's, that's, that's a good point. That's a good point. Okay. That's ridiculous. We can't cover it. That's aliens. why it's so fucking expensive. Maybe if we just start with America, it would be affordable. Okay. So okay. what about American health care? Well, obviously, I'll provide that. How? How are you going to pay for it? Go to the hospital. They fix you. They never said no. <laughs> Who's paying the docs? Don't pay them. <laughs> no, that's okay. a good point. Actually. No, I actually I like think this, this through yeah. to the end. Watch. I've thought this through. Think it. Keep going. What yeah, happened? Don't yeah, pay these are your These are your docs. What are they going to do? They're mainly your people. Well, it's about time my parents stopped being proud of doctors and not me. <laughs> yeah. Now look how fucking broke they are. All right. Dumbasses. Also a good point. <laughs> Stay <Stagel>, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> this is all solved, really, when you think about it. Now, what happens with your medical bills when you die? Nothing. They get passed on to? I think that's student loans the, only. The I think you're confusing public. different loans. What do you mean they get passed on to the American public? Like, it's a free rider problem. Like We all have to absorb... Like and the, the not only not that, taken. it gets wiped out of your credit now. So it don't even affect your credit to not pay your medical bills. Word. We got free health care. We Word. just, it just, uh, Canadians don't pay for it on the front end. We only got to pay for it on the back end. It's the same. Yeah, what fucking the same losers same, to bro. actually pay your medical bills, dude? <laughs> yeah. Don't be a sucker, bro. That's a sucker. Go to the hospital, right take their fucking shit, and then leave. <laughs> Yeah, hell yeah. And then when they call, just don't answer, dude. Yeah. You act like you ain't got cholera. You gotta ghost them, bro. This is what you gotta do. Shit, I, know. Yeah. I can't believe that. Like you could ignore a girl who's calling you, but you can't ignore the hospital, dude. <laughs> Fuck the hospital. Ghost the hospital. Twenty twenty four. What yeah. the hell are they gonna do? Mm. They're gonna come to your door. Some nerd and. <laughs> Smocks? What are they called? <laughs> it's scrubs. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was the first time I ever did Molly. And how was? I was on stage. And it was. The craziest fucking thing. Like, <laughs> so during the pandemic, we would have shows at Helium. Yeah. And that they Helium would just, is a comedy club in Philly. Yeah, Philly. They would yeah. let us, let me book the show, bring our friends, and then yeah. hang out after. It was the only place we could, like, go to a bar. So Big J would come down every week, and we would, he would bring Molly. Right. We would all do Molly. And then it was like me, Norman, and Big J in the green room, and he was like, come on, guys, do it. And Norman was like, ah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he was so afraid of it. He was like, 
<laughs> I was like, dude, do it, you motherfucker. Love, yeah. love. I feel love. He took, it, he took it and freaked out and left. He got on, a, he got on the Chinatown bus back to no. New York. Yeah. He was on Molly on the bus. No. Like, Oh no! <laughs> Martin Norman riding the Chinatown bus is the saddest it's, part of that whole thing. So what sad. the fuck are you doing? Well, I took it after I went because I was hosting the show, and Jay was like, "Here, take some." So I was like, "All right, fuck it." And I took some, and then while Jay was closing the show, he was like, "Shane, come out here," and I was like, "Oh fuck!" And right when he said, "Shane, come out here," I just felt a wa- I, a wave of like, and I never did it like that. So I like felt it. And I was like, whoa. Like, <laughs> literally, like it makes your knees buckle. Yeah. Like, I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. And he brought me on stage and he was like, I, I couldn't talk. I got on stage and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was yes, like, everybody, dude. I just, I'm on ecstasy right now. And then they were all like, yeah. Going crazy. Yeah. So I felt that and I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, yo. I was like, dude, that's so nice of you guys. <laughs> and then Jay left. He left me on stage. On stage yeah, and fun. I just had to, I, I couldn't talk. I literally was like, <laughs> guys, I have to go. <laughs> I'm so sorry. How long ago was this? Uh, it was first, it was during the pandemic. It was oh. right when the pandemic started. Oh, that's the first time we ever did Molly? That was the first time, yeah. Oh shit! Oh, yeah, then we did it every other week. We, <laughs> we did it every other week for like four oh, months. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Why do I like feet? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I need this answer. Big time as well. foot fetish guy. Big time. I don't fuck them. Okay, don't make that we know of. Yeah. Uh, so there, there are two reasons. Okay. Left foot, right foot. Yeah. <laughs> that's all you need to know. <laughs> um, there are two reasons. Um, okay, so there's. True fetish, mm-hmm. okay, and in the clinical sense, yep. a fetish is something that somebody actually requires in order to get aroused, okay. Ah. So, so you know, so fetish can be like people talk about fetish light, or people talk about, but then there there are true fetishes where people actually require um, feet, or okay, let's think about the the extreme fetishes, right? Okay. And I'll, um, so this is the dark side of this, right? Okay. So let's think. Like, let's put feet there, but it doesn't have to be dark. But then you could think, like, um, feces, mm. dead bodies, uh, right? Oh. Bestiality. This is dark stuff. Oh, exactly. Oh, it's an immediate. Peace. So yeah. we, have a circuit, we have circuits in our oh, brain peace. that immediately give us the reaction you just give. You put your head back. It's, it's kind of like, get me away from that topic. He was oh, no, actually get me away. Was going in. Yeah, yeah. He was, <laughs> I was just excited. talking so, it back. Right. So our brain tends to put us into approach types, that, which we call appetitive, which, mm, like smell in yeah, the yeah. odor, taste, you want to get close to something, or aversive, right? Animals have this, humans have this. Okay. But if you think about the classic fetishes, all of those, feet historically had the potential to be sites of infection, right? Historically, not now, right? We wash our feet, we have socks, we have shoes. Dead bodies, obviously very infectious. What do we do with dead bodies? We, we preserve them and we get them into the ground or we cremate them depending on your, your leanings, whatever. Um, but you try and not get infected by them. This is all. This has been known a long time. Things like feces are contagious, right? We know this. It's putrid or vomit. These things are Can putrid. Can we just They're keep infectious. it at feet? I don't like being. This is a harsh way to start off the discussion. <laughs> just, but, so, just, you know. but if you think about it, all of these tend to evoke for most people an aversive response. You want to get away from it. Yeah. So there are people who have this appetitive approach to things that are very infectious, and a lot. A lot of the fetishes that at their extreme reflect a kind of, I don't want to say miswiring, but a, a flip in what normally happens, right? Mm-hmm. When you see vomit, you don't go, mm, I'm going to take a sniff of that. But when yeah. you smell baked, fresh baked cookies, you're like, mm, I'm going to take a, a smell. I'm going to yeah, bring that's in. That's how the- I feel about exactly. feet. Okay. Cookies. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so like cookies. So me. the, so the, <laughs> the thing here up, is man. people don't develop fetishes to like water bottles or to tables or to light posts. Right, it's no always version. to things that, so there's this kind of edginess of it's like they're sort of dancing between aversive and appetitive, and that's what makes it edgy. L- leather is another fetish, right? And you know this has to do with like animal hides. People think now a lot of this is speculation because okay. we don't really know how all of this evolved. But okay, so that's extreme fetishes. But then there are people who have like they like a nice, clean, beautiful foot. Yo, the way you or said the, that, he's right? Exactly. Up. Like, you see like, me go up or, like, right, or whatever or, that was. Or the nice, or the contour. <laughs> I leaned in. Yeah. Or the contour. Yeah, describe that. Shit. Contour, or the contour is arch. Yeah. The contour, right? His corridors are short right. now. Or, <laughs> he's like, I guess you know, butt pussy was too good. Yeah. <laughs> he was just like, 
like, why would I? Why? I mean, imagine your your husband is fucking his homie. He's never gonna come hang out with you. Yeah. Yes. What's the upside? Yeah. Yes. You're less fun to hang out with. He's still having sex. Yeah, exactly. You gotta make that shit weird. Tight, people. tight yeah. butthole. You yeah, know? yeah, dude. Yeah. It's, great. it's great for him. Now, was that one of the things that Ataturk used to like really rally the Turkish people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy, pussy for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Turkish pussy would be hard though. Like there's a Turkish lot. Pussy? Turkish pussy, you gotta a get Turkish through. Turkish delight, bro. Oh, oh, by the way, <laughs> that's actually funny though. though. Like, cause like in Turkey, there's still this concept called a pink slip. Because <laughs> everyone has to, everyone has to serve in the military. Every uh. able-bodied male has to serve in the military, either after high school or after college, depending on you know if you go to the college, you go to the officer's rank, which is like a little bit shorter. If you study abroad or something, or if you work abroad overseas, you can do foreigner service, which is like super short, it's like 28 days. Uh, and there's always like, you know, financial compensation. You can like pay your way out of it, which is what I did. Um, and uh, so basically one of the ways of like not having to serve is uh, either you're like too fat Right, too fat to serve because you'll fucking literally die. Yeah, or, or or you have like a disability, like a medical disability. Like, or exactly, or if you're getting fucked in the ass. <laughs> no, literally. You think I'm kidding? Like, this is how just Trump dodged gay, the draft. What if you're <laughs> just being gay what is not you're, enough? Uh, if you're a top, they don't Abraham consider Lincoln. that enough. Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, I don't know if Abraham was uh, receiving or or top, top delivering. Yeah. So Abraham Lincoln, if he's top, if he's top, if he's not verse, mm -hmm. if he's just the top, he's not getting out of service. Wow. Because fucking an ass is not considered medically gay. Wow. But getting fucked in the ass is. I tend to agree with that. And, and <laughs> I think it's less gay. And this is like a thing. Like this is literally a thing where like you have to get photos taken of you getting no. fucked in the ass, and then doctors look at it. No. <laughs> Doctors have to look at it. It's called a pink slip. And and it, it was it, it was a thing in existence. And this like is all to avoid all 28 days in service? In this order, is all to avoid I mean, what if, four weeks of service? What if you're just I mean what if you're just gay anyway? You're like, yeah, if it. you're already getting uh, fucked, might as well. Yeah. Now, how did you say that you got out of military service again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got fucked yeah, yeah, one on the internet. For my next tour, which uh, which would be called Steve O's Gone Too Far Tour. Transition. Close. You wouldn't, you wouldn't cut off your dick, though. Not going to cut off my dick, but I'm absolutely getting fake tits. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> right. I, now, I don't want to I don't want to give away too much. But. Uh, <laughs> but. <laughs> Hold on. But Hold on. Was, what size? Uh, and where are you putting them? My, 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 my last podcast. Where are you putting the tits? In, in the proper position. Because there's. <laughs> Up, down on your back. Yeah. I know, dude. My jackass director told me to get like them on camel. my back. Like a camel, but <laughs> up, down, like that. I know, but as I told our jackass director, that that will limit me and how much potential there is for bits to use with the tits. If they're on my back, it's like, there's no... Well, you're definitely going to get cummed on your tits, so wouldn't you rather that on your back? <laughs> there's no way you're not going to have one of your boys come on your tits. That's not an idea that I had on the list, but... Uh, <laughs> get but a bigger bucket, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's good. But now, here's... Like, and, and Wait, can, can you add to that? Can you get the Brazilian butt lift as well? I, I, mean, I would say BBL is. You gotta go BBL go. with them. I I am not ruling that out as a possibility, but uh, you know, and and fortunately, I have until next year to to really to really make Map it masterful. This out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah to, to write it. <laughs> how, how, now, how big are the tits? How big? Uh, dude, my last podcast guest was uh, the botched plastic surgeon, oh, Dr. Wow. Terry Dubrow. Okay. He says I can go D. Wow. So you can go C then. What's that? If he says you can go D, you could probably go C. C is smaller than D. I dude. know. Isn't he the shitty <laughs> isn't he the shitty surgeon? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going He's had to, sex with one woman. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't I'm going, know anything dude, about this, that. This Dr. Terry Dubrow podcast was the most fucking fascinating shit ever, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about, like, what's it going to take to break one, and he's like, he's like, uh... You know, you can get the you can get your implants with extra saline, like like way extra saline. So if you do get punched by like a professional fighter in the oh. titty, it would rupture. And you want that? Well, I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> And, and he, I mean, we, dude, we worked out so much creative with this guy. Like, I was like, if we got, like, if we got, like, a Capri Sun straw, <laughs> can, I, can I 
pop no. it in there and fucking actually take a sip. Oh, have you filled it up with Capri Sun? Yo, it got, can we decide what goes in the taste? I, I, but yeah, I did speak with him after that. Yeah, we can we, we can at the very least dye the saline, if not just fucking use Capri Sun. Oh, yeah. that's far. So now I, 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 now I want Yo, to. Al. You don't get sepsis? Or? Now, and, and here, maybe. <laughs> here's, here's the thing. What's so, so deeply important to me yeah. is that in taking this from sort of the jackass format to like the live comedy format where, yeah. where like it's actually a comedy show and each bit gets paid off by the video clip. Right. Now I, unlike a jackass movie where everything just goes in the bag, like for my comedy show, I really needed to make sense and to be clever. Yeah. The way the bucket list is motivated by my relationship with my girl. I'm picturing that the gone too far tour is motivated. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. No disrespect at all. Yeah. What size breasts does your girl have? <laughs> she, she went from uh, the committee to, uh, <laughs> to legacy. <laughs> You're going to have bigger, bigger dicks. Than you. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker is crazy, bro. She's going to be so jealous. She's going to be so jealous. That's wild. You're going to do one pierced and shit. <laughs> 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 he was trying on her clothes. She's fucking angry. <laughs> is, is that not the like a, a, a legit joke that like it's it like faced with a man having fucking legit fake tits? Yeah. The more embarrassing thing would be the nipple <laughs> ring. <laughs> yeah, that's way gayer. Yeah. <laughs> way gayer. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because I got to make sure you're getting all your nutrients. You know, I care about you and your nutrients, okay? Look at me. I look full of nutrients. One thing when you look at me, outside of my facial hair, you think this guy got all the nutrients that he needs in his system. Where am I getting them? Athletic Greens, specifically AG1. Start your day. Get all of them 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens that you need to start that day. This is where I'm getting it, right here, okay? This is why I'm out here in the world having successful, amazing days. It starts with this, okay? Sustainable routines are key. AG1, the daily micro habit that's gonna change your gosh darn life. You wanna lead a healthy lifestyle? Listen, this is it right here. One scoop, one minute, once a day, every single day. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day, that's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health when you got AG1. And to make it even easier, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash flagrant. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash flagrant to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because I got to tell you all about the best underwear in the business and it's culprit. Culprit, hands down, best underwear that you're ever going to put on your body, okay? I can give you some facts if you want them about uh, it's 95% micromodal, which is made from beech trees and uses 20 times less water than cotton. I know you don't care about that. Nobody has ever bought a pair of underwear going, oh, are these micromodal? What percentage are these micromodal? You, uh, what, are they made from uh, beech trees? Never. We buy them because they make our dick and balls feel comfortable and ideally look huge, and that's what Culprit does, okay? You take these off, and the girl that you're with is gonna start salivating from multiple orifices. Orifices. Also orifices. I threw a V in there, and you might throw a V in there too if you know what I'm saying. Culprit has got your back. Culprit is gonna make you the man you've always wanted to be somehow, okay? And not only are they gonna do that, they're gonna make sure you never wear a pair of underwear again that are not culprit. That's happened to me in my life. I started wearing culprit. I have not worn another pair of underwear since. It's unbelievable. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna give you 25% off. I can't believe I'm doing this, but if you go to culpritunderwear.com and you use the code flagrant at checkout, you're gonna get 25% off. You better do that shit quick before I remove it. Because this is not a game. This is not a game. The best underwear you've ever worn in your life. Also, you get some stuff for the lady as well. She, she stopped stealing yours. Get them lady boxers for your girl. A nice little stocking stuffer. You know what I'm saying? Let's get back to the show. Also, you never sold lemonade as a kid? I did. My dad was so, I sold as an adult. 
<laughs> it was one of the most disappointed my dad ever been in me. I came back from college one year. I saw yeah. lemonade with Jamil. Yeah. Right outside you my fucking house. Serious? I saw lemonade with Jamil right outside my motherfucking apartment. Lying, I swear bro. to God in my life. How old were you? Just Twenty maybe. <laughs> something like that. How much you what? make, yo? I don't know, we made like eighty bucks. I was like, I made more doing this shit than I do. You know, working or something. I don't know. We made some money. I was selling lemonade. We had an extension cord coming out the window to plug in our uh, boom box. Sold lemonade on the motherfucking street. And where people walk up to you like, oh, you seem a little old to be nah. selling. Nah, they thought that shit was lit. There were some kids around the block selling it. We didn't give a fuck. You trying mean, to undercut you, us. Really? Yeah. <laughs> there were some kids around the block trying to undercut us. You bought them out or what? No, nah, I didn't buy them out, but I went over and gave them hard stares. <laughs> I gave them some hard looks. How much were you selling them for? One cup? Uh, Dollar. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Dollar. <laughs> Hit him up with a buck. Out there all day sweating. We should do that now. Yeah, I'm down to do it. That's not if bad. If Jamil's here, he can vouch for it. Is Jamil here? He can that's vouch for it. That's better than minimum wage, though. What? That's what I said. 80 bucks a day? Let's make it $80. We're out there for like two no, hours. He had to split it two ways. Yeah, he split it two ways. You made New York City minimum cups of lemonade. That ain't even that much. 80 cups of lemonade. And motherfuckers feel bad when you're an adult selling lemonade. They let you keep the change and shit. They give you $20. Like, all right, man, good luck with Special needs kids. The kids don't need it. Yo, come on, man. Fuck them kids. He's like, damn, Macklemore down bad. I know. Real talk. We was out there selling lemonade, slanging. Slanging that juice. That's crazy. Slanging that juice. That's citrus. Yeah, lemonade's not good. Slang is citrus, bro. 19 years old, maybe 21. Might have been 22. <laughs> so Might have been 22. Legal drinking that's age? Yeah, legal drinking age, slang and citrus. I, I slang <laughs> citrus. Was this? Like, were you guys, Me, motherfucker! Why did you go get an actual job? Say again? Why did you like work at a real job? For like, what? Get... I ain't no sucker. <laughs> what was I gonna so do, bro? So what was I gonna do? Sell someone else's lemonade? I was gonna work at a diner, <laughs> sell someone else's lemonade, or I could sell my own lemonade. That's I'm an entrepreneur. entrepreneur. He's Dame Dash, dude. Yeah. 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 Bro, you want me to go work at a restaurant and sell other people's lemonade? That's a good ass point. Motherfucker, but... pull up. Can I have a glass of lemonade? I should have done this my goddamn <laughs> self. You know how upset as me I'd be? <laughs> oh Mark, God. come on. Wow. Don't That's, that make sense? Oh and who God. don't want lemonade in a hot-ass summer, blistering heat, yeah. slanging citrus? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is before Me Too. Yeah, what does Me Too have to do with lemonade? I don't know. What's that? There's nothing to do with it. You're I don't know. There was, there, was, lemonade. there was before Me Too, though. Mm. Okay. That's an important detail. Uh, Dudes was more thirsty back then, bro. <laughs> Dudes was chasing women down the street out of breath. Oh, people were on the street more. Women, sundresses looking crazy. Dudes just walking after them. Uh, thirsty as fuck. Lemonade, hell yeah. Potna. That's what they were saying. <laughs> <laughs> Deep South. I might have been shit. That's crazy. I'd never heard about this. Yeah, so I did that. Jamil and I, we did that. Wow. Boombox, blasting music. And you only did it one time. Say again? You only did it once in your whole life. I did it for a little bit. My dad was disappointed in me. <laughs> and you know me, I, my dad's my hero. I can't be disappointed in my dad. I can't imagine he was disappointed in you. So he was like, he was, he was like, he would go like this, he'd like shake his head. That shit <laughs> broke me to, to, to this day. I, I, what? Is this a real story? And I, and so, I tried to. I can't believe you really so. <laughs> why that's crazy to you? You so <laughs> drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good ass Way less embarrassing. Yeah. No, that's way less embarrassing. That's man shit. What's up, yeah, man? Yeah. That's so drugs too, motherfucker. Like a housewife. <laughs> You're a criminal. He's trying to help sex offenders get thirsty. <laughs> no, it was not anymore. sex offenders. They was trying to get numbers on the street like we all did before Tinder grind and hinge. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so what happened? You oh da God. your dad was sad at, at you, and then you said, All right, I'm gonna pack it up. Sorry, Jamil. And then you dissolved your business relationship? Yeah. We awesome. split up the bread. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did a weekend of it. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it was like a week or something, but I we were we were making money. Yeah. And then we split up the money, and I was like, I think I can't do this anymore. I'm disappointing my father too much. My dad had his head, his head in his hand at dinner. He didn't even, <laughs> and I was trying to be like, no, nah, dad, I made money. I made like 100 bucks or something like that. We were out there for two hours. He's like, whatever. why can't you do something honorable like comedy? And exactly. you're like, yeah, I will do that. That he would he respect more. But selling lemonade, he was hard. And it was right outside his home. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, people know him in the neighborhood. They got to see his sleep. failure of a son Fuck. selling fucking citrus <laughs> on the streets, wow. dude. God, dude. Yeah, I didn't realize what that was like. Emotionally, from every time he leave the house, he got the fucking music bumping from our boombox. Oh, Jay Z. His... 
<laughs> he listened to the change. He puts in lemonade. My <laughs> cousin, mate. You know, turn a quarter to a five mil to have. Yeah, you're not a business man. 125 to two business man. Yeah. Exactly. I was out here. Mike's hard. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> No, I wasn't selling hard lemonade, but we should have done that <laughs> for, the, for the that for the upcharge. That would have been a fucking yeah. product product You got to start that. Right Schultz's there. Lemonade. Make it now. Make a million dollars and then buy your dad a house with it and be like, look, this is the house Lemonade built. And you go, son, I'm so proud of your Lemonade venture. Wouldn't that be beautiful? <laughs> He'd be forgetting, bro. <laughs> That's the thing. So thank God he, he probably didn't forget that Lemonade stand. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the last memories he's going to have of me. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever do anything after that Lemonade stand? <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Yo, that's dope, actually. For real, dude. No, you know the craziest thing about it? I sold lemonade. Uh, <sighs> yeah, you guys won't believe this. <laughs> I won't, Don't. I won't we were it. listening to rap music selling lemonade. I sold lemonade to this little kid. Okay. He would come by, and, and uh, his name was Cole. Okay. Cole. And. <laughs> He ends up being like this fucking like music video director or something like that. Yeah. And his name is Cole Bennett. He's quite popular. Oh, yeah. He's a YouTube kid. And he, I think, ripped off Lyrical Lemonade. I think. Oh, because his thing is Lyrical Lemonade. And we sold we're, Lemonade while, while we were listening to rap. To rap oh, so fuck. So I he, really started Minions. He, a, he, he looked at you and thought, there's a less gay way to do this. Yeah, yeah. He did it probably less gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my shit was fire. You made a sign? Say again? You made like a whole sign yeah. like, to let people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like with a marker? Yeah. You like drew a like. So I think we had a lemonade stand so name I've too. I've like... never been more disappointed than you ever. Why? It was fire, bro. I like, can't it's summer, it's like, dude. You can't call them nerds anymore, son. Why? What's nerdy so, about this? You was What's nerdy lemonade about this? Hell yeah. Adult, yeah. To girls too. No free cups. <laughs> <laughs> no free cups. I ain't give not one free cup. So, that's so crazy. Why is that crazy, bro? Why is that crazy, dude? What's crazy about this? People are thirsty. What is so crazy about this? This is more or less me. Weird adult has a lemonade stand, 500 views on YouTube. Yeah, that's us, but in the streets with rap. Yeah. Banging. So, I can't what? What? I should have stuck with it. You know how lucrative the lemonade business is, bro? You never had some crystal light? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you never made some lemonade? Yo, think about it. What happens when you add lemonade to iced tea? Arnold Palmer. Makes it better. Mm -hmm. What happens when you add lemonade to ice? Lemonade. <laughs> makes it better. Makes it more watery, yeah. actually. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. It already got it ice. You eat... You drink lemonade. <laughs> you drink lemonade without ice. You just have a cup of lemonade with uh, no ice. I, well, I don't know as much about making lemonade as you, so you tell me how the process works. I thought it had ice. I in it. I always put ice in lemonade for yeah. these motherfuckers. Yeah, on a hot, <laughs> on a hot summer's day. On a hot summer's day, they get an ice cup and some lemon fucking nades. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this crazy? Y'all never had a side hustle? That was my main, but <laughs> you never had a side hustle before? Yo, Drake got it. We got that picture. Jamil, Jamil's not here? Text Jamil and ask him. Let me, let me call. Because y'all not believing me. right now. Hold on. You calling him? Yeah, I'm calling him. This is wild, bro. Why? I, I don't this understand why it's so crazy. <laughs> Nope. Yo, Jamil, I'm on the pod right now, okay? Please. Uh, Andrew just made Turn a, it up. So he just made it. an insane claim, okay? True or false? When you were 20 years old as an adult, you sold lemonade on the streets of New York City. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Jamil, I no. told way. you. Tell them, Jamil. They try to, <laughs> and they try to act like we wasn't slanging citrus on these streets. It was the summertime. We were broke and we were trying to do that. <laughs> That's the best idea you got to come up with. Yo. They had a great location. Yo, oh we had God. prime location. We was out there slaying citrus. Did we give up away one free cup, Jamil, no matter how bad the women were? Not one. Not one. <laughs> worked really well. Yeah, it was ironic. <laughs> Sorry, get the it was fuck ironic. Out of here, How much man. money? How, How much money did we make? Dead ass. Honest, honest. I gave the what I thought was the honest. How much? In one day? Yeah. I, like, Get the yeah, fuck yeah, out of here. I thought right. we made like a hundred. He was scamming you. He was yeah, scamming you, bro. It wasn't that much. It probably was like 80 bucks. I, 80. <laughs> I said 80. I said 82. I said 82, but we were there for two hours. That's $40 an hour. You couldn't get a job $40 an hour in New York back well, then. Well, $20 an hour. Yeah, because you had to split it. it. Like 80 bucks and like, it worked well, man. 
Yeah. <laughs> this is 18 years ago. There was not a lot of things. Yo, you know you how have much $18 now. was? Or 20? What, how much? $40 <laughs> was 18 years ago, bro? That's your drinking money for the week. <laughs> It's like we $60 now. So it's like $60 now with inflation. You could buy a movie at the picture show. <laughs> you could buy a movie at the picture show. Yo, Jamil, Jamil, do you remember what you spent your money on? You saw a Star Wars. That's crazy. Did you invest it? What, what did you do with it? I don't remember. Son, it was... I don't know. I, honestly, I do not know. Maybe we threw a fire party where we had some Zimas. Okay. Probably stop. bought about $60 worth of lemons. <laughs> Yo. Oh, mimosas you can eat for you can have exactly. days. Exactly. One for the fact. You know what's really interesting? So They're mad quiet right now now that you're validating this shit. When <laughs> I was saying everybody <laughs> laughing at me, I'm now so that ashamed, you're making some son. sense, these broke boys, bunch of brokies. <laughs> you better ashamed, join Hustlers son. University. <laughs> so All right, Jamil, I'm out. Peace. Oh, my God. <sighs> to present my fourth <laughs> piece of evidence. Okay, give me your fourth piece of evidence. Little chickity We dandy. do owe you an apology because this turned out to be a great combo. Thank okay, you. so you were right in that regard. <laughs> Thank you. I'm the but best. So far, you're getting beat on all of these. Like you got. I mean, what Jay Z song were you listening to when you're selling lemonade? PSA: Public service announcement. Okay, because there's a Jay Z song called Pop and Tags. It's a it's a good song. In it, he says, <laughs> "Act a damn donkey like the Pilgrims when they pop the tag on the Indians' home." What did the Pilgrims do? They bought the Manhattan, you fucking idiot. They didn't buy Manhattan. <laughs> yeah, they did. No. It was a bad deal, but they bought it. They, they bought it. They gave them shit. a fucking seashell and some necklaces. I would say they stole it. And then it. dumb tomahawks took that shit. I would say they and stole it. ran back to Brooklyn, bro. <laughs> I would say they stole, the pilgrims stole the land from the No, they the literally Native purchased Americans. Manhattan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They stole. purchased. Stole. I think it was like 20 to You guys are on record no, Native saying. Americans didn't know what money was and didn't get the idea that you could own land because they didn't feel like they owned it, but they did give them something for the land. For Manhattan, at least. Yeah, they got a great fucking deal. I would like to, I would still like to stay. Do you not believe that? No, I do. Uh, no, I think they stole. I think they stole. Yeah. I mean, you look like you stole Pocahontas with your haircut, John Smith. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, that was great. Listen, we should do some Patrione Questione. Yeah, we should do the city of a Because you broke nerds, boys, bro. you broke boys God need to get your money up. Son, how right was I? Eighty dollars on the money, son. Such a nerd, you sold drugs. Bro. That's a great no, point. No, no, hold on. What, wait, wait. Why is nerdy? Why is nerdy to sell lemonade? Son? Use a grown ass man. <laughs> but what's nerdy about it? I don't understand it. It's a grown ass man selling lemonade. But what's nerdy about it? That's what's nerdy about oh. it. Oh. What's nerdy is, about it? Is, is Mike a nerd? I agree with you. Is Mike a nerd from Mike's Hard Lemonade? Yes. That guy that made yeah. me. No, 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 I don't understand why selling lemonade is nerdy. I don't get that. I agree. It's childish. <laughs> it's it ain't nerdy. Enough. It's nerdy. <laughs> so if you were a kid and you sell lemonade, you a nerd? No, because you're a kid. You, you got so no acting pussy like a kid is a nerd. <laughs> it's a little nerdy for a kid to do to me. So if you're adult acting like a kid, you a nerd. <laughs> so if you come to the podcast dressed like Woody from Toy Story, you a nerd? <laughs> <laughs> is that what you just said? <laughs> hold on, 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 So if you act like a kid, you a nerd. That's what y'all trying to say right now? Uh-huh. Is that it? That's what they're saying. I'm, I'm saying you're awfully quiet. Did Andy walk in the room? That was good. Did Andy walk in the room? That's good. Oh, fuck. Y'all better sell some. I'll sell lemonade right now. Yo, I'll set up a lemonade stand right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We make $1,000 on lemonade right now. I got a special recipe for my lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> if you want me to put on the special recipe, I'll put on the special recipe. We'll sell all the goddamn lemonade. Is it a discount code for your special, too? You're like, yo, I'm sorry, here's what? a dis discount code for the special. We're not selling the special anymore. We sell a lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> he just found purpose again. Yeah, yo, listen, listen, listen. I'm hype. Let's go. Yo, if, hey, if do y'all want to start a lemonade company or not? <laughs> I'm, I'm in. I got experience. I'm, wait, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. All I right. know the market. I know who drinks lemonade. I can look at the motherfucker and know if they're going to stop for some lemonade or not. Okay. Where are we going to set it up? In Soho? Say again? Grow you want to set it up in New York? <laughs> I'm going to set up that shit up right outside Jack's White Freedom. Compete. <laughs> what? You would rather buy lemonade <laughs> from a corporation? <laughs> How do people Son. stop and buy lemonade Son. from a girl? Can you imagine, ass, can you imagine he Son. fucks a girl? <laughs> they felt so imagine, bad for you, bro. Can you imagine he fucks a girl and then two days later she sees him selling lemonade <laughs> on the street? Like, I uh, fucked you. Hey, 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 hey. And she getting charged, yo. <laughs> and she getting charged. And she getting charged. Well, girl says, what do you do for a living? Yeah. What did you do? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> so we didn't have jobs. I was in college. I'm a student. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a student. That's what I say. I'm a student. I'm a student of the game. I'm a student of the game. I'm a student of Hudson's University. School, school of hard knocks. Let's Thanks, go. bro. Your boy was out here slaying his citrus. And y'all are jealous. <laughs> so when you're going back to college and people say, what did you do this summer? Did you tell them I sold lemonade? No. Yes. Internship. You did an internship, bro. That shit was unpaid. <laughs> So we might have been older, son. I ain't gonna lie, son. We might have been older. We might have been older. How many bro. months ago was this? How many months ago did you do this? I'm trying to put it together because usually in the summer, I would be on at the beach. So I'm like, why the fuck was I in the city? We might have been in our 20s. <laughs> oh, my God. No, nah, I think we was in college. We were in college. <laughs> uh, I don't know why we weren't at the motherfucking beach yet. Did you go back home every time? Oh. Yeah, except for one. Do you see... Selling lemonade, bro. He had lemonade to sell. So y'all didn't sell anything? You didn't do a lemonade stand? I did a lemonade stand. No, I did not. I did it in a cul-de-sac. There was no foot traffic. Bro. Yeah, that's <laughs> dumb. <laughs> I set it up. My mom was like, well, you're going down there with all that? I had the sign. I had the whole thing. You thought I, people was going to drive to I, get a cup of your lemonade? Bro, I sat there for three hours, didn't make a sale. Bro, I want to be where the people are. Ariel, shouts to you. He did it in front of <laughs> That's yeah, true. well, you don't gotta <laughs> shout out <laughs> to fucking where we live and shit. The whole spot, yeah, the believe that. But <laughs> yeah, you didn't do a lemonade stand. No, that's crazy. If I see a lemonade stand now, I'll go and buy lemonade. I bet you would. Wanted to I, talk to. What if it was, right? was, yeah. was a grown ass man selling lemonade? Yeah, it was. It's why, funnier why, that why way. Are you assuming his kids. It's oh, funnier you when did you're it a grown it was ass funny, man. Right? You did it because it was yeah, funny. Yeah. I thought it was funny. <laughs> Just give it away, then. Why are you selling? Why are you charging? I was broken. It was funny. You know what I'm saying? Your boy wanted forty dollars so I could have a nice little parlay that night. Yeah. Your boy was parlaying. And we would parlay. <laughs> Yo, we would. Why it take two people to sell lemonade? <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing? Yo, two, two people's hilarious. Bro. You could have done shifts, motherfucker. You could have sold lemonade all day. You could have done it morning and night when the bars open out. <laughs> Listen, Yo, it don't take put the sugar. <laughs> It's more fun that way, bro. <laughs> I like doing shit in groups. It's more fun. I need some help. I need some, I need like, some help. Yo, hold on. I need a breather. I need a breather. Let me get a cup of lemonade. <laughs> so, that was the rule. You couldn't drink the lemonade. So, you couldn't drink. You never could, get yeah. out of your own supply, son. That's, that's a fact. No, for real. We, you, you, we, we were not allowed to. People come up and be like, how is it? Like, I wouldn't know. <laughs> we don't drink our own lemonade, You get bro. hooked on that shit? 100%. It's that's so that's much cool. sugar. Oh, my God. This you just is be crazy. up. just Enjoying getting a tan. Mm. Well, y'all was working fucking minimum wage jobs, peasants. <laughs> You know what I'm making saying? Making the man rich. Yeah, y'all was making the man rich. Realize, I was the man. <laughs> I was a small man, but I was a man regardless. Oh my God. She would go there and they'd be like, yeah, torture these motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> Which they did. They did it in Kenya, they did it in Malaysia. Anytime there was like, especially if there was like a communist uprising or anything like that, she was there doing PR while the fucking forces were out there. Oh, really? really wearing their disrespectful ass outfits. They wore shorts and shit. I hate that. <laughs> like, you're really big into military uniforms. And I do I do yeah. love military uniforms. I think like if you're wearing if you're getting domed by a guy fucking wearing shorts, like yeah. that's so disrespectful. <laughs> the Chubby's army is here. Yeah. God damn it. I got so, killed by a guy. Chubby's the army. Chubbies, yeah. The last thing that you see is some fucking sunburnt calf yeah. from yeah. an emerald. It's like red as fuck. It's just he, yeah, summer heat is like, yeah, mate, we have to do it to him. <laughs> It's fucking bullshit. It's bullshit. It's like Fortnite dancing on someone's corpse. Like, you, you couldn't cover them shits up, dude? What the fuck? It, it's just, it's fucked up. And then they wear the cap with like the little fluffy thing on top of yeah, it. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, you guys just, have a cap like that. The Turks, they yeah. have like crazy shit. They have the fezes and shit. Yeah, too. the fez, right? Yeah. That's Moroccan. Oh, is that Moroccan? No, I'm sure there's no, a, Turks, there's, Turks the Turks have the Turks too. A, their version, right? Yeah. We, what is the? How does? What is that? Is that just like a version a bad, of the yarmulke? It's such bad headgear. It, it just, is right. It doesn't stay it doesn't on your stay head. On. It's so weird. You got to clip it on and shit. It doesn't even look that good. Why are you trying to look like a cone head? Yeah. I never understood that. It's got a little tassel on it too, like you're graduating. It's just silly. Yeah, I never I, understood that. I've never been a big fez boy. Yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is with the guy with the ice cream. That's oh, what hold, he on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, the, the guy to the right looks kind of garb. He's kind of pulling it off. Oh, just oh, like, no, oh. not him. Yeah, Here yeah, we go. Swag it out. The Moroccan uh, up there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who is this man? That guy, yeah, the uh, Moroccan guy's old doing school. it. Oh, it's cool. Yeah. Whoa. No, that guy's doing it, dog. Wow. That guy's doing it. That is a that is a fit for sure. 
I mean, the Blazers crazy. Yeah, Elijah Muhammad pops? wore some shit like that, didn't yeah, he? Right before he killed Malcolm X. Crazy. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, explain to me the why they don't just give you ice cream in Turkey. Dude, <laughs> dude <laughs> the point it's of that. so fucked up. Dude. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand yeah, that. Really. A betrayal of everything, dude. It's just like. <laughs> You're like, oh man, I want a delicious, a yeah, yeah. I want a delicious treat. And Turkish ice cream slaps. They have like this weird thing. It's like a gummy consistency. Okay, it's actually really good. Um, but they got to make you earn it, then. That's yeah, all. Yeah, dude, it's fucked up though. They'll be like the, the they'll do the flip where like he'll <laughs> double cup it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you have like the cone in your hand, and then you're like, oh, finally. And he's like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. What? Well, you can it's, get out of it actually if you prove you get fucked in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, 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 ice cream, so yeah. it's actually okay. <laughs> I walk around everywhere with the phone. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tranny porn, I call it. But yeah. Tranny porn, I call it. <laughs> yeah, that's the greatest thing ever. And you can say that because no. you're into it. Love it. Okay. I love it, bro. I watched that Why shit. Why do you like, you know, explain what the you know, like, <laughs> Kiss my girl on the mouth, nigga. Right after I come, I kiss Sam right on the mouth, though. Yeah, time. Yeah, Derek's girl is here, by the way. So we gotta get her perspective. <laughs> that that like, like, is that why you don't want to call her Samantha? You want to call her Sam? Sam. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I call her Samson. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Samuel. <laughs> get over here. <laughs> no way. Yo. I love training point. I fuck with that shit. The no. long, long way, the strong way. The long way, really. Yeah, the, sure. <laughs> the strong way. Yeah, sure. Okay, okay, okay. Now, why, why train? Now, we've talked about this before. But why, yeah. wh why do you love training porn so much? It is. We all watch porn, and yeah, yeah, it's yeah. the best of both worlds. It is yeah, the reason yeah. we, we all Don't watch porn. Don't use your hands like it's art. Well, because I have to let you guys know. <laughs> like, uh, I don't want people thinking this is hate speech. Like, no, bro, I thought about this. I wrote it down. Okay, okay, <laughs> this okay, is okay, all scientific. Go, 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 go. Uh, Why do you we all watch porn. Look at Al's face, bro. Al, Al, you watch so, porn. Al, do you watch porn? So this is worse than your Denzel right now. Because <laughs> it's right. I'm sorry. I'm right all the time. <laughs> my nigga. Damn. Okay, go, go. Okay, go. We all watch porn. Two reasons for both genders. P basic. With the guy, he's got to be in shape and he's got to have a leg of a dick. Period. You don't want to see no meat. No one might want to see no jiggling and you don't want to see no small dick. Period. Point blank. With the woman, she's got to be a bad bitch. Fat ass, nice titties. And Tranny Porn has found a way to like Dragon Ball Z, go tanks that shit and, <laughs> and fuse the best of both worlds. So, okay. okay, so you got, so you got a big titties, good shape, but oh, also big dick. Huge. Uh, a small dick, that's gay. I don't watch that. <laughs> so, 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 if she's got a small dick, I'm like, get this little dick nigga out of here, bro. You're not even a woman. <laughs> Not even a fucking woman. You call yourself a woman with that dick? Yo, you call yourself a woman, bro, with your soft ass? No, nah, bro, you gotta be hard dick, <laughs> leg up, titties out, and a bad bitch. And I'm I'm all in. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, men are done, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So 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 if there's a guy, for example, that's into oh, training fuck. porn, but it's with smaller dicks, what do you think about them? That's fucking gay, bro. You want to see small? Who wants to watch porn and see a flaccid small dick? A flaccid small dick is kind of disgusting. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. you see it on camera, it's fucking disgusting. Yeah, and you see it like getting fucked and it's flopping. It's like I'm already gross. Now you make that shit this <laughs> a little different, and it looked like this. Now I'm like, wow, this is artistic. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of beautiful. Okay, it's okay. like when you see those paintings in front, You know what I mean? Like of, of a naked people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is beautiful. Now, how did you break this down to to your girl? I told her, hey, I like training porn. Actually, no, she saw me uh, go on stage once and. It was like 30 minutes of me talking about how great it was. <laughs> <laughs> that's, and she was just like, oh, that's what you're doing in there? Sam, that's when you found out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she found, she, that's how she, she found out. She saw Sam one night and was like, that's what he's doing. Because <laughs> she knows I'm in that bathroom, bro. But, you know, that's my time. <laughs> I let her watch her shows. When she's you watching Bridgerton, I don't say you. shit, nigga. I don't say a fucking word. Bridgerton. I let her watch Bridgerton. That's, that's you her. You compare it to a nigga. Well, yeah, but at least the shit I watch is good. <laughs> <laughs> the shit I watch gets views. I mean, Bridgerton gets views, but not the views I'm talking about. Wait, what kind of numbers are you talking, putting up? I'm talking, nigga, 25 mil every yeah. bid. He's watching every yeah. bid, bro. He's watching Mrs. Beast. <laughs> 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 oh, my oh. God. Oh.
<laughs> Yo. That's hilarious, bro. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's always something with you okay. comments. Wait, so, uh, you uh, comments you always got something. something. I have to ask this question. Uh, now, am I yeah. the only one in this room? Be honest fucking with me, dog. Yeah. Yes. Who's watched that shit? Yes. Al, we know you're lying. But so, anybody else? No, no, I, no, I, no you don't no, watch no. I believe it. No, no, no. <laughs> I believe I've watched a trans woman fuck a woman. That's what he likes, I think. I like that, too. No. No, like, no, 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 I have to believe them. You can't get mad at me, bro. <laughs> I have to believe them. I have to believe them. <laughs> okay, go, go. So, 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 yeah, look at Akash. Akash, Akash, you're so, trying to... Wow, wow. Akash trying to put it on so, together. Like, it's, so it's so funny. It's so funny. Now, that's now, why, that's now why I need to clarify. <laughs> yeah. That's why I need to clarify because I know what Akash yeah, thought. Yeah, yeah. I know what Akash thought. He thought it was a trans struggled. woman fucking a woman. So he was like, oh, yeah, I guess that's just like, like that, the old joke. Yeah, that's just more tits. Yeah. It's the yeah, same shit. More tits. No, no, he likes. I've that's never lesbian. struggled with mental yeah. math so much in my life. Trying to put this <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go, okay. go, go, go. So go, tell go. me what it is. Yeah, yeah. What, what are is, all the parts? What are all the parts? It's who's yeah. I like a male that is not a man, trans. a porn star, a dude. Yeah. In shape, huge dick, fucking a beautiful woman with a vagina resting on top, or with a dick resting on top, with a big titties and also a huge dick, <laughs> and that is the kind of porn that I start my day with. Wait, so there's two dicks in this scene? Yeah, a man and a woman. <laughs> Son, no. <laughs> Look at y'all, bro. Y'all niggas in the, in the past, bro. No. But y'all, I'm, y'all were playing Nintendo. I'm on, fuck, I got an Oculus on. Hey, yo, yeah. explain, you might be right about this. Explain it to Al to really get Al to no, understand no, I the got joy it. of it. No, because no, right. you're not getting it. Keep it in the wide <laughs> yeah. Explain the joy of it. Because you're thinking What's it's the gross. joy? Yeah, yeah, explain the it's joy. It's not gross. Yeah, yeah. If you're thinking about a nigga that looks gross. like me with a wig on, that is gross and gay. There has to be a beautiful woman. Just like all porn. Mm. Has to be a beautiful woman. Mm. She also has to have a gigantic penis. But why? Because <laughs> that's really because I, I believe in women. <laughs> I believe in their rights to have fun and oh, do whatever they want. Human rights? Oh, I'm sorry, Al. Al doesn't believe in human rights. <laughs> no, <laughs> I bro. <laughs> Apparently, I don't. What do you mean? You can come on. Don't so wait, wait, Al. If it's a beautiful woman, right? Everything yeah. about her is a woman. Everything's beautiful. <laughs> Shut and up, then you son. get down to the pussy, but instead of a pussy, it's a baton. <laughs> That's weird to you, but you got so many options though. On like to pull yeah, up, yeah. There's shit. white ones and black ones and Asian no. ones, and, yeah, <laughs> all kinds of options. Well, you said huge dick, Asians out the window. <laughs> oh my no, God. bro, they packing. I've, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, they're up. So wait, Al, that would be weird for you. It's just not my cup of tea of porn. Have you That's watched it? But let's say, for no. example, you're seeing a straight porn star male suck a beautiful woman's huge dick. I'm cool. Even Sam's into that. That's kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't gay. It ain't gay, bro. You sucking a woman's dick? That's as straight as you can do it. That's the straightest way to suck dick, I think. Maybe, that's, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy for thinking of straight ways to do it. <laughs> Is this a bit though? Nah, this no. is, <laughs> nah, this I'm lying about it, bro. I'm always right. <laughs> I said it. I'm always right. I'm good at everything. Now, has this created any issues in your guys' relationship? Is there? Do you ever worry, Sam, about uh, uh, not being able to fulfill yeah. his desire? Yeah, you don't I have enough dick for this guy. So <laughs> no, no, no. I hope I can't fulfill his desires. I'd rather him, you know, wear himself out in the morning. <laughs> bro, that's oh, she loves. Oh, 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 you need it too much. So you need it too much. Yes. You need a nut every single day. I nut. Oh, yeah. Twice a day minimum. Minimum. Bare minimum. And then the other, other days, depending on the day. How much time I have and how much fun the day has been. Yeah, comics, bro. Wow. Yeah, and I support that. Yeah. Wow. And you support. What, what do you mean by you support that? Like. You keep nutting. <laughs> bro, I come out the bathroom, wait, relax, chill. Wait, I this, hug her. I don't attack her. So he's been. <laughs> question, question, There's question. There's no attacks in the morning, dog. She knows what it is. Question, this might be a little too much, but then would you prefer if she wears a strap on? No, that's gay, yeah. Why are you making it gay? Why are you making it so gay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you're gay. Gay. I'm you're this homosexual. I'm recreating, bro. bro. I'm not going to lie, dude. I'm recreating. You're the fucking gay, son. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Yo, the way you <laughs> ask questions is wild gay. Finally. <laughs> yeah. Finally, you guys. Finally. Thank you. I've been trying to come out all this time. Derek, I feel you, dog. <laughs> I feel I you, he was dog. gay. You had mob on the day, bro. <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. Ask your question. No, that was the question. Ask your gay ass question. That was the question. Because it recreates. 
recreates that scene. Uh, my mind is racing right now. I could talk about a bunch of abstract thoughts. Go! Camera. This is what you we sure? like here. Yeah. Yes. Sure? Yeah. Right, right. Do we get on the weed or what? <laughs> don't, don't, yo, you give me the weed, I'll be fucking Bro, flying with abstract thoughts. <laughs> no. No, but you figured out teleportation. I want to hear this. I, I really think I have. This okay. has dust on it, too. <laughs> no, no, not that type of dust. <laughs> like, how long have you been sitting there? No, no, no. Wait, hold on, hold on, Schultz. Wait, Schultz. <laughs> I'm not hitting it. <laughs> no, no, no you are. I'm not hitting <laughs> it. He went. He went. <laughs> No, because no, wait, hold on. Let me let me explain this teleportation. Okay, go, 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 go. Because go. also, dog, I'm not smoking this if you don't smoke it. All right, yeah, oh God, so let's oh fucking go. Just one hit. We can't do this every time. We can't do this every time. We got enough. You know, I've never, I've never smoked online. They've never seen it. Really? They've seen me high, they've never seen me smoke it. This is your Elon moment. Things worked out for him afterwards. I love you, Schultz, so I'll, I'll do it here. Fuck it. But okay, teleportation. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I think you just teleported. I'm, teleport. I'm just locked teleport. in here. I'm no, that was it. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> come back, come back, come back. That was it. All right, all right, all right. This one. There's, hold on. Oh. There's going to be a point, I believe, where uh, human beings will be able to, this is absurd, but it will happen, upload their consciousness yep. Yep. onto X. I don't okay. know what it is, blockchain, internet, whatever the fuck you want to call it, whatever thing that doesn't exist yet. The consciousness will have the ability to learn, grow, and adapt based on past learnings, growings, and adaptations because of AI, artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. Machines learning how to learn. Mm -hmm. Cloning, also illegal now, but cloning- For humans. For humans, yeah. You could clone a fucking dog in Korea, you know that? I bet they love that. I bet that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Why do they love it? Why do they love it? Why I don't know. Fucking KFC needs that. something in there, right? <laughs> that, that new Jack Harlow sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> What's popping? <laughs> <laughs> Again, shout to Jack. So, so look, so look. Cl cloning is a very real technology that already, that already exists. It exists. We, we just choose to not clone Do humans because it, yeah. it's fucked up. But people have done it with their dogs. I mean, Ellen cloned her dog. What? Yeah, you know this. She cloned her dog. Her dog passed, and then she cloned it. They cloned a sheep in Scotland. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that technology exists. Yeah. Also, <laughs> the uploading of your consciousness will exist. Fact. Will exist. Yeah, no. They've started this. You know that. Uh, dude, Not consciousness, but they've, like, created... Um, they use, like, someone's social media, a guy whose wife passed. They use her social media to create, like, a version of who she would be online. Yeah. Yeah. Also, is that it, it right was, here? It was Barbara Streisand cloned the dog. No, <laughs> Ellen. <laughs> no, look at Ellen's dog too. <laughs> oh, maybe I guess they're on. clones. They both could have. Okay. Okay. Good. So eventually, <laughs> it, this, nah, will be, this will be tricky. We, nah. <laughs> I, need, I need to iron this out before I pitch it in my presidential campaign. But okay. yeah. eventually, when he would find a morally sound way to clone their flesh puppet, mm. this will only be available to like upper class people who have the means to to. Uh, Holy shit. To you do clone yourself. You upload your consciousness somewhere. Redownload it. You grow up and then you download the consciousness back to you. You don't you don't have to grow your 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 body would be in parts of the world that you visit frequently, right? So I could get to I could get to France right now and with my then clone. Stop! And you, you uh, and See, it's Dropbox. It's Dropbox. It's you got, Dropbox you got 10 for bodies. your flesh bucket. You got 10 bodies, Holy everyone. Bingo. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Hey, I live in Miami as well when I want, and I'm yeah. in this hyperbaric chamber, yeah. and when I want to yeah. be there, I'm fucking Bingo. there. Bingo. You station your body and your consciousness. You can clone it, but also modify it if you want to. Bingo. What's in Miami, you could have a, like a Cuban show. What we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. Or COVID. Yeah. Let's COVID go, outbreak. <laughs> Okay, this is Yo, interesting. You have a Japanese Schultz. I want a you Japanese Schultz. Hold on a second. No, you can't. Why not? Why not? You can edit it. Gene edit it. What do you speak Japanese or be Japanese? Well, I have to. I, I'm I, talking about clone. Yeah, but no, 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 no. But no, you no, would no, look no, Japanese. I'm talking about Schultz. I'm talking about Schultz. Yeah, yeah. So he's Schultz, but he's cloned, and then you gene splice. Up. No, because because when you up when you, it would have to work like this. When you upload your consciousness and it it beams to your next body, the one that it came from needs to. Be the exact same? No, no, no. It needs, it needs to, to like, turn off. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. can't have two operating at the same you can't, time. You can't. There has to be one constant. everything up. Exactly. That's when it could get That's nasty. That's when it's bad. And you know what? <laughs> <laughs> we won't be able to do it. Wait, and but you could download someone into someone else's little flesh sleeve, bucket, right? Essentially call them sleeves. So like you yeah. go you go to Europe to be so, your so European that's, Logan Paul. That's, I could re-download into your body. And that's, then murder somebody in his fucking body. Bingo. That's we just made the best horror movie ever. It's actually why, why would you murder? I wouldn't murder. No, but you, it'll happen. This is where things get tricky and why this probably will never happen. But I figured it out. Like we don't need to worry about it. Mm. 
The question is, how do we upload our consciousness to some sort of server? Mm. What are you talking Present, about? Present, bro. How do we upload our consciousness to a server? Can I tell you something? Yes. I watched a clip from Rogan the other day. Oh, boy. Talk We're about, about to figure it out right now. Talk about... <laughs> <laughs> Just, <laughs> it's going to be... It's... You, I took a couple of hits. And it's it, over. I just want to let you know. And that's covered in dust. It's so. over. It is covered in dust. <laughs> yeah, blow it for it. Blow it for it. And I just want to let you know. I'm depressed for two days blood. after I smoke weed. And my uh, for, so for my honeymoon, I'll be in Venice just moping around, crying on a Dog. gondola. Dog. For you. Sounds so bad. For for you. Well, woe is you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my life is so hard, bro. Did you know? Oh Guys, I'm going to be on a gondola <laughs> eating fucking shrimp scampi. Sad. Here we go. Uh, oh, 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 shit. <laughs> No, I was I was I was watching um uh, here's the other abstract thought and now it's abstract. <laughs> but you gotta hit this. Oh yeah. No, we're all hitting it. Yeah, we are. Okay, good. Uh no, okay, the 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 UFO, the UAP phenomenon that is happening right now is actually fucking absurd. What was the, and we're the not other? we're not talking about it enough. <laughs> Fuck me. No, it's good, dude. <laughs> You're gonna be so fucked up. <laughs> Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be cooked. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. You, you, even hook. you, you gotta take the You gotta take the reins when he gets hot. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you can't be wearing all white spindle on your fucking pants. Hold on, hold on. You said UFO god, and then you said the UAB. Unidentified <laughs> UAP. Unidentified aerial phenomena. Okay, that's what, what you, they're kind of calling them now. Oh god. I have a theory on this. <laughs> Please tell me because I'm so fascinated okay. by the subject. Very simple. Obviously, there are UFOs here. People go, why aren't they coming down here and then destroying us? When we send our astronauts into space, we don't send them with weapons. There's no nukes. There's no guns. There's nothing. They're just looking to see what's out there. No, but we're, we're still exploring. That's the issue. They're still exploring. Exploring what? If you have that kind us. of thing, bro, our civilization yeah. Do you think they're interested in our bullshit, man? We travel with a wheel. Okay. <laughs> Do you, that's what, a, oh, this is this is a conspiracy let's go. corner. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Okay, okay. Let's talk about. Yes. It. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They travel with a wheel. Yes. Mm, this or no, we an, travel this with is a the wheel. Yes. Thing. But we're still, like, aliens look at us like ants. But we're so, also so, sort of. Sort we have people have ant farms. People are fascinated. The I'm, other day, I'm, I looked I'm, at. I'm, a, yeah. I, let's rewind one second. I'm, I, I'm, if for this conversation, a little bit more based in like. What we know. Okay, go. Because you're assuming that the UAPs are extraterrestrial. I'm I'm giving that credence, but I also kind of think it's us trying to flex to other countries. Like, yo, we got some shit. Behave. You, but you know, got some shit. Do you know what kind of shit you're talking about, dude? No. These these things have technology that defies physics. Yeah. The laws by which that govern our entire fucking existence. Some of these UAPs straight up defy everything we thought we knew. And so I was watching Rogan in this clip and this um, physicist. Bob was, Lazar. No, it wasn't. He's 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 the uh, Area 51 UFO. Do you know him? Yeah. I had dinner with him. You had fucking dinner with Bob yeah, Lazar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First time I hung out with Rogan. Yeah. He took me to dinner with Bob Lazar. What's he like? Uh, believable. No fucking way. I, I believe he believes. I'm not saying that he's right. I've met people who believe they believe, and it's just not reality. Yeah, and, and, and there's people who believe that the Earth is flat. There's people— they, believe, And they. And I it, went to the convention. They, they believe the Earth is flat. Really? Wild or what? Hold up. Y'all don't know about this? I know no. about the convention. I didn't know you went. No, this— Yo, th why would you? You two buried it because it's a conspiracy theory. Uh, Go. Uh, this is one of my biggest accomplishments. Yo, I made a flat Earth mockumentary. When I found out there was a group of people— there could be one in this room for all I got then. <laughs> to your right. You have no idea. The white guy. No, no, no. <laughs> no see, he's, he's going to play it cool. <laughs> <laughs> we know what you think. Wait. <laughs> Clip it. <laughs> Clip it. <laughs> Dog, when I found out there's a group of people who genuinely believe the earth is flat, yep. I said, I must infiltrate. I found out they had a convention. Um... I went to it under the guise that I, Logan Paul, believe the earth is flat and I am interested in becoming a flat earther. They thought it was good for their movement. I went, I ended up speaking on stage, came out as a flat earther. <clears throat> Coming out of the flat earth closet, dropped the mic. They all cheered. Uh, we f it was a mockumentary. We filmed the hippies. Yeah. Um, yeah, there are people who genuinely think the earth is flat and they all really believe that the earth is flat and hearing their logic sometimes, like I, I just don't, I can't, I can't follow. I can't get now, Here's the thing. They don't have any real proof for that. 
What I will say about but Bob, they, they have theories, and technically no, no. all we have are theories. So I mean, it can be backed up by others. Nobody, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah fuck. There's a small difference. All I'm saying is, with the Bob dude, is that he worked on something, and I believed that he worked on something that we couldn't describe, or how it works through through like yeah, 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 our yeah, understanding yeah, yeah. For of like sure, physics, for sure. right? For so, sure. Th- there was that part that I had to get through. It wasn't like whether he saw aliens or not. It was like, did he work on some shit that he doesn't know how to describe based on our understanding of physics? No. He which, convinced which, me he did. That's all. He, I still at dinner, he was talking about it. No, because we went, because Rogan was going to meet with him the next day. So he was oh, like- Oh, before the pod. So yeah, so he's like, do you want to come with to dinner with me to this guy, with this guy? To, to kind of vibe out before they went out of the program. He, did, he said on the pod that he did it because he he thought that I was like a good trust of like if people were bullshit, like he could like trust me, like a good judge of whatever. Oh, but I thought it was just like we just did a pod. He's like, you want to come to dinner? But he didn't convince me aliens are real. But he con- he believed whatever his life is. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like yeah. Like yeah, he he was like he didn't even want to argue. No, it. Yeah, I know, which makes it it's it, it's so hard and it's tough to poke holes in in his stories because they stay the same. You, you believe know? in aliens, huh? For sure. What do you mean, I, dude? I think anyone who doesn't believe in aliens is fucking stupid. Why? Do you know how big the universe is? The answer is no. None of us do. None of us can comprehend how actually fucking big the universe is. Infinite. Infinite. Just about. <laughs> <laughs> Damn near, brother. <laughs> Damn near infinite. And so, uh, the, I'm the, so fucking <laughs> every time, bro. Every time, bro. It just hit me when I went like this. Go on that. Like I analyzed myself. Uh-huh. I, like after I did, I was like, "That's weird. You did that with your finger." Like, <laughs> Like, the creation of like, yeah, dude, that painting, Michelangelo. It's queer. <laughs> <laughs> he was queer. Nah, nah, I'm a, I can't. Michelangelo was queer. Dude, this guy's a president. Stop. Chill. That is true. No, didn't he have By the way, I had a lot of fun when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Wait, we're trying to hit this. Be a lot that's of fun. fun. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I am too aware of everything that's happening. Yeah, right that's, that's what we do. Oh, fuck, dude. That's what we oh, do. Oh, my God, man. That's, I was pushing my knee down, and I was like, oh, you're almost an Indian squad or whatever. <laughs> okay, yo, back to aliens. No, 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 no. no. Back to this, aliens. This, this interests me, too. <laughs> you're, an, you're an overthinker, dude. I you're am <laughs> Wonder Mike, and I came to say hello. <laughs> what? Yeah, that, was a, that was horrible. Idea. I know. Giving him weed, and that was you know, horrible. Was bad idea. I'm higher than I was on Rogan, dude. Yeah. Something on that no, dust, dust one? Dust is great. <laughs> Boy, is that my losing? <laughs> so I hit the shit. I'm like, am I oh, fucking losing? Fuck. Back to aliens, yes, bro. Come on, back Yo, to aliens. He's talking, talking about, about the aliens, paradox. man. Time's time time time. running out with them. Yeah, yeah. Whoo, just go. Yes, bro. <laughs> Yo, just Yo. go on that. Fermi paradox, bro. Universe is infinite. Yo, what? And expanding. And it's oh. infinite and expanding. These two smoke. That's why they can. Hang. So there's a likelihood, <laughs> oh, statistically, up, statistically, it's almost fucking impossible. Holy shit, dude. There, I forgot you there. had a yellow one. This is not yellow. <laughs> or whatever that color is. green, green. Dog. <laughs> You called his shirt white earlier. Yeah, no. so, is it white? <laughs> it's like light pink, no? Yo, yeah. damn. Bro. I thought I was colored white. I don't see color. That's a thing, bro. I'm that woke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Despite it being What? What? What is going on? Oh, he's teleporting. Oh, he's back. Did you leave? Dude, where did you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Nah, I just, I was wondering what happened here. What happened was that you made me smoke a dusty one, right? And then we got a little bit high. And then I started thinking about every single thing as it happens. Yeah, I know. I know the feel. You're describing like the first time being high. No. (laughs) The first time I was high, this did not happen. But now... Yeah, and it's, yeah, it's like I'm aware of every single thing that's Yeah, happening. yeah, because you're a hyper thinker and an overanalyzer. Oh. So why would I do this it's drug? It's probably why you're a good comedian, dude. But why would I do this drug? Don't. It's a bad decision. <laughs> I'm, sorry. Bad, I'm, so, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, some people can't handle it. Yep. Him. Yeah, you can't handle it. <laughs> we warned you, too. <laughs> what do you that, mean? And he, and he, you know what? You know what the fucked up part is? What's he told up? me. I told you. told you. me. I, I told you. Because I thought it would be funny, and now I'm like, damn, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. It's, it's the most funny. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no, no because, now, because, now, because now I'm worried. About what? Yeah. All of it. Why would you worry? I'm worried. Can uh, you uh, elaborate on that? 
I just want to. I just want to make a good program. Yeah. Yes. You know, he was no, just that, young. Having that's fun. already happening, bro. He was young, having fun. But no, that's already happening. Right now, we're giving unique, authentic experiences. What I was telling you before, you guys made fun of me. Is the green one? I didn't know you had. <laughs> right. The whole time. No, I knew you. Yeah, no, yeah, I didn't yeah, know you yeah, had yeah, the whole time. And they brought the reds. Exactly. And then you were drinking out of the red, and all of a sudden, after I got high, it you switched were, colors. You were, okay. Yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> okay. That was a lot to handle. Wow. Dude. We, that was. I actually, I actually feel you. I that was a saying. lot to handle. If I was yeah. drinking this, and then, and then you got high, color. and it was a different color, and <laughs> no. knowing you only bought red That's for this it. program, yeah. I could see how that could trip you out. Yeah, it did trip me out to an extreme place. He brought the green. It was the best mixer. Oh. oh, this is the best mixer? I can't say anything like that. Why not? Come on, Dove. Oh, shit. Drink responsibly. I can't say it. Oh, because oh. it's the best fucking mixer. Can I say it? Actually, let's yeah. try it out because it's the best mixer. Know. What would you mix it with? Me? Um, yeah. <laughs> Yo, what? Stop. Hey, what'd you say, bro? <laughs> yeah, you guys Yo, out, bro. dude. Yo, Yo, what'd hey, you what'd you say, bro? No, no I, I said show. mix it with rum. I feel, I, bro, I, oh, rum. <laughs> oh, rum. Hey, come oh, on, guys. Oh. Now you just yeah. talking about rum. Rum, dude. Yo, mix it with rum. He's been in Puerto Rico. This is so total synergy. Ahead, I thought that you were in, indeed talking about sperm. No. <laughs> uh, I thought that you were God, saying a, a word that's slang for sperm, which is fine. If you mix prime with sperm, I'm sure that that would be fine. I'm sure space. some of his girls. <laughs> oh, oh. Yo, this guy's crazy. I mean, you've never, like, yo, you know, hydrated them? Yo, when one of your girls yeah, grabbed yeah. the prime off the fucking <laughs> counter with her middle toe, like, that, like when she hit it with the raptor claw from fucking Jurassic Park. Yo, when she Jurassic Park, the prime off the counter. Yo, oh, remember? Right. Yo, do you remember Gosh, when she? You don't guys, remember that? Yes. Do you remember when she? I'm watching bro, that dinosaur show on Apple TV. They tap, they tap that. Oh, yeah. it's a, it's a predatory hunting. They move. do, but do you remember when she put the condom on you with her, both her feet with that middle toe and? She just fucking rolled that shit down yo, like that. It was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. was a bathroom. Right? Go was through the door. Yeah. Go through the yeah, door. Yeah. And then he's taking a drink. He's like, I don't think he's coming back. Yeah. He's very mad. Yeah. I don't think he's coming back. Bro. Door, bro. door to the left, Rick Ross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just made songs about it, Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll all be behind you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make bangers, as long as you're making bangers. Like, we got into Jesus for a little bit because Jesus. of one of his bangers. Yeah. Jesus did walk. Women danced to a song calling them gold digging <laughs> you don't think you can get Jews yeah. to dance this? Yeah, yeah, we all dance. It's a new way. Make bangers, Kanye. Get off Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> so not pissed off at all. You, you didn't nah. care. Uh, uh I was just like something's up here. I don't know. Yeah. Also, I asked a crowd about. It. I don't read the news. I like just intentionally get away from it for yeah. oh, two years now. So I'll ask audiences like, well, what's going on in the world? Yeah. Um. One of them's like Kanye's homophobic. I'm like, what did he say? Or not homophobic. Whatever the, the other, other one. Was. The other <laughs> one. Anti-Semitic. Yeah. Anti-Semitic. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And they were like, he said. Uh, super gay to hate the Jews. Yeah. Though, dude. Right. <laughs> I just super gay to hate the Jews. But I was like, what does that mean? They're like, I think he means his agents. And I was like, oh, I've been saying that for many years. <laughs> They're, they're your Jews. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you're upset, you're like, go talk to your Jews, get, tell them to get you a break from the road, you know? And even if they're like, they're not a Jew, but they're in the Jew arts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're the Jews, so what he's just saying, I'm mad at my Jews. Also known as the dark arts. Yeah. <laughs> 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 dark arts. <laughs> it's just like we're good at being agents. I don't know. We like, I'll get you some money. Like, sweet. You're good at that. Go get it. <laughs> You can say it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not the worst thing in the world to be good at making money. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's a bad thing. Yeah, who's making that a bad thing? I think it's, yeah, What? when does it get bad? It gets bad when it's like you're organizing in a way. They're taking my money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that, that was a funny thing. That, <laughs> <laughs> be better with your money. Uh, yeah. 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 Fucking Catholics, I'm, fucking goys. I'm loaning your yeah. money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing we were talking about with a with a when it comes to like the Jews running Hollywood. It's like, well, they haven't exactly made themselves heroes. Right. Like if they do run Hollywood, where's the Jewish superhero? Yeah, none. They're still wow, the villains. Oh, you're right. Like Magneto is Jewish, survived the Holocaust, and he's still the bad guy. 
<laughs> wow, you're right. Holocaust survivor, bad guy. He's a bad guy. Because he didn't saw even think what. About that. Isn't Holy that crazy? Fuck. Wow. Like the Germans put all the cool stuff in them, so maybe there's something You would there. think yes. he would just be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd think he would just be like, <laughs> let's get revenge on Germans. But yeah. he's like, let's get revenge yeah. on all the wait, wait, his, You know, his power is to control metal, but is that just like to get the money close? Because <laughs> <laughs> back then, a, a quarter Precious was worth Precious metals, it's gold? Yeah. <laughs> so he hides it in his helmet. It's the most yeah. racist. It's the most, <laughs> the most <laughs> metal character. That would be the actual Magneto. He's just like, <laughs> just collecting chains. Yeah. Everybody goes, going by wishing well. and. Trevi Fountain's just empty. Yeah. <laughs> Who is this guy? He's like, he's a shitty superhero. He's my lawyer, actually. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. That's how they got him to unlock his powers, by moving a court. Is yeah. That was the no, very first thing really? they made him do. Holy <laughs> that shit. That is crazy. I told you that my, my buddy yeah. Paul, when I was in middle school, this kid, I don't want to say his last name, but he was this Peruvian kid, and there was this kid, <laughs> Howard, <laughs> this is fucked up, but there was this kid, Howard, who is, uh, it was this Jewish kid, and what every day during lunch, we'd go to Subway to get sandwiches, and Paul would put a nickel on the middle of the table. He'd be like, watch, watch, he's going to go for it. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to go for it. Just watch, just watch, just watch. And Howard would come back with his sandwich, and Paul would just stare at him. <laughs> like, you ever see like a like someone put a mouse in like a in like a snake cage? Yeah, and you're just like, like <laughs> yeah. So so there is some I guess I don't know real shit there. I don't know. I don't think Kanye's doing anything. It's just like overhyped. What, really? Yeah. Yeah. People are like he's just anti Semitic. Was like I'm not seeing it. I don't know. Just when does it become it. a problem for you? Are you just kind of like numbed all of it? And he's not so, doing how? anything. I don't know. He's not doing anything. He's just like expressing a little disinterest. It's like that's fine. Same thing. Remember. Uh, <laughs> Mike uh, Cannon, whatever his name is. Mike Cannon? Not no, Mike Cannon. No, no, not Mike Nick Cannon. Cannon. Nick Cannon. The older one who looks younger. <laughs> Mike yeah. Cannon does edibles and, and film specials. Yeah. <laughs> not anti Semite. Yeah. Nick Cannon got in trouble for it too. They tried to take a show. Like, who gives a fuck? Mm. What is, he's, he's, it's okay. He's, Why he's, didn't he's you just get any wrong. paranoia? Why, you know? They're not doing anything. Yeah. But it, it got real bad once. This isn't that bad. <laughs> it's just a celebrity <laughs> saying, like, Only I don't follow that. Right? Yeah, 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 let's follow that. I'm dialogue. saying. He <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a reasonable guy. Hey, for this take for yeah. like three weeks. Hey, <laughs> hey, Al, can't black people say the same thing? It got real bad once. <laughs> yeah. 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 Different now. Yeah. 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 I think that there is a, uh, like, an oppression Olympics that black people and Jews are fighting no, it, for Jews the goal just there. got involved. They're kind of winning. Black people got <laughs> it. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. That's whoa, crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a hot you're, take. You're, you're, they're winning in terms of? The oppression Olympics. Jews are winning? Yeah. No way. Blacks are number oh, one. Come Blacks on. are number one because <laughs> Asians, Stop tried, it up, Asians tried. And everyone was like, shut up, dude. Yeah, yeah, no one yeah. cares about you. <laughs> yeah, we weren't buying it from the Asians. Yeah, yeah more probably. stories about Jews, but Blacks are winning the oppression. Why is that? Why, why? I don't know. I just, I guess, people write stories. Yeah. Write stories about Jews, I don't know. Hey, hey, <laughs> learn how to write. <laughs> <laughs> you think blacks aren't winning the pain Olympics? The oppression so, Olympics? Absolutely not. Wow. Absolutely that's, not. Absolutely that's not. That's a wild take. That's a that's wild take. That's the wildest take has ever been on this podcast. Yeah, yeah. I thought. Kazi just said, y'all run everything, and he's done. But he's still here. He's still fine. No, he's not. Yes, Nothing's he is. off Where Spotify. Is he? He's, he's, he, he's being talked about nonstop. Mm -hmm. he, all his money is gone. No, no, no he's still got four hundred million. All his his deals gone. are done. <laughs> like he's done. He's done out here. I just wonder. I think that that's like the amount the of NASCAR people. NASCAR drive guy drops the N word and people celebrate him. Which one? Well, that's NASCAR uh, though. You got to think NASCAR, about NASCAR. It. It's a different I'm world. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's I'm not enough saying. black people. Wait, in wait. But has anybody? You got to have an example of somebody who said something bad about black people who's, who's also done. I mean, Megyn Kelly is the example I always use. It's like she, she asked about blackface, and then immediately she gets kicked off the air. And then gets a new show? No, she has her own show. No, she's doing her she own thing. She produces her own show. Oh, she produces? Yeah, I thought yeah, she was yeah, on yeah. NBC. But no, it's not, it's never, either way, it's not easy to go after either one. I think what it has yeah, to do yeah, is yeah. how many group, how many of those people are in the industry. So, for example, like, you can't say anything about black people in basketball, because even if black people don't own the basketball teams, they run basketball. They run. Yeah. Donald so Sterling. You, Exactly. Please just don't take as many pictures with black people. <laughs> Yo, that was <laughs> that, that, like, that crazy. In a way, it's even more racist. Like, don't yeah. even be in pictures with them? <laughs> yeah. That's a crazy thing. <laughs> that was wild. He was like, you can fuck them. Yeah. Just, he's like, nothing I do want my friends to think from, yeah, from a rich white guy, old money country club perspective, yeah. he was saying, like, I don't, 
I'm progressive, but I'm I don't want to deal with my not progressive friends. My friends are not going to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't want to deal with their racism. It's like, you know uh-huh. I mean? it's like the gay at Thanksgiving. He's like, just say you're my friend. <laughs> 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 just, it's fine. You know I love you, babe. Just come on. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think it's like uh, how many people are in the industry and then you have to respect them. And maybe that's the idea about representation. No, you know why the industry is he- hella Jewish? Why? It's because it's you have to operate at a failure level for a while financially. And so like if you want to be an agent or manager, you got to work for four, it used to be 450 bucks a week, tons of overtime, no overtime pay. So who can live on that? You need someone funneling you money. You need a parent, a rich oh, person funneling shit. you money. Yeah, we just we had money, so we we're able to be like, go follow your follow your dream. <laughs> <laughs> or now, whatever. is there ever like a is there ever this feeling like, all right, you know, Ak- Akash, for example, being a comedian as an Indian, he should be an engineer, he should be a doctor, or whatever. Yeah. Being in front of the camera, is that looked down upon? D- did you ever? Were your parents ever? No, they just didn't think it would work. They'd There's be like, no, no it's, what, a pipe, what a pipe, you know, I'm sure for all of you guys, it's like, well, you can't do comedy. That's like yeah. a wild, celebrities in comedy. No one we know could do it, yeah. you know? So that, but once I started making a little money or I got my first commercial, they were all like, oh, sweet. And they're Sick. 100%. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I feel I mean, like, was, yeah, go. were your parents different though because you were raised Orthodox? You yeah, well, first I had to get out of that. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, what was that like? I, 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 we did a little research here. You found the Orthodoxy. You weren't, you're like, uh, born again Orthodox. Yeah, when I was little. But you started out as just regular. As like conservative. Conservative. And then like in third, fourth grade, my dad's like, let's get religious again. Well, what were you doing? <laughs> oh, like you know, two fucking hookers. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking giving it to these babysitters, bro. They didn't even know. <laughs> no, but what happens in like the fourth grade? Oh, just- so suddenly it's like, oh, oh, hey, remember Halloween? Fucking try to keep a memory of it because we don't do that anymore. <laughs> it's Whoa, pagan. Wow. Really? That was the worst one. Yeah, what's the deal with that? I had a Jewish friend growing up and I wanted to do Halloween with him and his parents were like, nah, you can't. That's the worst are one. It's expensive. It's a- yeah. <laughs> I just said dress as a Jew. Like, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. That's scary exactly. in my neighborhood. Exactly. Like, <laughs> that, that's that's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, that They're awesome. coming. <laughs> 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 They're changing the neighborhood for better or worse. I don't really know. They're buying up the neighborhood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what's the Halloween thing? It's pagan, but I remember switching to a religious school and then the teacher asking like what some, I guess, guess Columbus Day. She goes, what's this day? And I was like, you know, when you know something? I was like, it's Halloween. And she was like, October 20. And I was like, she's like, no, it's Columbus Day, but also we don't do that. And I was like, wait, what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> she's like, yeah, we don't do Halloween. It's pagan. Damn. I'm like, what's I pagan? You have your own Halloween. Yeah, poor him, poor yeah, right? yeah. It's great. You're supposed to get but drunk. Then, religious yeah. Catholics don't do Halloween. Really? What are you talking people? about? No, Jehovah's Witness. We stuff. break all the rules. It's so lame because it has nothing to do with religion anymore. Yeah. You're not actually worshiping devils. But you're saying devils. like you're, you're devil worshiping or, you know. But that orthodoxy is I'm, orth- I'm by the book. By the book, yeah. So, you know, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you can't pick and choose. Okay, so salad. how do you get out of that? You go to yeshiva. Went to seminary for a couple of years and then realized I didn't believe in God. Why? It just wasn't in me. It's but, just like, why, why do you not like tomatoes? It's just like, you just, you just think about it and you're like, it's not in there. But you were so reflecting. I, there was a moment where you were just. Yeah, I was like, oh, I don't think I believe in this. Drugs, anything special, help? No, no, I just, there was this, I wanted to turn off a light on Shabbos once and I didn't do it, but I was worried about people. It's in the special a little bit, but like people going by my window yeah. in, in Jerusalem. And, um, and they're like, I'll get in trouble if they see my light go off. But then it just like, for about a year, I struggled. I was like, why would I care about the people seeing me? And it's not their law, it's God's law. So he has to take that up with me. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's who I'd fear, not these people. And I'm like, yeah. and then I'm like, maybe I don't really believe in them. Like I always say, like if you're jerking off, like if your dad's in the room, you're not just gonna jerk off. Because he'd be like, what are you doing? Like, oh my God, like yeah, I didn't yeah. know you were real. Like yeah. you're positive he's real, so you just, <laughs> you don't do it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But like if you weren't sure, you'd be like, I don't know, I don't know. Bad, they say, <laughs> but it's not a real thing, you know? It had nothing to do with that light. Yeah, and I just didn't believe in it, so I had to like, I had to make a hard decision to get out. Yeah. Like, there's words that you thought were fine a few years ago and not just not okay anymore. Words Jake Paul thought were fine a few years ago, <laughs> apparently. Yeah. Apparently not so fine. Yeah. Maybe it was in a yeah. song. Who knows, yeah. you know? Yeah. Just- but like, but but <laughs> I, mean, like, I think, and I, Charlemagne made this point. But like, mm. British people know there's like certain words that have different meanings here than back home. Cigarettes. Like, like there's a cigarette word yeah, that yeah, like yeah. back home is something crazy. Yeah, but yeah. But it's not yeah. like we look at drill rap that when they're saying it, we're like, ah, you can't, you got to change that. Yeah, no, it's, it's a little bit. It's it arrogant. Is, it is quite crazy. It's arrogant. It's quite crazy. That, Stop um, speaking the way you speak. It is the most English thing to do. 
Well, oh. You're going to change your language. It's colonial. Uh, it's colonial. Colonization. Yeah, colonial. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're yeah. not going to let you colonize yeah. Beyonce. Mm. A black <laughs> woman. A black woman. Yeah. That's fucked up. That is Bro, fucked I, up. Yeah, I, it's... I don't know. I feel like with music, it's freedom of speech, isn't it? It's yeah. You're open to just say and do, within reason anyway. But like to say and do what what you like. But yeah, I don't know. Like I, I guess with Beyonce, she's got you know a certain type of audience, and she has to try and please that audience. And yeah, if that means changing a line, you got. I guess. But are there, you there people the here line. suffering from spaz that are were upset about it? <laughs> What do you call them? Spazzers? I, I, I have no idea. Yeah, that's a porn sign. I, I, have, I have no idea, bro. I have no idea. No, this is just mind boggling to me that bro, this is legit. an issue. I, I, like, it's, <laughs> okay, especially in the genre of music where like wild shit is being said every single day. Oh, yeah, like it, drill. You're getting people talking about, oh, yeah, I stabbed this guy, then yeah. I stabbed this guy. Uh, last week I also these- shot this guy, but yeah. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> do you believe the shooting stuff? Yeah. Uh, in England. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. People have guns in England. But do, is it like a communal gun? Like, how do you get access? <laughs> it's like, like a library. Yeah, you like you have up. a card yeah, and exactly. you're like, yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I allegedly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting in trouble here. But I know, like. We're about to find out why Wasabi <laughs> let go of this fire. <laughs> but, like, I guess if you want to get a gun, you can get a gun. Yeah. yeah. It's, but it's like, it's hard. Yeah. It's very it's it's way harder than it is in America. In America, bro, you could just yeah. <laughs> yeah. walk in anywhere and Walmart, get it, bro. Yeah. 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 I remember literally when I was in LA a few yeah. weeks ago, just walked into like a sweet store. Yeah. And there's just guns being yeah. sold. They have like, duty free at the airport. I'm yeah. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You get a gun sweet. and a couple around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I shot yeah. one on the way here. It was awesome. Yeah. 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 It was great, bro. And bro, I was like, bro, it's it's so cheap. Yeah. Yeah. It's so cheap. Yeah, it's cheap. Yeah. I can't believe it. And I also think it's less savage, to be honest with you. I think shooting someone is less savage than stabbing. Well, it's kind of more cowardly, well, too. It's, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, what, I, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I would rather shoot you from, like, afar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Than, like, be up, all up close. Nah, like, you're close. calling us pussy right now. Yeah, yeah, no. No. You're making us look bad. It, it, is, it is. Nah. Yeah, we're a Yo, little pussy, bro. We'd be spazzing out with the gap. Yeah, bro. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, son. <laughs> Chill, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying, would you rather stab? Like, Al, you had a life of crime before <laughs> podcasting. <laughs> like, was it more comfortable for you to potentially you shoot? Life of crime before oh. podcasting is so <laughs> such a life of crime career time for you. I sh- shot from afar. I was pretty yeah, pushy. It's super, it's, <laughs> Very from And then you could like yeah. miss on purpose and yeah, they don't yeah, know yeah, that yeah, you're yeah. pussy, yeah. you know? But like the stab thing, like yeah, you can't even miss. It's not, but I mean like there's something really personal and like you horrible about like, You're staring at someone in their eyes while yeah. stabbing them, bro. Yeah. And yeah. you just see the life like seep out of them allegedly yeah. allegedly allegedly, allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. compared to you just shooting and piecing out yeah and you just don't, it's just like oh, i don't know and then for a second. you <laughs> just see like on on the news like oh he's dead it's like oh shit like, yeah, wow. yeah, it's, yeah yeah it's it's wild and is it is it a bad with the the knife the knife crime is pretty bad pretty really bad. yeah 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 it's pretty bad so they're just walking up to I'm trying to understand this. Now, do you feel more comfortable doing it because, like, you know... Why are you saying me? <laughs> <laughs> Just hypothetically. Like, I don't, bro. When you stab I people. don't stab <laughs> anyone, bro. When you risk I'm your... a civilian. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a civilian. <laughs> I'm saying it now. I ain't on the streets like that. You a bandana, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, will, yeah, Yo, I will fight in the ring, okay? And that's it. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, when Deji is trying to make money. <laughs> when he, when he is out there trying to get some dollars on the streets <laughs> on the road if you will yeah. some peas, um, some peas. and now he and you know <laughs> is there ever a feeling like after like stabbing somebody where you're like the health care was taken care of you know like <laughs> do you know what i mean where like you're like you know they'll be all right yeah now. nhs yeah, yeah. It, it's yeah. got us no, i mean that forward. sincerely yeah no no big up the nhs man Yo, yeah, big up the nhs big up the nhs stab no. up saw him up yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we out here, man. Always safe. It is a it is yeah. a weird. So like uh, our boy Jamil, who's here, he does all our partnership stuff. He has international healthcare. Mm. He doesn't even have healthcare at home. Isn't that weird? That's wait, so what. Wait, so if he, to if get, he got yeah. shot in America, would he just? He has to wait for a British ambulance to come <laughs> over. <laughs> 
take him back. It's like days. It's fucking a nightmare, bro. <laughs> My shit, dude. God damn. <laughs> yeah, no, I, he travels a lot, so I guess it, it's it's beneficial, but it's so much cheaper than just getting the health insurance at home. Damn. Yeah, but how often do you go to the doctor, right? Well, I mean, it depends. If you're on the, in the head for money. If you're on the, well, oh, yeah, or right. if you're on yeah. the streets like that, bro, yeah, yeah, then yeah, 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 yeah. you probably need to get sorted. Every well, every once in a while, but you can't go to the doctor and ask questions and shit. You know well, what I mean? I do. I do remember, like, I had a headache or something like that. No, I, not a headache. I um burst my eardrum and I was I, I had like pain. This yeah. was before I was fine, Logan. Yeah, I was sparring some like <laughs> hundred and twenty kilogram guy. We don't know what that is. Hip. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's two sixty. It sounds really little. hundred. Oh, really? That's the other All right, thing. So yeah, what? Yeah. Two sixty. No. What? Okay, double. It's oh, like double. wow. There we 2. go. 2. Yeah, something like that. Two. So, two Two point two. Yeah. Okay. Two six. So he hit me with a off, he hit me with a left yeah. hook. But one twenty is like you got your eardrum busted. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, fucking dwarf. <laughs> okay, go on. But he hit me with a left hook, burst my eardrum. I was like, oh, fuck. fuck, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I was traveling, obviously, to go to Vegas to get sore. And I was like, oh, I've got like an ear ear pain. So I helped the doctor. And I was like, oh yeah, like a doctor in America, can I get sore? So he came over, sorted me out. He was like, yeah, that's uh, one thousand five hundred. Yeah. I was like, you've given me tablets. Yeah. You've just given me tablets and that's 1,500. Yeah. What the fuck, bro? Yeah, it's like 50 bucks for a Tylenol at a hospital. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. No wonder people are there like, that's oh, his I've been people. shot. All right, fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 man. Let me get the knife, yo. <laughs> fuck the shit out. Not us. We don't set the prices. We just treat you. Oh, is that right? Yeah. We just be treating you. Now, if you had a private practice, you could decide how yeah. much it if costs. If they could set the price, mm. it'd be way more expensive. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, true. Probably. Mm. That's true. <laughs> that's not wrong. And the medicine would be shittier. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second. Listen, if you're one of the millions of adults who use nicotine, you know that not all products are the same, and there's one new product that stands above the rest, okay? Lucy Breakers are the only nicotine pouch that gives you a blast of flavor from the first moment to the last, okay? Each pouch contains a capsule that you break open to release a rush of flavor that doesn't fade away like those other pouches. They come in so many flavors. They got the mint, the berry citrus, mango, even espresso. Fantastic flavor, if I may say so myself. I'm telling you, this is an absolutely amazing way to get your nicotine, by far the most delicious, so you want to get on it. So whether you use nicotine while you're working, creating, or playing, Lucy Breakers are the intelligent choice. And we got a special deal for our listeners. Look, $10 off your first order when you use our promo code FLAGRANT at checkout. And shipping is always free. That's lucy.co, promo code FLAGRANT to receive $10 off and free shipping. Visit lucy.co for more details. And we thank Lucy for sponsoring the podcast. And here comes the fine print. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age and every order is age verified. This product contains nicotine and nicotine is an addictive chemical. Now let's get back to the show. All right, guys, we'll take a break for a second because you need a new wallet, okay? Take that old shit out of your pocket. It's whack. It's garbage, okay? It's embarrassing. You're on a date, you pull that thing, strings hanging off of it, cars poking out the side. You don't want that. You need a wallet that will protect you, protect your goods, protect your money, and protect your information, and extra is just that. Listen, not only is it sleek, this is some sleek ass shit right here. Look at that quick card access. Bow, which card you want? All of them, mad points. Delta, that's where I'm going with my points. Put them back in there, straight. Not only does it have that, it's also a trackable world worldwide. This is the one wallet you're not gonna lose, okay? If someone takes it from you, follow that motherfucker and get it back. Voice activated as well, you lose your wallet, you just have to call it. It works with Google Home, Alexa, Siri, all that. Also, it's protected from the boop. The new way people steal your money is not run your pockets. They hit you with that boop and then take all your information, take that credit card, charge your credit card. Not with Exter. RFID protection. RFID protects you against identity theft and skimming, and Exter got your back. And not to mention, look how sleek and beautiful this thing is right here. So, I know you want one, and you absolutely should want you want one. You should trust your gut. This is the best wallet in the business right now. If you need a new wallet, why not just try it? I don't understand it. Why not just try it? Oh, is there not a discount? Well, what if I said 35% off? 35% off site-wide with the code flagrant. All you need to do, 
All you need to do is go to exter.com, that's E-K-S-T-E-R.com, and you get up to 35% off site-wide with the code flagrant, okay? Make sure you go there. Let's get back to the show. Now, can I be serious? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, be serious. Tommy Fury. More serious. More serious? Yeah. Okay. Thomas Fury. <laughs> Thomas, <laughs> Thomas, Thomas Fury seems to be afraid to come to America to fight you. Yeah. That's what some people would think. Yeah, I mean, look, he's uh, backed out of the fight once already with That's an true. injury that we don't know whether or not was actually an injury. You claim that he had hurt his pussy lips. Yes. <laughs> mm. Vaginitis. <laughs> oh, damn. And it was more of an odor? Was that the. It was, <laughs> that was he was so bad they wouldn't let him on the plane to come over here. Wow. Yeah. Oh, the man. odor. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a new thing at the TSA. Oh, really? <laughs> I didn't know that. That's what the dogs are sniffing yeah. for now. Yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah. 100%. Okay. <laughs> he just fogged up that machine when you throw the triangle out there. It was pretty nice. Uh, but How did you end up getting your dick sucked on stage? Doing too much Molly. Was that it? Mm-hmm. It is really my fault. I really think it was an Illuminati secret agent just <laughs> to destroy my rap career. You don't think you just have a sex addiction that's never crossed your mind? I mean, I think everybody have a sex addiction. Right? <laughs> That's what addicts say, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Everyone loves alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, 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 when you're really? blaming the Illuminati instead of <laughs> I need my dick sucked all the time. Yeah. Let me tell you the Take us through it. it. Take okay. us through it. So this day, I mean, you know, this is like early in my career. It's like, you know, I'm just not starting to really get cracking like that, you know? And um, so I got this show or whatever. And I was at the time I was doing a shit ton of Molly. That was my drug of choice. So I was just doing Molly like every day. So I'm always horny and like weird and shit. So um, <laughs> it was a lot of girls at the show and they, were, and they were feeling the boy, you know. So, but it was like, like I would be rapping and I'd be like on this corner, and be like a group of girls and they'd be like rubbing me, like grabbing my dick and shit and all that shit and doing, all, you know, just being creepy. But then I'd go on the other side of the stage, it was like one 50 year old looking old white lady. And she's doing the same thing, but she's going a little further than everybody else. That's what I'm saying. I think it was a planet agent. <laughs> and this is the time I used to wear. I used to wear Rick Owens all the time. You know what I'm saying? So I had the long T-shirt to hang down to your knees and shit. Yeah. So, you know, they keep grabbing my dick and shit. And, you know, off the molly, I'm like, I think I want to feel the real deal. So I go back to my DJ booth. I just pop the motherfucker out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but wait, what? what do you so mean? So now I'm in front of the stage full charge. <laughs> no, so you took your own dick out first. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're a wild boy. So when I went to her side of the stage, she grabbed that book. Oh, it's real. So then she just pulled the shirt up and started doing her thing. Kept rapping. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I got to do the show. I mean, I, I'm paid to do a job. <laughs> and did you let her finish? No, no. The thing was, it just got so crazy. It just was so fucked up because you got to think, man, there's a lot of guys at the show too. And they were like getting smushed and smashed and they were just getting close to the, closer to the dick. I was just seeing the look of horror on niggas' faces. What if Jason just grabbed that shit out of the <laughs> <laughs> Three step bitches. Three step bitches. <laughs> so I felt bad. So, honestly, to myself, I'm like, after the show, this is who I'm fucking. You got it. Yeah, so where yeah. you at, bitch? So I bring the bitch, I get her, and I bring her backstage. She like, I'm on my period. I can't do nothing. I can't go nowhere. Uh, and then just left. And she had like a scary look on her. Everything about it was just weird. I'm like, dude, this was a government secret agent that oh, was sitting wow. here. And what were you doing that the government would want to stop? I was too good at rap. Too good at rap. <laughs> That's, that has happened with and the they, government they before. They strike on you. They got to see what is That's his weakness. That, what is his weakness? And then they Let found me show it. you how we can fuck this nigga up. They and found it. Yeah, they got me. They, they got, got you with sex. Me. Yes. That's men. <laughs> I'm a real man. I'm a real man. <laughs> <laughs> but did that hurt your career, that situation? I would say so. How? I would say so because that was like the biggest moment of my career. So more people know about that shit than they know about my actual fucking music. Like, mm-hmm. I was on Entertainment Tonight, all type of... Da, 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 da. I'm like, why is this happening to me? <laughs> like, I'm seeing all type of shit. Everybody's reporting about it. C- CNN, all type of shit. But they won't talk about my music. They talk about me normally. Yeah. But but I tried to spin it until I got sexually assaulted. But this I mean, is before the cancel stage, so it didn't really work out right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now that I know that you whipped it out first... <laughs> it makes it a little harder to prove that point. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it no more. You should have just, <laughs> just made it your thing. 
Get my di- That's a good point. <laughs> like, you your no, on stage, this one yeah. made it worse. So after that show, I think I came to New York maybe a few dates later. And you know how you want to like get content and shit. And they was like interviewing like people in the line. And it was, I remember this one dude in the line. He's like, man, I don't know who Danny Brown is, but if he getting his dick sucked at shows and he got bitches like that in the crowd, I'm definitely pulling up. So it became this thing of where guys thought the girls at my shows was free crazy, yeah. So what happened was mm-hmm. I would always get these messages from girls and be like, Danny, I love you. I'm a huge fan and all that shit. I love your music and shit, but I can't go to your shows. The guys there are so fucking creepy. It's oh, just, really? Uh, fucked up. <clears throat> so it got to the point where I wanted to, I stopped trying to make that kind of music just to, uh. to not even, you know? So I don't like rap about like getting my dick suck songs and shit like that. I would like make a three minute long song about getting my dick sucked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But now I won't do that no more. You can't even rap about your passion. But now it's a sausage fan. Yeah. <laughs> now I go to my shows, it's not one bitch. You're back in prison. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> Ain't nobody braiding here though. <laughs> There's no upside. There's no upside, man. At least they had good workout programs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Soft Peter. White lady <laughs> tried to do it. What? Suck your dick. The 50 year old. Oh, at the show? Yeah, yeah, she was white. Yeah, it was a white lady. Oh, bro, she had no business being there. Your first white lady? My first white lady? Yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm from the days of Black Planet. What does that mean? I would go on Black Planet just for the white bitches. Wait, white? Oh, Wait, boy. I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> a real dicker. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Explain Black Planet to everybody uh, at home. I've never heard of this. I've never heard of this. Heard of this. <laughs> <laughs> black Planet was a website for dating for black people. But every now and then, you'll see some white bitches on that motherfucker because they want some niggas. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm talking about. You know the yeah, type of yeah, white yeah, girls. Yeah. I feel like that wasn't real white girls, though. You fucking the type of white bitches on Black Planet, they niggas, too. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had to grow yeah. up in my status of getting a white bitch. You know what I'm okay. saying? Like, these ain't real white bitches. These bitches just worse as us. These bitches, these bitches EBT card bitches. You know? <laughs> <laughs> a white bitch with an EBT card is dangerous. And, and three baby daddies that's all black. Oh, man. You a black bitch. <laughs> so I was like, man, these ain't real white bitches, man. I got to step my shit up. Yeah. And then when did you step your shit up? I guess when, uh, I guess, I think now. Now? I think now. Now, now you I think know you're... what a quality white woman is. Mm. Because before, you know, you just, whatever. You just doing whatever. See, I was one of those guys, man. Detroit is predominantly black. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody would talk about interracial relationships and all that shit. And I was, motherfuckers be attracted to who they're attracted to. Yeah. Now, I don't know. It's just something in me. I was always attracted to white women ever since I was born. I don't feel bad about it. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? I remember fucking driving past the Catholic school, seeing that motherfucker let out. All them bitches come out with that skirt on. I'm on the bus going to motherfucking Sweden house to go work, wash dishes and shit, looking at that shit like, one day, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I have one of you. <laughs> that nigga was always horny, son. Yo, this is oh. the most horny dude ever. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> and then? I mean, like I said, it was, it was, it was a hard, because, you know, it, as a nigga, you got to start out fucking fat white bitches. <laughs> right, 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 right. Why right. is that, you think? That's the gateway drug? Because that's what they that's the, that's what they want. You know, you got to go with who like you first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like yeah, who yeah, likes yeah, me. Yeah, so yeah, if yeah. you like white women, as a nigga, you ain't got no money or a place to live. Yeah. Fat white bitch is a goal. Yeah, okay. Okay. What? You're saving your life. Okay. So many couches I've slept on. <laughs> <laughs> what? Eat monkeys, all that kind of shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? Eating the monkey all yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I miss, I miss the eating part. <laughs> what, what race has the best sex? What race fucks the best? I, I mean, I, I wouldn't know, but in my head, I would think all the like um, the Latina Mexicans mm. because the what, 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 come on, Bobby. <laughs> I think they shit just crazy for some reason. How do you not know? You, you never tried that? You never had sex with a Latina? And they don't like me. <laughs> Why do you think? Nah, you Come gotta, on, You got to try again. I don't live in New York. That's another thing, too. Yeah, but you but live in, in Texas. <laughs> and I have, I'm a one-woman man. I have a wife now. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah we but I do. You. Oh, you're know, married. Trying to be. <laughs> trying to trying to be soon. Yeah, what's, what's that? I love it. When I, when you don't I, have a wife now. You might have a wife one day soon. I, I want to marry the girl that I'm with now. Mm. And then what's stopping you? Financial reasons. Mm-hmm. Do I believe you? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you gotta tell him. Yeah. <laughs> 
Like when I get the money right. Yeah. When I get the money right. Scam likely. <laughs> Have you ever thought about having a vagina put in? <laughs> installed, or, or installed. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. whatever. Yeah, I wear something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 A below ground pool. You can climb your ladder for the above ground, but it's just not the same. You know what I mean? Because you can get the inside painted and make it look like you know a Picasso. You know what I mean? Do a whole yeah. thing. <laughs> the infinity pool. That's a joke. You cannot get the inside of your vagina painted. <laughs> uh, yes. That was a pool reference. Um, yeah, I mean, I've totally thought about it. It's like one of my goals for sure. Oh, really? Um, mm. Yeah, I mean, I just don't want to tuck for, for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. um, and also to like... <laughs> Uh, he devastated, right? I know. Yeah. So, uh, you talked about it in the first episode, too. You were like, Wait. why would you? What a Dude. gift. Well, yeah. I, my thing, I just, I, the, yeah. cause, I not to, because you, you, you talk, that's you. But for me, as a fan, I'm like, don't tuck. I want to see that dick print. I know you do. I want to see you walk around with these pants on, <laughs> print it up. That's what I want to see. So it's like, I don't, I, and, and with your face, your face, body, print. Heels. <laughs> no, like that. Yeah, Jay didn't feel spoken for, bro. <laughs> bro yeah. I don't know that tuck. That's, I, I know offense, for it, but that's my <laughs> message to all the shows. Like, I don't that's tuck. So let's stop. Let's stop tucking. I can't yeah. 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 That's real, though. That's real. I want to see it. The print. I want to see like. Oh, I was like, you want to? What do you? What do you want? You, you, you yeah. want to yeah. you you you, You've already but. seen it there. <laughs> so, so, and then, do you feel a pressure with your? The follow up would be: Do you feel pressure with your career mm. that there are so many people that do enjoy the sheenish mm. that <laughs> you, that it would affect your career negatively if you got the. China. The <laughs> that sounds so magical. Um, uh, that has definitely been a concern of mine for sure. Cause you know, I don't want to shoot myself in the foot a little like, yeah, I, I know obviously my audience, but my main reason too is like, I love having sex. Yeah. I think all of us love having sex. And, um, if you have had sex with someone who has had anal, you would know that there's like a lot of preparation that goes into it. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Period, King. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about it. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, like you know, that that digestive system. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's you got to like think thing. about what you eat. No, that's tea. <laughs> you know what I mean, like for real, it's real. It's real. So yeah. it just makes it really hard to have to be. Um, dealing with that all the time. Yeah. So I would just like to be like a uh, run like, it up. Like Let's a, go. Like a gutter bitch. Like disgusting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna eat McDonald's. I'm gonna put it all in my mouth. <laughs> And you're gonna put your mouth on it. Cause yeah. I don't got a clean shit. Yo. Oh, I don't got a clean shit. And 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 the 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 pussies that get mm -hmm. installed <laughs> at are they like ready to go? Is there has been there like new technology? I'm not just I'm not really That's familiar with the what is it called even what, the bo surgery. bottom surgery yeah bottom the surgery? bottom it's no. called bottom surgery so look, I'm not familiar look with the at our surgery. ally over here our yeah, resident yeah, ally in the room yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Um, <laughs> so so what like uh, yeah, he's not an ally he just studies his enemy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. friends close baby <laughs> Daisy I hear you coming on the podcast let's <laughs> plan it out <laughs> <laughs> that's how it sounds <laughs> Um, um, what, was the, what was the question? I don't know. Mark didn't bring his cross today, though. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tuck that one. <laughs> Talk about tucking. Drink it up. Water. Okay. No, no. So the bottom surgery, like, like all surgeries, <clears throat> these things improve. Yes. Right. Like you even look at like breasts now compared to like breasts in the eighties. Yeah. It's crazy. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. So yeah. it's like I imagine bottom surgery is drastically improving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We yeah. haven't even talked about our top hat. It's all great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We haven't good. even moved up yet. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're still down there. But so, so I'm like, is there part of you that's like, yo, I'm going to wait because every six months to a year, mm -hmm. the pussies get <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. higher. Right. Yo, like, that's what I be doing yo, with MacBooks, yo. Real talk. Right. Like, you get a new <laughs> iPhone, they come out the new shit. You got the 2024 pussy on the way. Yeah. <laughs> There's a refurbishment period. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. know what I mean? There are. Oh, never mind. 
I was gonna say there are there are children in workshops. Um, no, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, Apple. Um, um, yeah, no, I I mean, yeah, the technology is obviously getting a lot better. It depends. I mean. You just gotta go to a good doctor, you yeah. know, because there, it, yeah, it's just it, it's you gotta, you gotta go to a good doctor. I love, I love. I've seen some things. I've seen some vaginas. Have you have you had sex with a uh, bottom trans, surgery? A trans crawl. Um, n- not with bottom surgery. No. So that would be a trans. Oh. Wait a minute. Just, just I feel like that same. would be a good way to, to like, like you know, you test drive a car when you want to get bottom surgery. Right. Mm. You, you see which, you know, you what see, doctors you have. I will say, I have my friend, moisture. my friend Natasha Dreams. Okay. <laughs> see, I knew. I'm, I'm, somebody have to see their face. Somebody, somebody, somebody know my name. Somebody, oh, I was like, I was like oh, I knew that would land. <laughs> um, no, she showed me her pussy and it was. Really? Immaculate. Fantastic. Wow. Can she feel? Immaculate. Yes. And it gets yes. wet the same? Yes. Wait, how does Clitoris it get wet? Stuff? How does it get yes. wet? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, so well, like it depends. Jog a couple laps? It like. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> 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 he said? Did you jog a couple laps? This guy is crazy, bro. He's a idiot. <laughs> I don't even know what to say after that one. <laughs> Slap him in the face. Jesus. Hold on, Go on. There are, there are different <laughs> options that you can get. <laughs> you can just get a regular vagina. Yeah. There's also an option oh, like a deluxe. The, there's the deluxe. What's that deluxe? It's um they take it they t- it's like called like the sigmoid. Wow, I'm so so medical um it's called the sigmoid colon f- version where they take a bit of your colon and then they use it at the top of your vagina and it helps lubricate more wow yeah because they do oh. self-lubricate because oh oh i was like is that me oh that's natasi <laughs> i've seen her yeah i know i know you have <laughs> i know you have for sure for sure um yeah no there's like different options um, it depends. I mean, I don't know how it works because I'm not a doctor, but like some like semen, half of it, like a, a small percentage of it is sperm and like the rest is like seminal fluid. Seminal fluid. Yeah. So like yeah, yeah. it's all coming from like the same place. Oh, so they can reroute oh. some seminal fluid. Yeah. Yeah. And so obviously like I don't have a G, sp- I wouldn't have a G spot. Right. But they place it where your prostate becomes your G-spot. So then you can ah. orgasm. Yeah. And then the Japanese broadcast is the only one that... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, why? They cut it out or something? They cut it out of the U.S., but yeah. Japanese and, like, Australian didn't have it cut out. Do you want to play the Japanese? Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute. They they pre-recorded it, you're saying? This isn't live? No, there's, like, a 15-second delay. So because everything happened, they just dumped a bunch of... You, oh see, you can see Will Smith God. saying it, but you don't hear it. But oh luckily, there's a Japanese God. broadcast where you can hear the whole thing uncensored. And when have you, you heard he, it? Yes, please no. translate the Japanese as well, Andrew. When, I can do that if you, you want. Yeah. I sw- I had no clue because I heard the. I didn't know it was Japanese, but I heard the Asian in the background. Yeah. Now, do you want to guess before the translator translates what it's going to be in Japanese? Yeah, I can say exactly what it is. Okay. <laughs> oh wow! Wow! Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Pause. Okay. How do you think that's going to be translated in Japanese? It's about to come in. Yeah. Uh, I think it's honey master, <laughs> honey master, honey master. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty, honestly, God, pretty close. Don't ever say I'm racist. That was honestly. Don't ever say I'm racist. <laughs> don't ever say I'm racist. <laughs> don't ever say I'm racist. <laughs> say I'm racist. <laughs> okay. Did I not just say it? <laughs> Did I not just happen? say it? Oh it's it's God. what I do. It's what I do. Okay, a father protects oh, his family. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's what I do. Oh shit. Fuck oh, out of here. Y'all thought y'all was setting me up to be racist, and then no. Well, yes, and then no. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. Uh uh-uh, uh, bro. Uh uh-uh, uh, bro. Okay, keep going. Okay. Well, Don't you, ever you, stop. You want to keep going? Or you just yes, end I can fucking that. keep going if you want me to keep going. Right, let's, Shit. Let's see. Put my name out your fucking mouth. Honey monster. <laughs> Honey monster. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a GI Jane jump. Keep my wife's GI Jane. No. <laughs> 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 Proper names. That's my bad. <laughs> no joke okay. this. No. I'm going to. Okay. Go, I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to. Yeah. Kamikaze. Okay. Oh Jeez. man. Well, oh, actually, yeah. Will is more. 
Yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Yo, Dana White posted on the gram. Let's oh, go. I could, oh, okay. That's what he was in. Yeah, he held back. That was uh, Oh, this is the funniest part right here. Greatest night in the history Watch of right. television. Okay. Okay. So we are here to uh, give a documentary out, to give an Oscar out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part. I had shit. a great tweet when he noticed so, that. <laughs> This nigga was so flustered. So <laughs> Yo, we're here to give a documentary out. Yeah, we're going to give it out. We're going to give yeah. the documentary out. Documentary is an NFT, actually. We're giving this documentary an NFT. <laughs> that is the best part of that whole shit right there. He literally yeah. said, oh, I could. <laughs> yeah. you, you could what? <laughs> oh, I'd love to know what you could. Yeah. It would have been awesome. Yes. Now nah, he was about uh, to go in. It was the out the mouth thing. Yeah. That's what he was about Come to on, hit. Chris. Guaranteed. Go, Keep my dog. wife's name Just out your mouth. Go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep other dudes out your wife's mouth. That's what I think the comeback was about. That would have been so good. Yeah. <laughs> what? He would have got. I mean, that would have been good. I yeah. mean, if he said it, it's a groan, and then Chris Rock is an absolute superstar. Legend. The yeah. tour sells out the next day. Oh. His tour's probably doing fine. Maybe. <laughs> hey, Chris Rock. Maybe he is Chris Rock. That's yeah. a good point. I'm just saying. You it never know. Been, yeah, he would have gone that as like all time greatest I comeback. Mean, I Come mean, on. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, he's yeah, in the yeah. shower right now, probably like, God yeah, damn. Yeah, I know, he bro. missed his moment. Bro. I have so many. He's got yeah. lines on everyone's texting him, perfect jokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're the Gen Z expert. You know everything Dude. about rap music. I honestly don't know what Kid Cudi does. <laughs> oh, I know he's in movies sometimes, and every time I see him there, and I'm like, he's not famous enough for how bad he is at acting <laughs> to be here. What was he? Hey, can we be honest? That wedding That's dress bullshit. shit, Dennis Rodman been done been that. Been done it! Been done that. Been done it. That's yo. That shit is older than screw music. Yeah, we, you want to talk dresses. about dinosaurs? No more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to yeah. talk all this dinosaur talk? Yeah, yeah, come on, dog. Okay, you you did the whole I'm gonna wear a wedding dress for clout thing. Mm. Corny, mm. super <laughs> corny. Mm. Y'all like that? Wait, Cuddy? that's your hero, bro. He was doing Kurt Cobain. That your hero. Hey, he was doing that too, dog. <laughs> he Kurt. Was did it first. Yeah, he was paying a homage. Stop paying homage. Stop dick riding. <laughs> Stop <laughs> dick riding. Oh, I like the energy. Out here dick riding. I like the energy. <laughs> Don't say <laughs> dick so hard. No, for real. Don't say Yo, dick Yo, why like that. is it that these young millennial white kids <laughs> love soft ass black dudes so much? Because they're not. Because they're black people are not scared. Why of Why you love emasculated black <laughs> yeah, men? Yeah, why yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah. emasculate yeah. black men for yeah. them to be famous and successful? Have you seen where rap music came from? That's fire! What are you talking about? Funkmaster Flex wearing like frilly shirts? They were all super gay back in the day. No, 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 no. What are you talking about? Why? You, yeah. you crazy, bro. You crazy. <laughs> Adidas tracksuits, dog. Yeah. Adidas tracksuits. Funkmaster Flex? Yeah, yeah Funkmaster Flex. 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 See, Real talk. Now one picture. Look at you. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Bro, this is how rap music started. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. It was nah, guys nah, dressed nah. like the village people, bro. Let me see. This is what rap music came from, all right? And we're just getting back to that. The truth. The roots. So Them that's, that's fire. I don't that's see nothing. Fire. 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 Those dudes get pussy. That's my point. We're going back to it. Kid Cudi gets pussy. No, Kid Cudi dresses like he gets fucked. Yes. <laughs> what? He, he dresses does, like bro. pussy. Mm. All emotional and sad. All these black dudes that y'all look up to. What's going on over here? Yo, There's some the, racism that's baked the in. Agenda. Real talk. That's get out. Mm. What? Mm. Y'all are get out. Y'all get out. Why do you need black men to be all hyper masculine? I, I need be... black men to be whatever the fuck they want to be. Exactly. Mm. Not That's dressing like white ladies. Mm. <laughs> Why is that bad? Yeah. Why yeah. is that bad? You know he's, dressed, he's dressed like Kurt Cobain. He's not he dressed dressing like, a white, like a white lady. He's dressed like Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain was trying to dress like a white lady. <laughs> okay. Whatever his fucking name Come is, on. bro. <laughs> Kurt Cobain was trying to dress like a white lady, dog. Yeah. He definitely wasn't dressing like no minority. He's from fucking Seattle. Mm. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So he was trying to dress like a white woman. So that's even worse. Why? So wait, what's Kid Cudi's trying to dress like a white man, trying to dress like a white woman. That's double white. But that's what he wants to do. That's beautiful. Be white. He wants to dress like That's your hero. Be yeah. original. Bro, I love Cudi. Bro, he won mad Grammys. For what? So Day who and gives night? a fuck? So did Macklemore. Day and night. <laughs> what's that song about? Day and night. That's the day. The whole day. You just described the whole fucking day. Exactly. Dude. That's everything. What? What? Everything. Mm. Every day. You just what? described every day. What mm. about it? 
bro, there's day and then there's day night. Day and night, what else? The lonely stoner seems to, what's the last words? Free his mind at night. Yeah. The then why are you including the day in that? Why don't you say at night? At night. <laughs> yeah. At night. That's all makes sense. The lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night. There you go. See how that makes sense? You can't even declare that shit. Seems to. If you disagree, I understand. <laughs> Yeah, 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 say yeah. what it is, that's fam. True. That's a good point. Bro, Kid Cudi makes music for people that been. He through seems stuff, to bro. been where been, been where through stuff, bro. You wouldn't get suburban it, suburban problem. You wouldn't get it, bro. It's, it's guy, fucking guy, unbelievable. It's for dude. people like me and Cudi that have been through real. It's real for bachelorette shit, bro. parties. Every <laughs> fucking bachelorette party, they're playing that stupid song, guaranteed. <laughs> oh, I relate to this so much. Oh, I'm such a lonely it. stoner. <laughs> I need to smoke weed to go to sleep at night. <laughs> yo, 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 right. Soft. He unoriginal, dog. Everything about this guy been done. Mm. He's an angsty white guy in a black guy body. He dressed like Kurt Cobain. He dressed like the Madonna or the fucking Dennis Rodman wedding dress. What's original about this man? <laughs> Tell me something. Bro, Mark, you, don't, you don't know anything about him. That's, that's a it. white thing to say. That's, my issue. that's what he that's said. You don't get say. me. You don't understand me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do yeah. understand uh, you. Boy? We do understand you. You're not that interesting. If you have to wear a dress, you're not that interesting. Ooh. If you have to ever put on a dress, style over substance, you're not that interesting. Mm. Simple as that. Mark, rebuttal? Mm. Rebut? <laughs> Feel free to rebut. <laughs> don't worry. <argue>. Why? <laughs> because you dumb. have no rebuttal. <laughs> when you come back, it's just dumb. Yeah, it is, bro. <laughs> it's, it's just, just dumb. dumb, bro. I'm just saying, bro. Do something interesting. Be a vampire. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like Playboy Cardi, I get. Dude. <laughs> Playboy Cardi is a fucking legend, dude. This guy's the truth. That's this original. guy makes music. <laughs> That's original. Vamp life. <laughs> yeah, wow, that was good. That was good right there. Come on, son. Yo, y'all got to learn more about the next oh generation. Huh? The You're not out here, bro. Vamp life. Vamp life. Pull the jacket over. Pull the jacket over. Vamp life. Vamp life. Vamp life. Vamp life. Vamp life. It's vamp life for life. And you know what? It's going to be long life because we vamp life. We don't die out there. <laughs> vamp life! <laughs> vamp life! Kid Cudi ain't got no vamp life. <laughs> Kid Cudi don't even got a call sign. That's a good point. Kid Cudi can't even engage his fans. How do Kid Cudi, how does he engage his fans? What does he do? Everybody unite! <laughs> what does Kid Cudi do to unite all his fans? Oh what could God. he possibly do? Nothing, bro. <laughs> Nothing. What could he possibly do? I was just laughing. This Describe so, how the world revolves so around the sun. <laughs> Day and night, bro. What, what does he do? How does Kid Cudi bring them all together? He's not Playboy Cardi. He'll never be Playboy Cardi. <laughs> never, ever in his life. I, I, do, I wish Kid Cudi would come up to play White Garden <laughs> talking shit. I wish he would come up to us, the uh. vamps, talking shit. Come up here, Kid Cudi, talking shit. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh I swear right. to fucking God. Sorry. I'm not playing no more with Kid Cudi, bro. Any I'm not thoughts? playing. If he comes for us one more time, it's Sorry. on. Sorry. It's literally on, bro. I, I swear to God. I smell blood in his fucking veins. What do you do when you smell blood? I want to suck it out. I want to fucking <laughs> suck it out. Where are you going to suck it I from? I <laughs> literally, I can feel my canines growing just because I'm getting so angry trying to defend my Lord and Savior. Right. Get the the color. 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 You really dressed up like Dog. Cal Dracula for this shit too, <laughs> son. It's fire. The hair and everything. Ow. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> right. Ow, I'm not playing around right now, Al. I'll fucking bite you. Yo, yo, I'll fucking bite yo, chill, you. Chill, chill, chill. You thought that big ass collar was going to stop me from getting at that neck? Is that what you thought? Uh, I'm not ready for vamp life. I'm not ready for vamp life. I'm, I'm not there yet, bro. I'm, I'm not there. there. Okay, I'm coming right. out. Okay, final thoughts on Kanye. <laughs> she Say what? Any final Kanye's thoughts Kanye's a genius. Okay, yeah. okay. Playboy Cardi is the GOAT. <laughs> okay. Okay? Yeah. Kid Cudi is a nobody. <laughs> a nobody. <laughs> All right. Okay. And that's it. What about Name Pete? four songs what from Kid Pete? Cudi. What about Pete? Pete Davidson? Yeah. Stop bullying Pete, yo. Yeah. He ain't doing nothing wrong but come on your wife. Okay. Oh, my Shit. God. Or in. Or in. Possibly. Possibly. Either. Possibly. Either. What's got me? Come on. Why you mad? Why you mad? Big ass dick just going to town on your wife? Who cares, oh, bro? Wow, you get who cares? up. So By whom? Uh, By whom? Real talk. And I, I will say this seriously. <laughs> Pause that shit. I will say it seriously. If, if, <laughs> but if Pete comes from Playboy Cardi's ex, that's crossing a line. Right? What's that girl's name? Iggy Azalea. Iggy Azalea. Oh. 
Son, the vamp's not having that. That's the vamps not, are not having that. That's not what you want to be a vampire running after the palest bitch on earth. Ain't that funny? What a fucking <laughs> bomb I just <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I saw to you go. trying and I was like, fuck, no. I was ready, dude. I was ready to fucking go, dude. Okay. Uh, what you gonna but do? can we move on from Kid Cutter? Okay. Okay. Guys, in all seriousness, can we actually take this serious? Yeah. yeah, In all seriousness, can we take this serious? Yeah. Okay, there's truckers in Canada. (laughs) (laughs) The truckers haven't even moved. How are you going to pivot? The the truckers (laughs) in Canada haven't even moved. What a stupid thing. No, this is an important transition. The truckers are just standing there. Oh, fuck. Okay, the cars aren't even moving. Being racist. Do you know how confusing this is to the Muslim world that they're not running over innocent people? They're just st- sitting there. Do you know they're just sitting oh, there? Transition is crazy. What? <laughs> you know, Cuddy made a compilation of where every song goes to the next one perfectly. And, so uh, did he just did I that. I feel, I feel like we could use that a little yeah. bit. He made an album where what happens? Every song goes perfect. It's a compilation album, Men on the Moon. It's just like every song goes right into the next song. Like that's, that's never album, been done before. Bro. I'm just saying it's, it's brilliant. It hasn't really been done in hip-hop like that. And oh, I'm saying yeah. hip-hop like we, that. We can Here use we that on this pod go. where we go to transition. transition yeah, I just heard? transitioned perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> I just transitioned perfectly into the next topics, which is the truckers. Which, <laughs> which, who have been moved starting this weekend and arrested. Yeah. They Wait, what? That. They're they not have. arrested. We no, gotta go save they, them. They moved them though. They're moving. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, what did you just say? Yeah. Huh? I swear to God, did you really just tell me that? Did end, they start bro, to the get? The they can't I get swear, bigger, bro. They I can't swear, get no bigger. No, no, I swear to God, are they coming after my truck? Are they coming after my truck? Are they coming after my truck? Yes, dude. Are they coming after my truck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> is this is this Playboy Cardi? What? Sort this is of. Playboy Cardi. This, this is, is from his first album. Okay. <laughs> What's it called? It's from his first album. What is this called? The Long Night. Oh, the long night. <laughs> the long night. It's called yeah. Day and Night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Long it's Night. It's just called yeah, yeah. Day okay. yeah. no, This is from, um, yeah, this is from uh, Playboy Cardi's first album, Posthumous, because he's dead. He's a vampire. That's true. <laughs> and, uh, uh, dude, it's it's fire. Dude, he's the best, bro. He's the fucking best. What is your favorite uh, Playboy Cardi song? Uh, you know what? I just know I, when I feel it, I just love it. I don't even ask for it. You just feel it in your soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just you just move. You know what what is your favorite Playboy Cardi song? Al? <laughs> I don't know. Gagnon? I can't out ask yeah. Al about black music. <laughs> yeah. Shooter, shooter. That's what I came out to for like yeah. the last like. I remember recommending that to you. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, uh, Chifty. What's your favorite Playboy Cardi song? Vamp Anthem. Oh, yeah, mine yeah. too. Yeah. I love that one. <laughs> Yo, Van 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 is fucking sick. That should be making me go crazy, dog. What? You want to know the Van Van Anthem? Yo, hit Van Van Anthem real quick. I'll sing along to it. Uh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you ready to bust it? You ready to bust it? Uh. Uh. Bram Stokers. Uh. <laughs> uh. uh. <laughs> That's all I got, baby. Okay. Well, everybody wanted it to be on the Tonight Show, so you made your own Tonight Show. Look at this. For you, you got though. fucking stage lighting and shit. This is hilarious. <laughs> but you kind of did this. That's the thing. But I didn't. He's do this. just doing that so you don't think it's a bad idea anymore. Exactly. This is He's your just fault. Trying to flip you on the <laughs> he doesn't mean that. He doesn't, he doesn't mean this that. is all you. What's what did I do? Huh? I didn't do any of this. Yeah, you did nothing. You <laughs> didn't do anything. You did absolutely nothing. No responsibility whatsoever. Uh, Joe, we have a little bit of um, a debate that needs to be settled. Oh. Because the last time we all hung out, Mark was with us after the fight. You remember we went right. to the fight? In Phoenix. In Phoenix. And um, and we what sat happened? down at a great steak restaurant. Oh, they didn't give me shit for this, first off. And um, and Did you, you order fish or, or something? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> no. We, no. Thought, well, we thought it could be worse. Okay, we're sitting down. You get the tomahawk. Yes. Okay. Everybody else looks at the menu, and they look at the most expensive thing, and they go, I'll just do one below that. 
out of respect for Joe, who's going to pay for his dinner, as you always do. Oh, don't do I this. see. What, what are you doing? What? <laughs> what? Why are you doing Joe this, Joe goes, bro? Joe goes, it, it's sitting like this. It goes, it goes, Joe and then Mark. And then Joe goes, oh, the tomahawk. And then Mark doesn't even <laughs> wait for the waiter to come over. He goes, double it up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Run it back. Okay. I trust the guy we Double it up. It's a good move. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I, I don't see where, where there's a problem. Thank you. It's a, it's a expensive steak. Oh, you don't think Joe can do that? You don't think Joe's got it? We're having fun. Come on, bro. <laughs> yeah. You can't yeah. think like that. You can't think like that. that on you cannot think like that. Andrew, you've been hanging out with me too long. Yeah, I think that's, that's a, a, yeah. You, you sounded super nasally right there. <laughs> I think you're chewing it up for Joe on the show right now. You should never think like that. Okay, yeah. it's now, just a restaurant. It's not. You're not buying Ferraris. Yeah, you know? like, but we can buy steaks. We, yeah, for we, people, <laughs> you go and buy steaks for people. Who gives a fuck? You're supposed now, to drink, have fun, order wine. Ah! Have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> now, Mark was a little Spend disappointed that, that you didn't finish your steak, bro. Okay, all right. I didn't say it like that. I didn't he say did, it like no, that. No, you did say it like that. You <laughs> no, did. No, 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 I'm an objective <laughs> guy, and you were like, I finished it. And I thought about finishing his. I didn't know it was a contest. <laughs> I thought we were just having fun. You, you, I left a couple of pieces of meat. <laughs> <laughs> you did bring it up. You were like, man, you know, I could do two of these easy. And I was like, all right, well, if you're going for it, I'm going to go for it. And then, I did not say I could do two of on, these, Joe. Yeah. Come on, bro. No, Joe, you, you, you fucking people have the weirdest things you focus on. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, you people? What you, you people? You guys. This bro, crew of people, human beings, right? You're no. focusing on how much, what how much a steak costs. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's and then how much did you eat? Did you eat it all? You didn't eat all. I can't wait a month to talk about this. <laughs> Oh, when he gets on, the first thing he's going to talk about is how much he ate a month ago. The fuck you. is wrong Thank with you guys? <laughs> you changed this into like a regular studio. Yep. You've abandoned all the rules of podcasting. That's right. We have. New York was so poorly planned. Yeah. As a city. Yeah. And even like the suburbs are so poorly planned. Like. Talk about it. it you would think that people would recognize the value of being on the water and then buy up the real estate and then maintain that real estate for themselves because this is the most beautiful view and everything is great here. In New York, the, the water is like littered with projects, a fucking highway on one side, Manhattan alone, there's a highway on one side, a highway on the other side, so you're not you're on there, but you're seeing traffic yep, and fucking yep, honking. Yep, yep. It's nice that you can hop on the what is it the West Side Highway, or you can hop on the FDR. It's can be convenient, but at the same time, like if you're a developer, yep. like put it fucking underneath, like in Chicago or something, yep. right? Um, then you go out to Rockaway. There's projects on the beach. Great for them. There's a whole section from maybe like 20th to 60 of nothing. <laughs> And then nothing. Like, there's, you can make a building and like a bunch of buildings in that space or condos, whatever. Just nothing there. Yeah, Hasn't just, been developed. Uh, no. It's disgusting. Why do these poor people get the view? What's what's wrong with this? It's disgusting. Seeing poor people looking at water. No. I hate when uh, his do people this. displace I hate them. When he does this. It's gross. I hate when you do these this. These fucking poor people, why do they get it? You know uh, what I mean? It's such a cuck thing to do. <laughs> it's such a cucky thing to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're trying to argue like guys with jobs. <laughs> I'm just saying, I agree. Yeah, I agree. I blame his people. They displaced right? us out of Manhattan. Fucking Scots. No, the guy, it was, it was uh, Robert, Moses. Robert Moses. It was Moses, his people. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, oh yeah, it definitely yeah. was. No, it was Robert Moses. I mean, we would take that. Area. My people stopped him. Wait, really? Yeah, that is true. Fire Island. But, Boom. What, what do you mean, my people, Fire Island? Yeah. Well, my people are Fire Islanders. Isn't it mostly the, gay men? The rainbows? Fire? Yeah, yeah. Mostly, but that doesn't mean it's all. The rainbows are your people? Yeah. yeah. I'm a rainbow. It's the LGBTQ community. I'm Island. the LGBTQ community, but I'm a Fire Islander, and Robert Moses wants to put that highway right through Fire Island, and we said, uh-uh. Eh, eh. Yeah, nothing's going through us. Facts. <laughs> yeah. Facts. Facts. Facts only. <laughs> now, Robert yeah. Moses is a wild boy. You said he facts, right? People. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, guys. Yes. My bad. You were questioning whether Moses, Moses? is going to be your people? <laughs> you guys claim and everyone. He claims everybody, but do you don't know this one? Hmm. Come Iconic on. developer. Whoa, wild boy though. Yeah, wild motherfucker. I will boy. say I remember really wanting a water view in New York, and then after we went to Miami, 
and looked at that water and then came back. I have an apartment now. It's the water view. And I'm like, this is the ugliest motherfucking water. I'm looking at the mm. Hudson. I'm like, this doo-doo ass water. I'm looking at <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a runway, basically, the fucking Hudson. It's incredible. I mean, if we could redesign Manhattan, clearly it would be different. Like, but when he made it, though, was it wasn't like, oh, it's a bunch of rich people all hanging out. It was like, oh, let's come here and like try to get money and focus on this one little like part at Lower Manhattan, right? Yeah, and then we need like a place to store the poor. <laughs> so that they can come into work. Yeah. Let's just give them the best beachfront property that exists. Like, what yeah. fucking idiot developer they, looks at beachfront <laughs> and goes, they said, this, now this on Mark's side. Thank you, you bro. You sound, like, thank you, dog. Oh, no, 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 they sound like Robert Moses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm like, No, I'm saying like, what? Let's put them on the beach. beach. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Listen. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make here is, Don't if you're a developer, that. <laughs> that'd be a great episode of Seinfeld. <laughs> Robert Moses is Seinfeld. <laughs> what would you do? They're on my ass, Jerry. I'm trying to put them on the beach. Listen, What's wrong with the beach? Listen. <laughs> you know what's so funny? <laughs> this is this is my. This, I keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Because yeah. what, is, no, what does your dad do for what? Yeah. What does he do? You tell us. He's a real estate where does, agent. Where does he put the houses? And he doesn't build houses. He's not a developer. He's a real estate agent. Mm. Wait, what? Wait, I actually don't get the the flip though. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. You, nah we, you need to say something, bro. You know. Yeah. He does not a developer. Well, some he takes advantage of the development. <laughs> what do you mean? What? He's he, he Is like he just an agent. He manages a real estate company. What do they do? They sell houses to people. <laughs> and and then the the good ones. The good who? Good the work. good houses yeah. are where? In certain areas? I mean, the wealthy parts of, like, France and Europe. But that was his choice? No. <laughs> Selling it to whoever wants to buy it. Paris was built, like, 300 years ago. Yeah, you, you kind of... That's not I bad. Know, son, you're taking a huge L. <laughs> so like, you Why came is that in, a bad L? You came in with too much confidence to <laughs> say yeah, nothing. Was, I, you, I really thought you had him. You made so, me question what my own dad did. I was like, is my dad Robert Moses? Oh, oh no, I didn't think he's developing, but I think he recognizes also good property value and then can profit off of it. Yeah. Also okay, so then what's wrong with it? Your dad would agree with me. He's like, what the fuck I is this project doing on the water? Yeah, I thought your dad just gave pre Presentations. Yeah, that's really all he does, actually. I mean, he's like a manager. He like tries to inspire the brokers. Go sell houses. You can, you can. There's maybe something there. <laughs> 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 there's gotta be a little silver beachfront <laughs> property in your argument. Hold on, it, does this not make any sense? There's a little shoreline in the argument. I'm telling if you, you're, you'll find if it. you're selling the property <laughs> in the high value places, oh, 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 he's not giving up. This is not in the schedule. Come on, no, hold on, hold on. So if you're selling it, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no, Ma just spun, spun cycle you. Yeah. No, no, but am nah, I not making sense? Nah, you definitely just. I see fight. what you're trying to say, but it's not. It's not the drug dealer's is. fault. It's the drug makers. <laughs> Come on, no. you're still part of the. You're still part of the supply chain. We you're know what you're trying to it. say. It's just not. He's spinning, nigga. He's spinning. <laughs> Let's put a bet on this argument, so, all right? You guys know what time crazy. it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the spin cycle. <laughs> I still think I'm right. <laughs> oh man! How am I wrong? I still think I'm right. Explain to me how I'm wrong. You're taking part of the system. Yeah. Where the rich people push the poor people out so that they can put their places in the nice places. Just because you're a part of capitalism doesn't mean you're complicit with all the bad parts. God right? damn, he that shit. Come on, bro. killed Talk you with that, that dog. <laughs> he killed you with that shit. Wait, why? Because he just brought up a great counterpoint. Which is? Just because you're a part of capitalism doesn't mean you're complicit in all the ill shit that's going on. Not all of it, but just the part that you're profiting off of. If you make money... Off, I don't, first of all, I don't think this is bad. I'm not making a judgment. <laughs> but you guys are saying, but you guys are saying that like what I'm saying is ridiculous. A developer would probably want the good. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> when well, you get upset, it's so funny. I just don't know how I'm wrong. <laughs> so it's driving funny. me crazy. It's so hilarious. <laughs> Uh, it's like he said inside, he's like, come on guys, let me just get it out. I said that outside. <laughs> it wasn't inside, I said it outside. <laughs> the best real estate agents sell the best property. Where's the best property? <laughs> By the fucking water. Oh god. <laughs> right? 
Yes. Yes, you're right. You got, he's holding the bar. I'm holding him up <laughs> because I feel like you guys are are, are not being honest. Yes. Yeah, we funnier. know what you mean. What do I mean? <laughs> if he sells real estate, he's complicit in the system that's designed that keeps not complicit. Porpure. Part of it. He's part of the system. He's, he's, the, hey, he's hey, 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 hey. the part. Okay, okay, hey. He's part of the system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Miles saved Akash on that one because I got no laugh. And then we heard a little squeak and hey, he fucking saved it. Hey, speaking it. of bombing, why don't you finish your point? <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't trying to be funny. I wasn't trying to be funny. But oh, go, 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 go. You're saying he's a part of it too. He's a part of the problem. <laughs> it's not a problem. I'm saying get him out. <laughs> <laughs he's a part of whatever he's mocking you for. He's no different yeah, than yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck I dug too deep you in it. Did, you really I am did. right. So, I am yeah, right. You technically are 100% you just, right. No, you're not I just wrong. dug too deep. Yeah, you just thought it was such a fucking haymaker. <laughs> no, That's not. why we were kind of like, well, yeah. I, I fucking I, bobbled that. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I bobbled it crazy. <laughs> you bobbled it. I bobbled it crazy. George, you bobbled it. But <laughs> it, it's not wrong. I just didn't know how to articulate it. Yeah, you just got too hyped. I, I thought I had like a fucking game over. Yeah. And then it became funnier to just trash everything well, I said. Well, you don't have to think about it this much. <laughs> it's I mean, a, it's you have to deconstruct why you bombed. You just, you know. <laughs> Fuck, man. I thought I had it too. I thought I had it. I thought Mark was doing his socialist thing, and I was like, oh, here you go. Here you go. Yeah. I, I was doing a. Yeah. <laughs> Go be depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to being depressed, you son of a bitch. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. God kill me, Jerry. So good. <laughs> Come on, Jerry. <laughs> Fuck you all, man. Try to get on the beachfront. <laughs> They call me Robert Moses. <laughs> Kramer busts in, let's build more beach. Everyone's like, that's a great idea. <laughs> the beach is where you want to be. Yeah. Here. Everyone wants to be on the beach. Let's make two beaches. Okay, Every beach guys, is another beach. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not leaving. Let's look, drain, look, 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 let's look, drain the look, ocean. Look, look. I'm we, not leaving. We drain the There's ocean. There's projects on the beach. Oh my god. Oh my if, god. If we oh were, god. if god. we were to redesign at least Manhattan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no park in the middle. <laughs> Put the park around. Yes. On the water. Where do the poor people go? In the middle. Of the ocean. Where it's hot. <laughs> yes, in the ocean, baby. No, Let's Mark. Go. No. <laughs> no. This is the best birthday present you could have gotten. No. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mark. No. Sorry, Happy, birthday, Mark. Sorry. Happy birthday, Mark. you. Happy birthday. Motherfucker. Uh -huh. That was a heavy load on that spit cycle. Uh -huh. son. That shit was crazy. You did extra drive? We're not done. That was crazy. Son, We're not done. <laughs> We're not done. Son, them clothes are shrunk <laughs> right now, bro. That's why yeah. pants are like that, bro. <laughs> the pants have been through this spit cycle. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. Damn, that was so funny. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what to say. Oh my god. I don't know what to say, oh. but I know, I know for a fact. I know for a fact that if you were a house somewhere and they built a project next to it. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Yes. I honestly hope you all invest in real estate and they build a fucking project next to all every second. And I hope that it's Mark's dad that builds it. I hope that Mark's too. dad this builds a project great. next to both of you. I hope oh that. I god. genuinely hope and believe that that will happen to both of you. I hope that. I hope that. I hope oh Bitcoin god. goes to zero and you're poor. I hope you just fucking shrink two and a half inches for no reason one day. I hope you lose two and a half inches of height for no reason one day. What do you Just wish for me? Out of nowhere. Get a wish? Oh, you'll get your wish tonight. Happy birthday. Okay? And then Miles, fuck you. Yeah. Okay? Fuck you, Miles. I was out of the spin cycle. You had to give Akash that one fucking laugh. Yeah. And then I was right back in. Uh, I was going to flip baby. it all on Akash. <laughs> Jesus oh, fuck. fucking Christ.
I hope everybody at home enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, five bucks a month, dog. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta raise the prices. We gotta raise the prices because this is too much abuse. I can't take this much abuse for only five dollars a month. Oh my god! Uh, all right, fucking Cristiano or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh we peaked too early, Jerry. <laughs> so, so, so. Fucking A, dude. Train uh, the ocean. Listen. Oh. So we did a cool vlog out there. and uh, <laughs> yeah. He's a nice guy. Casey's awesome. He's a good dude. <laughs> but we could use some redeveloping. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what to... I don't even want to look at any of you. How would you redesign New York? I really want to know. Very simple. Okay. <laughs> he, he got too greedy he, did. he got too greedy he got, he got it with the first one shifty but he got too oh. greedy um this yeah bring it up bring it up <laughs> beach all around the water well it's already there. crazy so concept good. okay central park gone what is it nobody goes buildings okay poor more people. buildings poor people Okay. They could be poor, they could be rich. It really doesn't matter to me at that point. Why do people need to be in Manhattan? Let's just send them out. <laughs> well, that was the original idea. That's why Not Brooklyn Not far exists. Rockaway, though. That's rich people. We'll hit them in fucking, you know what I mean? Where? Long Island. Staten Island. Staten Island. There, there they are. But there. the middle of Staten Island. Not they are the edges. There. They are there. They are there. Far Rock, the closest beach to Manhattan. Mm -hmm. What about? Filled with the poor. Put them in Corona. Okay. <laughs> Not in a bad way. Like, Not even in a bad like way. A you had said it. You I, said I it. I can't say yeah. that. It's very uh, low. Yeah, and black. <clears throat> no, it's not black. No, it's not. It's mixed. mixed. Really? Yeah. Yes. You yeah. thought it was black They're the whole time. They're all half black? That's crazy. No. So, your miles are showing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> or underground. What about underground? <laughs> Maybe he got it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes. Miles? I'm sorry. Okay, keep That's going. It. This is good. It's off me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to put more sauce on this. Yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> that shit's crazy! <laughs> that shit is crazy! My, my internal Miles are showing. That's yeah. funny. Okay, Miles, they can say nothing wrong about you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These motherfuckers can say nothing wrong yeah, about you. Crazy. Okay? Jesus oh. Christ. Are we still looking at Manhattan? <laughs> Is there anything else you guys want to talk about? You pieces of fucking cunt lip. <laughs> oh fuck! Come on, well, can we talk about what's Rihanna? going on in your life, Andrew? Can Listen, you tell us about that. What's stressing you out? Anything? You motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> you motherfucking pieces oh of God. shit. Anything? His Ball. hands on the shovel. <laughs> he just <laughs> has sex. Bro. The back of your hair is falling he's apart. Got, <laughs> he's got like walk of shame here. Motherfucker, look like Sonic the Hedgehog, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Say it? No, yes, no, yes. no, no, Let's no, because there's too much real anger. <laughs> Blast me through the wall. I don't want to get. Is I don't want to cut out in the fucking door. Okay, what else we gotta talk about? Fucking, you were obsessed with cereal, dog, and non is free. You oh, were yeah, obsessed right. with that I podcast. Was, I was. I figured it out. I figured that he did it. <laughs> Wait, really? I solved it. I did a map. You settled with that. You did a map. Don't get yeah, started. I printed out a map. <laughs> I printed out a map. Uh, who's on the map? I listen. There's a lot of redevelopment that could be done over in Pennsylvania. Let me tell you that. Much. No, uh, I think that uh, Adnan. Do people even care? I think people cared, right? Do you Do you remember it? Yeah, I remember it. You were too young. I didn't listen to it. I listened to it. When did it? you listen? Uh, I tr listened to it the first time around, and then I listened to it in like 2017. You were old ride. enough for the you first time around. Watched. Or re-listen to it. It's so good. You, it was unbelievable. Didn't you like create a whole map and a yeah, that's a print out an entire map shit. and we did the times and everything. Like but you that. really did. One hundred percent. He absolutely did it. One hundred percent. Actually made a map. Yes, Where'd I swear to God. That? It's like the red rope. And I all printed that. out a map that was the size of the green thing back here, minimum. When did you do this? As it was coming out. Week by week. Five years ago? Yeah. Where you also more than that. It was more than that. It was way more than that. He was also nah, he selling was lemonade at the time. No, 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 no. I was obsessed. He was obsessed. And there was another thing going on that I can't talk about. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Extreme <laughs> boredom and depression. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. From a different thing. Understood. Okay, this broke. Fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> Okay, um, my, everything's falling apart. Everything's He's ripping falling apart. This shit out guys, of let me tell you something. Bro, that could have been a metal fork, and that should have been. Can I tell you guys something that I actually mean? Mark's father's a murderer. 
<laughs> he's a war criminal. He's a murderer. This guy bombed and a wedding. He's murdered <laughs> me today. Okay? He's added another body. If you are wondering what he has killed, he has killed me today. Oh. Okay? I just want everybody to be incredibly clear. Okay? Take that out of his hand, bro. Why? What do you I think like I'm going to do with this? I like those. Those are good. You what do you to, mean you like You don't need to destroy it. Well, I'm not, well, you think I just squeeze it so fucking hard out of anger? This started so positive and so happy. <laughs> I'm so fucking infuriated. Miles was not on of your single, bro. Yes, Just like an asshole, I do the whole fucking podcast <laughs> in a profile. I was it's like, hey, Miles, let me help you. Let me help you. Hey, there you go. Keep it in that angle right there, and I'll do the entire podcast. Just <laughs> like this. Please. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Given my facial features, a profile is obviously the best way to film me. <laughs> <laughs> if we could do anything to improve my confidence right now, it would be film me in a profile yeah. as my nose hits the other side of the screen. Yeah, that looks good. They're gonna they're gonna build a project on your nose. Mark, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Mark, shut the fuck up. Okay. My dad just been convicted, bro. Uh, okay. Fuck that guy. Listen, uh, listen, Alex, Alex. Sorry. Fuck you. I'm sorry to say this. Fuck so you. You can kill today. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, Alex. <laughs> okay. How about trying to swing back from it? <laughs> Yo, bullying you. you right Listen. Now. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck Mark. <laughs> Fuck Mark's dad. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Mark's whole family. Yes. Okay? Piece of shit. Yes. Fuck Miles, to be yeah. honest with you. Miles, Miles is out of the ring of protection. Yeah. He's completely out. out of the ring of protection. <laughs> Miles is out. He was in oh. for a good two weeks. Yeah. He's completely out. Oh, fuck. Okay? <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, fuck. But fuck Alex. Fuck Mostly around. fuck you. <laughs> yeah. you Mostly fuck you for even growing up there. <laughs> so we have to talk about this. If you didn't fucking grow up there, God damn. okay, then we fuck. wouldn't be talking Why about this Why was I shit. poor? Fuck. Listen. <laughs> Poor with a view like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, life is so hard with my beachfront yeah. property. Yeah. Oh, God. I have to join a gang. It's so hard. I can't boogie board all day. <laughs> what an asshole you are. You could be boogie boarding all day. You, you want to impregnate white women? Yes, you did. In you between, piece of shit. In between you piece of shit. Dick, <laughs> this kid's Hawaiian, and he so, chooses to join a gang and carry a fucking gun around. Was, oh it was God. busy time to quiet us, bro. Like, Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. You Privilege you grew up with. Privilege. Yeah. I'm living on a, the second floor of a 4,000 square foot wall. <laughs> Looking at buildings. Looking at buildings Son. and cars and honking. Son. We got seagulls Shit. flying. And then on weekends, you got to go out to Long Island see <laughs> on the beach, yeah. bro. Oh, like, Jesus Christ. Whoa. We didn't need to be hateful, bro. <laughs> you didn't need to be hateful, bro. Sorry, Raymond. Leave it in. You didn't need no, to be no. hateful, bro. <laughs> Miles, you're back in the circle. Let's go. Leave it in, Miles. Miles. We're canceling hey, it out. Miles. Miles. Said I was Miles. racist. Miles. 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 No, yeah. don't remember you. Remember I was on you your team for me, a second. Remember no. you said to me, those people always talk down. Wow. In their views, yeah. You know what really? I mean? Really, Remember that, I was Miles? on your team for a second. You are on my team. No, no, no. <laughs> You're on my team. I'm a mob boss. Come on, hey. bro. You're, on team. You're in the Come family on, business, bro. man. God made it this way. You're a Blonde man. Blonde hair, blue eyed fucking geniuses, bro. Yes. I like that. I got to stay so quiet. He don't want no smoke right now. Son, right now. he is not I'm saying good for You see him pulling you into it? You see him pulling you into it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. See what, you see what they do? Miles, you see what they do? We all why have to be so loud, right? Come again? on, why have to be so loud? I know. Loud? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> he gave you a little jab. He gave you a little jab. We just like, aren't. Little <laughs> <laughs> slap box. Little <laughs> 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 slap box. Little slap box. You started it, to be honest with you. <laughs> you I was trying to be on your <laughs> no, side. No, you but... did one thing that killed me, bro. 
He said some shit like, uh, maybe you could use that. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I think there's something there. Yeah, so like, there's something there. <laughs> that was hateful. Listen, that was hateful. I had a bad example. I had a bad example. Yeah. <laughs> but it was right. <laughs> Yo, the more I think about that shit was kind of off, dude. <laughs> no, son. It was a little bit son. off, like, but it was on. But it was on. It had the right words. Yes. It had the right I words. I think if you move yeah, some of the words was there, hey, the meaning was wrong, it was but right the words here, was there. but not here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. The it heart. was a simile. Yeah. <laughs> oh Wait. It followed the spirit of the law. Yeah, yeah. that's what it was all about. Mm -hmm. Okay? Motherfucker, I was catching... Strays, son. Yo, Bala came, came in. Bala came into yeah, me. She came into yeah. Shifty, shifty, snickered through the speaker. Chill, dude. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, I hit that ass crazy hard. I hit that ass crazy hard. You just got Miles a boner right now. God damn, man. His dick looks like a Snickers, bro. <laughs> Got the veins Miles, and everything. My, hey, don't talk to my mans like that. Like, I got you, Miles. Don't talk to my mans like that. You know what I mean? Don't talk about it like that. That's crazy. Miles, you get hard to whatever you want to get hard to. You get hard to whatever you want to get hard to, my boy. Okay. Like people who like Trump are like, what a great interview. People who don't like Trump is like, you were doing softballs. It's like, I know nothing about politics. Like, how deep can the I get? The first question was a hardball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, it was the compliment, man. Yeah, yeah. So it was surreal. Uh, I'd never been to the White House. The whole- White House kind of mid or what? No, I liked it. Really? Yeah, I'm like one of those weird, like, history. How old are you? 38. You're using mid, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's crazy. No, we've actually been trying to work on his, his vernacular. We've been that's trying to crazy. Help him. <laughs> yeah. Why is it crazy? That's, Dave, why that's, is it crazy? That's, that's, young, I think you're Listen, past the middle. Is it, I'm, I'm, what is mid? I, I, I think mid means like not good. Somebody came up to me and said it the other day. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I was yeah, like, what does yeah, that yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. I didn't expect to hear, but it was like a teenager. It was a teenager, yeah, yeah. 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 But you use it, right? Like no. when you buy shorts or like. No, no, no. <laughs> mid cut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I use it like, where is it? It's in the middle. Not, like, not that way. No, yeah. I, I'm a, uh, I like the White House. Yeah. Like, I'm kind of like a buff. Was the White you House? Like the yeah. Have they been on you about that? No, no, no but it's pretty lit. Like, yeah, like exactly. It's yeah. funny because he gets every type of thing wrong, like all of vernacular. He doesn't know any trend. I think he maybe used it right, no, but he I did. just didn't expect him He did, to and say now it. we've been trying to help him with it, and then the one time he gets it right, you come in and go, fuck you. Dude. Still doing me, bro? Yeah. I'm still doing Not it. still. Like, it's new. <laughs> yeah, well, it's new. Do it anymore, Mel, you're man. also gonna use like cap, which yeah, he's gonna yeah, call yeah, you out for. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll use cap. Yeah, like so I <laughs> do that, I, mean? I do that BFF thing with like so they'll throw yeah. words and I'm like, I don't know, yeah. I'll just start using it. All right, guys, we're gonna take a break for a second because listen, it's the holidays, okay? It's the holidays. You're gonna be sucking all candy canes, eating gingerbread cookies, pumpkin pie, sweet potato pie, all these other things, thinking you're not gonna get your dick up, but you are. And you know what's gonna help you do it? That's that blue chew. Same active ingredient that's inside Viagra Cialis, but this is the chew. This is the one that's got you lit up for the holidays. Lit up? It's Hanukkah, baby. Okay? This is that ninth candle. You got those eight candles, but this is the ninth. If you need to take care of business, blue chew has got your back. Okay? If it's Christmas, if it's New Year's, it don't matter how saucy you are. Blue chew has got your back. And this is what you need by your side. Little packet that's on you. No matter what happens. New chick, uh-oh, need a surpriser, need to drop off something super. Need to drop off something marvelous, extravagant. Need to do the best work of my life. Blue Chew has got your back. Not only that, they got your back for free. All you gotta do is pay $5 shipping. That's right. You can get your first month of Blue Chew free. The first month of the best dick of your life free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping when you go to bluechew.com and make sure you use the promo code flagrant. Think about that. That's a gift that keeps on giving, okay? Bluechew.com, promo code flagrant. You have a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, and a Happy New Year's. Now let's get back to the show. No, you I, lied to me in fucking Mexico. Whoa! What did I lie to you about? What did I lie to you about? Because everyone's Call telling me, don't get me fucking a, a, a liquor, right? And you would bring me a drink. I go, get, I'll get what you drink. This is, this, what about, what's about to happen is great. Please tell this yeah, story. Yeah, no, this yeah. is no, 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 another this text great. message yeah. thing. Yeah. This, is lo this has it. never backfired with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when you tell no, a story tell with an accusation. Yeah, tell them what happened in Mexico. In Mexico, okay? Yeah. Everyone, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, now he's wondering. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him what happened. Look at this face, dude. This acting, bro. Okay, yeah, go, okay, go, go ahead. I'm go, fucking go. serious. No, you're in the Pineapple Mexico. Express. I know. Yes, go ahead. Yes. Let me start over, dude. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> In Mexico, yeah. <laughs> all right, in Mexico, mm -hmm. all the people we work with were telling him, "Don't get him alcohol. Don't get him alcohol." Right. Oh, wow. So there was an open bar, right? And I, and he goes, "What Something do you want to I drink?" Something I already know is to not get him alcohol. And you, you look at me, you go, "What do you want to drink?" I go, "I'm gonna have the thing. same thing you're having." You went to the fucking thing, you had liquor, and you gave me some weird sprite thing that had no liquor in it. Right. What right. a so, fuck! Wow. How dare he save your life? But I'm already in the disease. So I'm gonna get it anyway. I'm not gonna support it. Not yeah. gonna support it. Not gonna support it. Yeah. Not if I relapse, it. Andrew. Bobby. Andy Schultz. <laughs> yes. If I relapse. Yeah. Right. What do you think? Dude, he got is. mad at me. How do you get mad? So at him mad for at me yeah. for not giving him liquor. What do you think love is, Bobby? This is what addiction does. Is that why you stayed in that relationship so long? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Bro. Oh no! Oh no! 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 <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I love you. That's what you fucking texted me, you fuck. Dude, did you see? You got up like a transformer, dude. That was <laughs> Bro, transformer. <laughs> <laughs> More than me, high. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, that's the guy. That's the guy going. Look at that's the guy going. That's the dude going. More than a meter, the eye. <laughs> Looking around. Where is he looking? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. His back is to the camera. God. Oh my god. So proof oh, is in the pudding shit. that I did the right thing in Mexico. Yes. Did I not? Yes, dude. This and, you know, and you know why demented. this whole thing started? Holy he got into a fight with me, yelled at me. <laughs> yelled at me for not Bro, getting him booze. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's the only Transformer that's more dangerous as a car, though. <laughs> dude. You're too fucking to be funny, dude. You're too, no. Oh, my God. That's so fucking funny. Hey, watch out, he's turning back into a beetle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, really yeah. funny. Dude. Fuck oh, me. Fuck. You're really this good. dude relapsed in Mexico, uh, got mad that I didn't serve him booze, and then the breaking point was got drunk, go to, go to, go. Got drunk on his own. <laughs> no, you started this. But in the hotel room, don't talk, don't talk about that. I'm absolutely going to tell the hotel room. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> what got, happened? Got drunk. Well, he's sober now, so we're actually, and we're happy. We're not using, I'm not using this against him at all, and yeah. he knows that. But he got drunk wow. on it. He got drunk without me. Yeah. He went behind my back and did it anyway, because oh I was trying to God. like, I walked him to the room, and then he left and got booze, didn't you? What day of the week was this? Wednesday or Thursday. Wednesday or Thursday. Oh my God. And yeah. then you threw up all over the place, right? In my hotel room. In his hotel room. And then I came to the door the next day because he wouldn't answer his phone. And what did you greet me with? Poo. Poo. <laughs> he had shit all over his hands. Oh my God, dude. But because you were having fun, you were just having some play time. You were just having some play time. I have fun with poo. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. He answers the door oh with, poop, poo with poop, poop on his hands. Everywhere. <laughs> and then he goes, there's throw up all over the chairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was I insane. Didn't know what, I was oh so drunk yeah. and I had poo all over, I don't know why. There was poo everywhere. And I had poo all over my hands, oh, vomit every. Oh. I had a vomit beard. Yeah. And I came, I go, oh, I have poo. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, we gotta go we home. Got, we gotta go home. We gotta so go home. So you guys gotta left go. Mexico? We, that, was, that, that was our second to last day. Second to last yeah. day. We had to do one more show. And yeah, that yeah, was yeah. Like, we we kept them there for the last show. Yeah. <laughs> but my show was good. It was the money. It was the money. You got it. No, you know what was funny though? He, that was the last day he ever fucked her. I mean, he knew. That was it. It that was, was like, it. that was it. It doesn't get lower. I think than he that. did it on purpose. It does, but it I stopped lower? it. There. Yeah. I just when? think he knew it was over. He, it was I think like, I knew it was over. I got, I can't continue because I don't want to lose everything. Oh, you fuck. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could just feel things just slipping away. And then because when I when I get real on. serious with him, <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? What would you say? Do the joke again. I didn't miss it. Would you say? Would you say? It's okay, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? Nothing. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Yeah, I'm okay. not a good actor. All right. Um, okay, but you were saying. No, I'm sober now. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's good. Yeah. Santina, you were saying when you get real serious. He knows when I get, he knows when I'm actually being serious. Yeah, and yeah. then I got real serious in Mexico and then it was like the end. Yeah. It was the end. I, we knew, we both knew it was like, it's not going to happen. But you know? Santino gives you a long leash. He does. Yeah, yeah. He's very patient. But you know what? I'll, He's very I'll, patient with you. I want to say something that is not funny. It's real. Yeah. You know, I have come to understand and feel that he is one of my best friends. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. I regret saying it, but that's how I feel. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It was still kind of shitty. It was, I finally come to understand he's <laughs> one of 20 years. <laughs> Third circle. Third circle. Third circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Third circle by myself. Yeah. So, so this man loves you. I love him too, as well. I know he knows you love him. Yeah. But do you know that he loves you? I do. That's I really the do. Question. I really do because there's a, you know. You can a, be loved. I know, and I'm accepting it. I, I accept the Sounds love. Sounds like it. I feel love here. A lot of love here. We do love Yeah, you. I feel, yeah. when I walk in here, I, when I lock eyes with you, it's like I'm seeing like an old army veteran. Like we're in war together. Against. Against, yeah. In, yeah, in, yeah. Against. <laughs> You both pop up with guns and you're yeah. like, hey, man. <laughs> Still here? Yeah. 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 See, see you later. Yeah. Yeah. Get down! Yeah. Do the face, Bobby. This was one of the most amazing videos I've ever seen. And I've yes. been meaning to ask you this ever I since I saw this, this video. It's now, so, this is very important. Are you going to play there. it from here, Mark? I'll, I'll play it. And it's okay. a little graphic. So if oh, you're we know watching you were at home, just, uh, oh. just uh, bear, bear witness. Because I was there. So, <laughs> yeah, luckily I was there to do that. <laughs> yeah, now, why did you think that was the thing to do? It's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, if someone breaks their arm, you reset it as quickly as you can. How it's many arms the, have you reset in, yeah. your, in your career? Uh, uppers in the group of one. <laughs> <laughs> That's how many girls I got that sex. That's cool. <laughs> what are you, are we gonna leave it Why did he let you do it? What the, That's I mean, what I'm shocked by. He didn't say, what get the fuck off of me. No, he could have said, leave me alone. Don't touch me. Bert, you have no fucking clue what you're talking about. You're drinking gallon of Gatorade today. There's right, no I think, way. I think we need to, I think we need to, we, you're focusing on the wrong thing. Okay. Yeah. The, <laughs> he was the one that put it backwards like that. Okay, that's that the good. thing that's wrong. That's Wait, good he point. did okay. that. I mean, yeah. he hurt oh, himself. Yeah, yeah. He so did he that. goes to run. He goes to jump. Right? <laughs> no, he fell on it. No, 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 no. He he goes to jump, and yeah. Tom was like 270 at this time, yeah. and his body wasn't set up to hold 270. Yeah, yeah. So as he went to <laughs> leap off, that's a funny way this, of calling him fat. This leg exploded. Yeah. So his patella ruptured, and he went to grab himself and stop himself with his arm. Yeah. But as he did that. It snapped yeah. and spun yeah. in a circle. Yeah. Now that that's not is, good. Yeah, that's that is <laughs> the impetus. That is the thing we should focus on. Yeah, yeah. Not my my resetting it. It was going. Do you think they were going to leave it like that for the rest of his life? And they're like, <laughs> leave it there, leave it there, leave it there. No one's going to touch it. Someone Someone's was going to eventually and, reset and, and, it. Yeah. And do you think when they got him onto the on the fucking gurney that they were going to go? No, no, leave his arm back behind him like he's trying to pick his own pocket. But right. hopefully it's not someone named the machine that does. No, but it. You know someone. I mean? But no, but there's a, they were going to do with machines. No, the nurse. they were going to no. Or an actual fucking, machine that does it. They were just going to flip it around. They're going to flip a roo. Uh -huh. And so I did that. What I did. A lot yeah. of people have come out and said that I probably saved his life. Wow. Might have. Uh, yeah, honestly, honestly, might have. That's really yeah, good. Because they were going to cut his whole fucking arm off unless you flipped it over. Right? Doctors prescribing hydroxychloroquine for COVID. <laughs> Can we give those four guys credit? The Who? four guys, the four dudes running around doing my like, imitations are killing it. They're making money. I'm oh, so pumped so with funny, those dudes. dudes. The imitations those guys are, are killing me. me. Oh, the guys that imitate you. Yeah. They're on fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah, so, yeah. I'm, it's, out of all the things in my career that have ever happened, that may be top 10 of happiness for me. The fact that people Bring are getting. Bring them to V conference. Maybe. They have to perform at V conference. Maybe. We'll see if they get pussy. Yeah. <laughs> of course they will. <laughs> <laughs> this guy the best one? Is he the best impersonator? This guy's a fucking beast. Go. What's your question, okay. my man? <laughs> All right, so basically, mm -hmm. I'm looking now to get into okay. the public speaking. Yeah, I Bert, like, if I were you, I would be calling into every <laughs> single house in the United States of America, okay? <laughs> Giving them public speaking tips in their bathroom, <laughs> shower, shower, fucking, fucking garage, yeah, in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> I was eating shit for like 17 years, doing <laughs> tips for free, okay? Bro, like, you think okay? it's a good idea to call every single house in America? Yeah, bro, like, are you making this an NFT? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not making this an NFT. Okay, bro, like, garage sales. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Oh, God. Oh, I, I once read that you said that OnlyFans is a garage sale for pussy. <laughs> not no. true. <laughs> That's not, false. You, you didn't make say that? Stuff. No, but I that's understand. not what you said. That's what history will say. History sorry, will say. Sorry. You said history will say that NFTs are garage sales not from my pussy. Quote. Not your quote. No, I wouldn't use that word. Huh? <laughs> Vagina? Mm hmm. Vagina? <laughs> <laughs> Gary V! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the V? Listen, I think. Is Tabasco sauce spermicide? And do we really think Drake put it in? 
I hope he did. You got to explain the story. Yeah. Okay, so basically what's <laughs> happened is there was an Instagram thought. Uh, this is the a huge allegedly, okay? Instagram thought and Drake link up. Drake's put this, Drake puts the smash on, okay? Mm-hmm. Um... Put a condom on. She what? described his penis. Seven inches. The and thick, thick seven. And the thick, thick seven. Thick. And, and yo, yeah. Drake kind of looked thick, man. I'm not going to lie. I know, hey. He's a thicker dude. Yeah. He's not He's not skinny. <laughs> Adds up. He thick don't look dude, like he got skinny thick dick. Thick beard. Yeah. Thick beard. He's no Jason yeah. Derulo. Even his head is thick. <laughs> Doesn't he have like a wrestler head a little bit? He's a kind of thick head. Yeah. <laughs> like his head kind of looks like one of them... Um, Stone sculptures. Oh, like Easter Island? Easter Island. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He's got a little bit of an Easter Island head. Saying. Yeah. yeah he that's used, what he used to like. look downsy in the beginning. He had a little downsy. But he, now he's he grew into his dad. Up, bro. He glowed yeah. up. Yeah, he did glow up. And I think he's doing something with the eyebrows to like make it look a little bit less downs. Mm, because maybe. the eyebrows look like a thatch roof. Like I remember once I saw ninjas crawling on his eyebrows. <laughs> and look, they were sneaking in to do something. But it turns out the guy's not downs. Mm. And he's putting Tabasco sauce in condoms, which is absolutely fucking brilliant. High IQ points there. Very T- downsy. Why? That's more oddsy. That That's like yeah, more artsy. Yeah, yeah, maybe. You know? He's on a spectrum. See, this I'm is drink. the thing that a lot of people are assuming. We're assuming he put the Tabasco sauce in there to kill the sperm. But you ever seen like a Mexican with some Cheetos and then they take some... Yeah, he might have been getting with a Lula? La- like a Latina. Exactly. Yeah, like yeah. he might have been throwing it in there, mm-hmm. right? And then that's like a delicious treat. Yeah, exactly. Mm. For him or for her? Who knows? Okay. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I like, can see either. Who right. knows? You don't know what these people are into. We don't even know what this girl is. If that girl's Latina, there's a chance that she was so drunk, she thought it was a bag of Fritos yeah. that had some hot sauce mm, in it, and then uh-huh. she just started pouring it in her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like the mangoes on the street. Exactly. The mangoes. They put hot sauce on it. Sometimes. 100%. Yeah. What's to say that Latinos don't want also to have hot sperm? If Latinos like everything hot, why yeah. would they not want some hot sperm yeah, as maybe well? maybe he's just trying to cook things up for her. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Season 100%. the food. 100%. I think that's where Mexicans come from. Hot sperm. Yeah. I think it's sperm. just Tabasco in the pussy. That's what yeah. <laughs> I think. This is possible. I'm not positive, though. This is definitely possible. Okay. The uh, logic adds up. What's that? The logic adds up. The it's logic sound absolutely logic. adds up. Now, do you guys really think that he did that? I want to think that he did I that. So I choose believe. to think that he did that. Okay, you're choosing to think it. Al absolutely thinks you, absolutely. which makes me feel like you might have a little insider information over here. <laughs> <laughs> this is all I allegedly. It's this all is allegedly. all allegedly. It's just two guys yeah. on the Tell spectrum understanding each other. Yeah, yeah. He might. He yeah. might have tried this before. Just I got black? 15 abortions. Maybe he has a <laughs> couple <laughs> Cholulas. <laughs> yeah, that's a pre abortion. <laughs> I could have saved myself a whole lot of money if I just did that shit. God damn. Yeah, but girls were emptying condoms into their pussy. That's another level of fame. Nah, girls do that shit. Emptying condoms into their pussy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've, I've heard about this. Just can you imagine them with like those huge fake nails trying to undo the condom? <laughs> no, you don't like, undo it. You just cut a hole yeah. on the top and pour it in there like you're designing a cake. Yeah. Oh, fuck, Mark. That was pretty good. Thanks. It's great British bake off, but like it, <laughs> it, it really is great British bake off. Yeah, they exactly. just poke a hole in the bottom and then you can write yeah, the you name just go or happy Hollywood birthday. On the clip. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Whoa. whoa, <laughs> you, can, whoa. you can write the name on the top of it like a hostess, like a, like a cookie. That is, but that is kind of wild. Mm. That is kind of wild that you reach a level of fame where you have to destroy your sperm even though it's in a condom. Mm-hmm. And of another question I have is, has that ever worked? A girl has used the sperm that was in the condom to get themselves pregnant after the fact. Mm. I can see it working. Well, you got a lot the of first episode of Ray Donovan. It's Remember, just a, like, it's just a bag of in. sperm, bro. Yeah, but it's spermicide in the condom. Spermicide well, in the condom. I wouldn't know about condom. I don't really. Even. Also, how long yeah, sperm lasts just... for, bro? How long does sperm <laughs> last for? So it's in there swimming, yeah. bro. Say what? It's in there swimming, dog. It's not out in the atmosphere. But once it leaves your dick, it's got to have a shelf life of like 10 seconds or something Unless like that. you put it in the freezer and then it could last a long time. Son, I'm Yeah, but saying. now you're busting right into the freezer. It's a no, few seconds into a to cup, a few minutes. And then they take that cup and they put it into a freezer. Yeah. So, so if you're busting into the condom, you got a little time. Yeah. I'm saying. You got a good half hour probably. Wow, this could work. This could absolutely work. Yeah. I don't think this is my this is my theory. I don't think it's real. I think that Drake is a brilliant marketer, and he's like, I'm gonna lean into the people believing this is real, yeah. and I'm gonna fan what is it fan the flame a little bit. Yeah. And now we're out here talking about it because it's an absolutely phenomenal story. Yeah. And 100, percent he does have to worry about who he gets pregnant. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like I don't get why you gotta throw it away. I always flush the flush condom the, down yeah. the toilet. Yeah. Why don't you do that? You're gonna stop up the toilet. That's not supposed to get flushed. It's, it's the Marriott. It's the Hilton, dog. Don't you give a fuck about their toilets? So you yeah. was doing that at home too? I flush condoms always. It's the city. Really? He doesn't live on septic. Yeah. What's the, what's the worry? Actually. Yeah. There's like so many apartments in my building. Also, okay, I shit four times a day. It's ready to go. Well, that's that's the difference. 
that you got thrown in the backyard. <laughs> <or something. laughs> yeah, you actually knew a person who act, put so many condoms in the toilet. Oh, did you, Mark? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I knew a guy. It destroyed the pipes in the friend. house. <laughs> really? And then, oh, my friend put so many condoms in the toilet. The pipes are destroyed. I want to put that. And they had to chop down an old Why tree. Why do you sound like Harry Carey? <laughs> <laughs> They chopped out an oak tree in the front yard because the septic tank had to get removed. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. boy, how many condoms he was jerking yeah. off there back in the day? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yo, you got to time before you flush them. If you don't time before they flush them, then the shit gets fucked up. Why would that? Make yeah, why does that make a difference? They get filled with water. It turns into a real balloon. <laughs> <laughs> stupid. Right? That's how you clog the whole thing, bro. It's like an artery, bro. You got all these oh full God. balloons. There's just water rushing through. They're expanding, and everything gets blocked up. <laughs> That's why you got to tie the knot at the top. Not so these sluts don't pour it in our cooter. <laughs> it's really because it will blow up within the uh, plumbing system. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's true. It's not. Same thing why girls can't put their tampons in there. Wait, why? why? Because that also blows up. Y'all oh. never seen a tampon go in water or cranberry juice? Yeah, it gets all yeah. Thick and big. Unravels. Or cranberry juice? <laughs> yeah, cranberry juice is more like a period. Yeah. He's talking about the commercials from Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm like, what? Also, they um, use the blue water in the I'm commercials. Yeah. 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 When they use red in the commercials, dudes were like, yo, get this gross shit <laughs> on fucking TV. What the fuck is going on yeah. over here? They're buying ocean spray again, Ripped. bro. Fuck Ripped, out like, here. we're watching football, dude gets concussed. He's just bleeding out of his nose. Totally okay. That's a gladiator. Uh, yeah, it's a gladiator. Yeah, yeah. That's a gladiator. A fucking, a fucking tampon goes into red ink. Disgusting. Yeah, get that hypothetical whore off my TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. Come on. Yeah. Dirty slime. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, there's some dirty whores out there, man. It's uh, it's fucked up, man. Yeah, I don't get why you can't just do something else with the condom. I'll be honest. Yeah, put it like have a a, a shoebox, put it under your bed, like yeah, deal. Deal. We yeah. don't really believe this is real. I don't, I, but I, I believe do. it has happened though. Yes, I dead ass believe it. Really? Yeah. So they probably order room service. He believe everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They order room service. Yeah. The room service comes with the little condiments, and they probably they do be bringing they do be bringing little Tabasco, Tabasco to room service sometimes. They do be doing. I believe that 100%. Because allegedly, he probably does take his condoms away after he fucks. How do you think he rolls it off? You ever think about that? Like, when you're, when you're thinking about Drake, like, what? you ever think about how he rolls off? Like, how thick he is? <laughs> like, when he finally why, gets why it off. Why are you rolling it off? When no it, no one rolls it off. I got to roll my shit off. You could just take yours off? Son, you <laughs> pull. <laughs> my shit be staying on if I fight you. Shut up. No, it don't. No, it don't. No, it don't. No, it don't. No, no. You can just pull a condom no, on your dick. Your, your, your condom <laughs> gets stuck inside. So, I mean, they, they no, fall if I go, If I go soft, yeah. if I go soft, I, I, it'll leave it in the pussy and I just put the hot sauce direct. Yeah. <laughs> I know hot sauce direct in the pussy. Yeah. Yeah. I make a straw. Make it do it. Fucking hello, all guys. Hot sauce, white sauce. <laughs> I don't know, but looking at Mark is pissing me off. Okay? <laughs> What? Do you it's want me to put my hair down? It's the dude. I hate you so much. Is it the sunglasses? sunglasses? Is it the sunglasses? sunglasses? Definitely contributes. Take them off. Try, Take them off. Watch yeah, 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 you got to switch it up, dude. Uh, Let me see. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, so much. Well, now no, you look like Riff You Riff. look like shit, but Al <laughs> actually can pull off those fucking glasses, dude. You look like Morpheus. Shit. No, he yeah. does. He looks like the key maker. <laughs> <laughs> It's a Matrix reference yeah, as well. Thank you, Al. Uh, Al. It. It. Thank you, Al. Don't bring up Matrix when you haven't even seen it. It's the new Matrix? Oh my wow. God! Man, it cool in Boza. Man, it cool in Boza. I'm sorry. I'm trying to steer the country in the right direction right now. <laughs> I don't have time for your fucking movies about woke. Red pills, you know what I mean, dude. That movie was the first fucking red pill, dude. Yeah, you wouldn't be here without that movie. Made by mm. two trans women. Respect. Mm. Yeah, that's shouts, why I protest. What's redder than that? <laughs> They're trying to get periods. I don't know, guys. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I need you both to take off those sunglasses. I'm seeing the world yeah. of 5D now for the first time. Okay. Mm. Why? I don't know. I see amazing. This, mm. I can't believe this is how he sees all the time. Mm -hmm. Whoa, dude. Yeah, everyone's black. It's awesome. Let's go. Black history yeah, glasses. That's the best, the best world. Right? <laughs> that's what I'm <laughs> saying, bro. I'm in Wakanda. Let's go. Except Biggie. He's white now. <laughs> it, it has reverse effect. It's really strange. John Candy. <laughs> <laughs> Al, wake it up, Miles. Okay. Uh, okay. Al, can you please take the glasses off? Yeah. It's absolutely infuriating me. Why don't you try? I think that I think that's what you're missing. I'm not gonna wear them. I'm not gonna wear them. No, it's, I like that. I like that. Try them. <laughs> Damn it, dude. Oh, Damn, on, bro. That's embarrassing. Damn. If I was wearing, if I had he glasses, said he was gonna compete in the Olympics. That's, bro. Yeah, that's what happened I when I be in the Olympics. That's what happened when I threw the Olympics. 
Well, well, I just yeah. didn't catch it, bro. Just catch point. it. Who'd you throw but the lip gloss? He to? tried to kill you. you, remember? He tried to take your life. Oh my god, dude! I hate you so much. Why? Yeah, these that they don't work. <laughs> <laughs> they don't work. They, they don't, don't work, work dude. Bro. They don't terrible sunglasses. Work. I mean, Let's they see. work on me because. Hold beautiful. on, actually, low key, dude, you don't look horrible. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you don't look horrible, dude. I'm leaving him on. I'm not gonna lie. I can't stand you. Honestly, he doesn't look he bad. Like this, he went. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you killed it. I mean, you hey, look really cool. Hey, hey, hold on. You look fucking cool, on. dude. <laughs> Bro, he's I cool. Don't know it's so funny, but it is. Yo, can on, I give probably. one suggestion to take him a little bit down? Ooh, the, ooh, one centimeter. Ooh, bang, dude, yeah. you look so goddamn Son, cool. It's unbelievable. I'm gonna fuck everybody, dude. Everybody getting. You fucked. literally are Tom Cruise right now. Top Gun. But he hides one of his best top qualities, gun. Top gun. Yes, dude. No, no, but then you get the top gun like that. Ooh, right? Oh, right? shit. Oh, Son, shit. Al Yo, almost let me suck his dick I right did there. almost. Yo, having nice eyes is cool with glasses. Because you peek over them. And shits, then you're bust like, it out. Oh, oh. Yeah. You were hiding yeah, yeah, your best yeah, yeah. You're being humble. You're, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a I'm humble being brag. humble with yeah. this shit. Take them off. Take them off. Show it to him. Oh, oh shit! Hey, what's up, Yo, low key, dude. What's up, Patreon? Do that one more time. Bro. <laughs> right, Are you right, right. Ricky? No, yeah, but my balls break. got fat, and then my pants just split them, so I got the fat lips. <laughs> 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 so I got the fat pussy lips because my pants just hit it with the. It's slit. always impromptu and so vivid. That's yeah. the what? detail. Yeah. What? Yo, the detail what? In the I almost so... spit on my own clit. <laughs> it's so graphic. <laughs> we never told the people how you clogged up all of TSA and almost had a national security <laughs> risk. Why did I do that? Do you don't remember this? No, what happened? This is when oh, we're my going jacket? through TSA, TSA yeah. pre-check. No one's in the airport. There's mad room. Like, we're going through the line. And I go through. Dove goes through. Vala goes through. And we're standing there. And Schultz is like, where's my shit? Like, my backpack <laughs> and my jacket are not coming through. And he's, like, walking around, looking at the people, asking TSA. Hey, they're kind of looking around, like, looking at him, kind of annoyed. There's a line of probably 40 people lined up in TSA behind us now. And they're all pre-check, mind you. So they're all pissed off, like, yo, can we go? Yeah. And they pull them aside. They go, yeah, it seems like a jacket is stuck in the x-ray machine. Wow. Can't handle me. And he looks at all and goes, me. yeah, apparently there's a jacket stuck in the x-ray machine. I think I, knows who, I know who it is. <laughs> This guy. <laughs> Performance fleece, bro. Performance fleece. And you rocking that old navy? No. I was Nike, son. No. No. I was Nike. And there's nothing wrong with old navy. Yeah. We should be proud of old navy. Yeah. I had some fucking cargo shorts as a kid. <laughs> I had cargo pants too. Did you have any? Son, you got cargo pants now, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sit in that, Al. <laughs> Sit in that. There's nothing cargo about these goddamn pants. Okay? Capri's. You know what cargo pants Capri's, are. Capri's, I got it. Capri's are different. Capri, I, know, I, know, I, know. I didn't even, it was so wrong, I didn't even know where you were going with oh, it. Okay. I'll be honest with you. I had no clue. But do you remember cargo pants, the heyday? In yeah, New York City? were fire, bro. We all had them. You need these all back? had yeah. them. Tan. Okay. Sometimes if you black, you had the camos. Yo, you, no, 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 no. Don't give him his no. shit back. Don't so give him his shit back. Yeah, sunglasses. Come on, bro. Yeah, you guys can't wearing sunglasses it. for? You guess my forehead, bro. I you got, got a visor, <laughs> son. You yeah, don't need son. no fucking <laughs> sunglasses. Mad low. <laughs> yeah, you're good. <laughs> like his hat extends forward because yeah. his forehead's so big. Son. Yeah. What's crazy? It's not even the. It's depth. It's depth. Yeah, your eyes are pushed in. Yeah, sunk in, but they don't even feel sunk. It's my forehead protruding. No, yeah, it's not your forehead that's sticking out. What is it? It's a little combination of both. I'm trying to help him out. Dude. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I'm trying to help it's, him it's out. It's normal. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's normal. Too, you're not built like Peter Dinklage at all, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's not at all, dude. It's not no. at fuck at all. Would you be gay? Right now? <laughs> From French to gay, I don't know which well, one that's I would Well, that's the gateway. Would Jack. I be gay? Be gay. Could you say more words so I know how to answer that? <laughs> <laughs> would I be gay? Mm -hmm. Come on, more. <laughs> if, if would I be gay? If what? Would you be gay? If? Just no, in okay, general. No, just in general. Yeah, yeah. Would, would you, you be, be gay? gay? I actually like the. Would you be philosophical? Gay? Yeah, yeah, we're be being French would right now. Would you be gay? Yeah. Yes. We're in a cafe. Give, dude. Given the opportunity, given the. Hey, that's for you to. Were there circumstances? Yeah, I, I, sure. Why not? You don't need circumstances. No. Like would if you I just had an emotional and like romantic attraction to a guy, would you just would, I would go you with it? Indulge in it. Like I would be scared, and I would contemplate going towards that fear because of public scrutiny. I'll tell you a moment that I felt I almost became gay. So see a lot, sort of like. 
<laughs> yeah, let's come go. On, on. Okay, I was, it was uh, 2004. 16, 17, living in uh, where I grew up in Newton, Massachusetts. And we had a, uh, my friends and I did a lot of drugs. Mm. And a friend of ours took us to a uh, downtown Boston loft show. It was like a concert in somebody's loft apartment. Okay. And it was super cool. And yeah. I felt so cool being there. And a friend of mine knew some of the bands, so I got to meet them. I'm 16, I'm 17, smoking pot, you know? And uh, so we're leaving the loft. We're going down these stairs that are going like this. And some guys are going up because it's continuing. And one guy goes, hey. And I look up and there's a guy at the top of the stairs and he goes, he's wearing like uh, Buddy Holly glasses or something. This is the 80s. And he says, hey. And I go, what? And he goes, where are you going? And I said, well, we're leaving. And he goes, you're cute. And I said, thanks. And he said, come back up. And for one second, I thought, that's a choice up there. That's just going going back up, hmm. letting my friends go back to Newton and being gay. Up there. <laughs> that was a choice. Yeah. But I looked at him and then I went forward in my head to the big, you know, cock coming all in my face. And yeah, yeah. I was like, nah, let's, let's go home. So homosexuality is a choice is what yeah. we're taking from this. <laughs> For me at the moment, yeah. it was. <laughs> a homosexual act would have been a choice. That's always a choice. Yes. An act is always a well, choice. Well, it was like, a na what's my nature? Is that my nature? Is that what I want? Is this, you know, I liked things about the moment. I liked that he was invited. There was an, a, a grown up and I was reaching out to want to be a grown up. And he validated And I that. liked, yes, that he validated me yeah. and that he said, I want you to come up and hang out with these grownups that you don't even know. Yeah. That was interesting. But then when I added the gay sex angle in my head, yeah. I thought that taints the moment for me. I don't want to do that. Because the sex part. I don't want to have sex with a man. I don't desire men sexually. But we want validation from men. Sure. And we want to feel yeah. cool. And the, the, you're at the cool loft and party. That, and that age, you just, if 100%. someone gives you that, you know, you go, Oh yeah, I want to hang out with you. You made me feel like. That. Do you think if you weren't already? I liked him too. I liked him the way he talked. He was assertive. Something about him. I, he seemed open and cool and like fatherly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, I'm <laughs> gonna fuck that guy. I'm gonna fuck that kid. Come on up here. This is my guy. Good, good for you. You're French, man. I'm not. sure. You have a for, French honesty, dude. I think that you're. I think you're from where you are from in the world. Where am I from? Like stupid land, I would call it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're aware of this about like what's happening right now in America and how popular UK drill is becoming. Mm-hmm. Are are you familiar not, with this? Not too familiar, but yeah. Bro, bro, <laughs> bro. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. Get, dude, I'm serious. Nah, there, there's there's a song yeah. by Central C. Mm. Do you know Central C? Mm -hmm. You've heard of him. Yeah. Do you know Central C? I have to you teach him like about drill. I think. <laughs> hey, hey, do you well, know this listen. rapper in England? Hey, listen, there's a, there's a genre of music called UK drill. <laughs> and uh, Central C is a young bloke. Is that what they're called? <laughs> he's the mandem. He's, yeah, he's one of the mandem. The bloke. You know? yeah, yeah. Is bloke a good word? Yeah, bloke's more like a cockney. Like your security guard. He's yeah, a, like an English thing, you would say. Like a white English thing. We'll oh, say he's bloke. not. Well, well, what is... What is uh, I think he's half Guyanese. Yeah. Whoa. I he's think. A I think. Quarter Indian, probably. And then, then. what's the other half? <laughs> I think Irish. So he's he's Don't got, quote he's me on that. Part but. bloke. He's right? half bloke. Yeah. <laughs> he's blokeish. Yeah, I think he's he's, a, he's he's bloke a yeah. little bit. Half yeah. of his family's like he's oak at least. Yeah. You know, half his family's little. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, so he had this song, and then the the opening lyric was just so catchy. Yeah. How can I be homophobic? Yeah. Right. And then immediately you you were like, I would like to know how you could be that yeah. way. And then he has a good answer. Answer. His bitch is gay. Yeah. 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 He keeps explaining it to him like he doesn't know. And that's. But he keeps looking at me like I'm, I'm I explaining think he's wondering. Something. I think he's like, is this dumbass really going to explain to me? Like, I don't know listen, the song. I, li a lot, listen, a lot has changed since you started hip hop. You, <laughs> listen, you started hip hop. I know this. Ha hip hop didn't start in the Bronx. It started in East London. Yeah. Okay. With the nasty blokes. And. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it was a crazy time back then. Hip -hop crazy right? time. Yeah. No, I, I, I remember. I, I'm with this, but this is the version I remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wasn't it crazy? Because originally, like you know, we can go back. We'll tell the mandem about it. So, we, <laughs> you know, back before that, before there's grime, there is. What was it? There was garage or something. UK garage. Garage. Mm -hmm. And then before that, what drum and bass or jungle. something? Jungle. We called it jungle, jungle back then. But that's. 
Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the, the, yeah. How do they name it? Yo, sometimes they... <laughs> it's just people in the neighborhood, man. Like, just, what is that? It's the white people going... white people. It's it was jungle, yeah. yeah. And then that it moves up. They're like, hey, call it garage music. <laughs> That's a little better. Named by blokes, yeah, for sure. I think there is a lot of pressure. If you think about it, the pressure's on Tommy. Yeah. Because he <clears throat> is... Fighting for the professional boxers and yep. the boxing community, a lot of weight. and his and his older name. brother, yeah. his name, his last name, his dad, his you know they they're said so they tough would on him. He's the runt. Out. Yeah, he's the runt of the family, and they literally. He's said, a good looking runt though. He's a handsome guy. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> no, that motherfucker is like, fine. Like, yeah. Admit that. Admit that's the hottest boxer you, you yeah, fought. Yeah, you haven't fought a more handsome. Yeah, guy. I would touch his belly button. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, 100%. dude. <laughs> you wouldn't take a little body shot, some tequila out of that thing. No, whatever. So I left a little. If you look, if you look a little bit closer. You almost got knocked out, bro. You almost got knocked the no, fuck I'll, out. I'll bob, I'll right. bob a little. Tell us about Tommy Fury's sexy <laughs> no, fucking ass. If you know, you, know you know if you look, trying to defend him. So fucking hard the other day, bro. It was it was actually beautiful. So like not I shifty, said, bro. Nineteen years old, you know what I mean? He put on a fresh little fit. Like it was looking good. He was feeling himself, okay. bro. And he had this. He had a Vans shirt. Right, he had a Vans shirt on, and like it was matching everything. He was, he was yeah. feeling himself. And I like Vans. Shit. I fuck with Vans. And he goes, all right. He so, and this is masterful. He goes like this. This is that passive aggressive white shit that Akash always says white people do. I yeah, didn't yeah. understand it until yeah. it. Yeah. But uh, he goes, uh, he goes, he shifted. You know what? Vans is a fucking amazing oh, uh, uh, mall skate brand. Like for like a <laughs> mall. Oh, son. Oh, son. Oh, what? Son. Called him Zoomy, son. son. Why Stop are you doing it? I'm Mark hates on everybody. Does that, he does that. When yeah, he can't I'm get saying, pussy, bro. nobody get pussy. Yeah, I'm <laughs> saying, bro. No one's getting it for a long time then. <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> Evidently. Why are you such a jealous man, yo? What's that about? So Shifty was feeling himself, bro. Yeah. He was yeah. killing it. He was killing that That's band. That's foul. Killing him with the band. Yeah, nah, he was, <laughs> what is that? What is that shit? I'm trying to elevate him, bro. He's not a on kid. But why yeah. did you call it a mall skate brand, son? You know, Vans like, is iconic. Yeah, you know is. mall shit. Yeah, mall. This motherfucker had rocks Vans too. Yeah. I know. Like, I like Vans. That's why I said that. But why did why you, you say body mall? him? Why do you say mall? Because mall you know, is a, a diss. It's a mall brand. That's you know a kind of fire no. body, though. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Yo, That's you can say anything body. about somebody, but put mall near it, yeah. oh. and it's an immediate diss. I'm using that. Yeah. I'm using that. That was fire. Bro, I'm that's a great that. mall haircut, bro. So, like, <laughs> any <laughs> mall yeah, yeah. in front of anything? <laughs> anything. Which it shouldn't be, because there's nice places at the mall. Yeah, but you said it. Yeah, yeah, like I what? Know. What company is Cheesecake not Factory? <laughs> what you mean? Bro? It's a great mall restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. a great mall yeah. restaurant. Yo, that is devious, son. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking yeah. crazy. It's a piece of shit. Yo, you're a real yo, piece of I'm shit. I'm a bad guy, dude. Honestly. Yo. Son, there's I'm malls that got Rolex guy. stores in them. I know. That's, that's my mall point. watch brand. I mean, mall, if mall, you get yeah. it from there, bro. Yeah, yeah. You get it from there. You know where he got your Rolex? Son. God damn, you got me that mall, son. You got me a mall watch, bro. Nah, you, you got me a mall I got that shit in Rolex, son. Don't, don't nah, do that. Nah, he got, I got it. that shit in Rolex. He got that shit on yeah, 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 I went through dog. five different motherfucking stores nah. to get that guy yeah, yeah, on the street, bro. That's what he nah, nah, dog. Nah, nah, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't, you see what he's doing? You see what he's doing? You see what he's doing? Yeah, you're good at this shit. You're you an evil motherfucker. Bro. It's a nice one, though. You it's like a evil, good, bro. It's a good, you you know, evil, bro. This guy's, this guy's a bad person. Word, son. <laughs> Yo, you need God, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No. He needs God, yeah, dude. Without God, this is a bad man, bro. Know, a lot of people would die with you. Yo, a lot of people would die with you if you didn't have God. If I didn't have God, what would I be? Yeah. Mussolini, Him. Hitler. <laughs> Mussolini, Hitler, yeah, yeah. him. Nah, I got God, bro. Yeah, this guy's. Yeah. G this guy loves God. I believe in me. <laughs> <laughs> buy my special. Buy my special. <laughs> please, please buy it. Free speech. Free speech. <laughs> the <laughs> of God. I think we gotta talk about that, right? What? Yeah, we gotta talk yeah. about the, the <laughs> most <laughs> the most important thing. We got we a piece of Alex shit. Alex is such a deadbeat right now. Yo, He's just getting drunk, sucks. shitting on everybody, getting them walking out. I know. Every half hour. That fucking sucks. Hey, we gotta man. talk about that. <laughs> and then yeah. just walk out. He made me gotta go pee too. Oh shit. Is it pee break time? But when he comes back in here, are we gonna talk about them pants, bro? That Al got? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Al got pants like he dances like this. Like, like what is this shit right here? Raven? Rave. Oh yeah, Raven. Rave. Yeah. Oh fuck.
I thought that was going to be better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got to pee. Can we break for one second of piss and then I, get it popping? Video games. I think the gameplay is more important than the equity in the brands. So, for example, like Americans didn't give a fuck about soccer, but we became obsessed with FIFA. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Same thing happened with hockey games. Like, yeah. I didn't give a fuck about hockey. But the games were lit. The gameplay was so, so dope that, yeah. like, I was invested in it. Yeah. And I think that's probably, like, Mario Kart a little bit. Yeah. Like, so, But that's an interesting thing. Like, you develop a game around this brand that's bigger than the game. Yeah. But if the game is lit, you don't need to be coughing off this money to 007 and the James Bond enterprise. Yeah. Mm. Because even if James Bond wasn't there, if it was just called Zero Dark Thirty or some other But I shit, think you need the hook. You need the so hook. So the hook gets us the in. The hook gets us yeah. in. It's, it's like, like a brand sponsor. Pokemon mm. was a card game for Mad Long, but, but I feel like it didn't pop till it was But then what's the oh, one really? that these kids play I now? Do, yeah. That they're killing each other, they fly off the helicopter. Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah. Like that had no hook. And it fucking demolished. But it was free, though. Yeah, that was like the first one that went free. I mean, games are free. No, no, no. no you, you, pay, you pay money for yeah. bonds. See, oh, you pay. Fortnite is a free yeah. game. You download oh, it for I free. Not know like, that. A, like in the App Store, you download a free game. Uh, you download it like on your console or on your Xbox for free. Which is smart because make money through shit. the other things. And then like, they make crazy money off skins and other shit. Like yeah. selling fake oh, in-game products. Genius. I didn't know that. Dude. And yeah. then they had the whole thing with the loot boxes where like you're basically gambling in the game and they like cut it out. <laughs> I heard about this. Yeah, yeah they, the app stores threatened to. But it's like actual gambling, where it's like, okay, I'm gonna put in X amount of money, and then there's a percentage I could win this other shit. Yeah. But not money, right? Just loot or whatever? Yeah, I think it was just loot. But then you could trade loot and like sell it and gain money that way. Mm. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't really play Fortnite that much. So hey, we're we talking gaming right now. This yeah, your wheelhouse you, you, right you, now. You, so. you lured him back in. Shifty yeah. <laughs> <laughs> need to be well, in here. Games when did like... Pokemon pop off? Was it card game, cartoon, or video game? Uh, Pokemon was big in Japan, came here, and then, yeah, it was like a uh, card game was big here, and nah. then the, ma the anime came out at the same time. The Pokemon game. is a great, like, mall video game. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, yo, but it yo. is, though. Like, <laughs> oh, you didn't hear us tell that whole story? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so that mall shit, bro, yeah, that like, shit really like, just... What did that make you feel? Like, when Mark just shit all over the outfit that you meticulously put together, no, you were looking cool, fly, bro. like, stop, the mall bro, is cool. stop. Hey, yeah, can we get married in the mall? Yeah, like, like, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, bro. I guess it's a Kanye song. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> what, bro? It's cool. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the mall. Where do we go surfing? The mall? Yo! Yo! <laughs> so, Mark is good. Yeah, go. Mark is good, bro. You, bro. Mark is good, bro. Let's go. I just want to show off his pants. Let's go. <laughs> I've been waiting for the opportunity to show off them show pants. Days he didn't even walk out that way. He walked right yeah. to the center camera. Am I he posed. We're not he even posed. back yet. We're back. We're, we're back, back, bro. No, we're, shit, we're, my bad. Bad. we're talking about Shifty, bro, and oh, how he chipped bad. away at his fucking self-esteem. What do you dog? mean? Come on, he came to where? Hey, I didn't hear him. I just heard you guys talking stupid about video games. Thank you. No. Yeah, he came in for the video we're games. We're talking about the van <laughs> shirt you were wearing. Remember when Mark shit all over? He called you a mall. Is a mall skate brand? Fine. I just ghosted him for like a week. I didn't talk to him. Damn. Oh, yeah, yo, that's get in there, Shifty. Yeah. Get in there. Yeah. Get in there. That's not a comeback. Talk about what a like lonely bitch market is. That means he got in his feelings and he's like, oh, I'm, just, I'm not talking to you for a week. <laughs> like, are you in your feelings? No, I'm just not a professional comedian. I can't out talk him. Well, he's not a professional. He's more like a yeah. mall comedian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, bro. Son, that was good. This fire. guy's bro. a crazy Son. guy. Miles, you killed it. You killed it with so, that shit. I know. It's like so crazy. Like, it's like, it's so, like, so crazy. That like, joke. Son, that shit was, was crazy. Like, was like, this is so like with the. With like the Paxman interview I saw was a very similar one. It's a political one. Yeah. But it was very, and he didn't play up the goofy as much, but it was, again, somebody trying to get him and talk him in circles, and then you talk them in circles. Do you lean into kind of being aloof? 
because you know I can win that way and the win is that much more satisfying. Actually, I wish I could say that because that sounds really cool. But like it's much more this, I, I'm I'm involved in a negotiation with fear quite a lot of the time. Mm. Like, so I'm not like, I don't walk into environments and think, yeah, fuck all you. Like I'm a bit like, oh shit. You know what I mean? So I'm oh. dealing with the reality of that. I'm dealing with the reality of fear. Like not in a hopefully a high pitched anxious way, but I'm observing the fear, which I've come through training and time to regard as your body is energizing now in case you have to be fast, you know, dealing with what yep. adrenaline is mm -hmm. rather than uh, pathologizing adrenaline into a neurotic state. But I don't feel like I'm going to go in there and I'm going to fuck him up. Although in my mind, I do think when I'm dealing with someone like Jeremy Paxman, who's like, I don't know, he's like, a, maybe he's like Anderson Cooper or something like that. Yeah. He's like a political commentator and he again was like, like trying yeah, to get you. Trying to get me. Yeah. yeah. Right. And also that stuff. The other thing is, which are, like, is I believe in that stuff. I believe that like that primarily political discourse is carried out in a way to exclude ordinary people. And even the distractional tactics of turning people against one another on the basis of race or gender ignores the crucial arguments around class that most ordinary people have more in common with one another than they have in, in common with the elites that govern them. And that's always kept off the table while the they exacerbate our differences to turn us against one another. So when I'm like actually confronted one of those people I think fucking no I'm talking to him right now uh, and like, so when I'm like I try to stay very very calm and then if they personally fucking do me it's on like, yeah that's it now I'm ready yeah, let's yeah, go yeah 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 because yeah, 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 yeah. that's rude like, yeah. that's, <laughs> I'm an Englishman that's, yeah. that's a gauntlet around the chops isn't it yeah <laughs> yeah 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 that's, so what it is is I don't go in there sort of overly confident but I do go in there with a sort of a set of beliefs yeah. that I sort of hold on to so something like that morning Joe I wasn't in a very good mood actually that and that, that the morning, morning Joe yeah yeah, yeah yeah that one where it's that lady with the blonde hair oh, Micah yeah, yeah, yeah. you know like, yeah. when, like when I went on that I didn't feel that good and, and now I weren't particularly happy with the trousers I was wearing to be honest and <laughs> Uh, and like, uh, so like when on top of that, they was started mugging me off. I thought, oh no, they, no. Yeah, they thought that they were trying to have like, uh, I think they thought they were going to have fun with you. Like they thought that you yeah. were going to come in, they were going to tease you. Yeah, you were going to be the clown and yeah. they were just going to kind of laugh at you. And I, you didn't look that happy going into it, which is no. always funny when you're trying to convince people to come to your happy show. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'm and terrible it, at that. And, and buddy... There was a moment where you just uh, decided, you're like, okay, well, this interview is about to get taken over right now. And I'm going to tell these people who I am and it's going to be really interesting. Yeah. And they fucking folded. Yeah. They got nothing to lock at them people. No disrespect to them. They're probably all like beautiful human beings. Actually. No, didn't he kill mean... his secretary or something oh, like well, that? that? Well, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> <laughs> was the secretary particularly inefficient? <laughs> <laughs> was there a tribunal process? <laughs> was there an opportunity to yeah. discuss KPIs? <laughs> You're not delivering in these ones. Oh, no, straight to execution. Why is the dick size so... At the, the reason the why headline. it's important is because you girls don't understand how, the volume of your pussies. Mm. Right now, you girls are sitting here and you're both in your head going, I got the tightest pussy. Because you haven't heard anybody tell you that your pussy wasn't tight in your whole life. We say your pussy's tight because it's a reflection of our dicks. Right. When we're going, oh, your pussy's so tight, we're really going, oh, my dick is so big. Right? Oh. So, so you're tied into like your tightness is tied into our ego mm -hmm. right so every girl thinks they have the same size pussy and it's the tightest because every girl's been told they have the tightest pussy when you're at the gym you're not peeking into each other's pussies right, right. so you have no clue everything's internal guys when we're like fucking peeing at the airport you might walk and then there's a guy and he's holding his shit you're that's, like yeah, yeah, yeah like, fuck, what country is he from right like, <laughs> are you saying more like because you're so exposed to other men's penises that it's on your mind yes. more okay you just see it. And it's like you're a, at the it's gym. You see it. It's there. You're just naturally competitive because it's in. It's you see it. You see it, and it's in porn. You don't see internally what's going on in there. Like there are pussies that are like tight, and then they open up on the inside. But I guess what I was trying to get to is like <laughs> dick well, size. What? You've never seen a little rugby football <laughs> pussy? Called assholes. Like, yeah. <laughs> you can be yeah. a better lover. Yeah. You know, and it with the, like the guy with the not as big dick could have been. No, no, a I want lover. you to keep saying this lie. This is adorable. Keep going. Are you serious? It's the motion of the ocean. It's not, I am not saying what it is. I'm just saying, like, there's, it's not that, <laughs> that's not the end all be all because no, it's really not. <laughs> no, yeah. that's been like the worst sex of my life, like the bigger dicks I've had. But you're, you're like a tiny thing. 
That's true. You know? Thank you. So that's the thing. So you probably don't need as much. Totally right? fair. But a bigger girl, she's going to need to get filled the fuck off. Let's go. Right? Let's like, go. So, right? Let's so, go. Like, That's what the fuck I'm like, talking Right? About. She's going to need some fucking Campbell's soup. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Chunky, maybe. Right? So your idea of what it is is going to be different. And your idea of, like, vagina size is going to be different. Yeah, I have no concept of vagina size because I don't care. I only have one to con be concerned with. Yeah, well, we also have that. But you haven't been told anything to concern you. Like, no, no guy's in there like going, correct. the fuck. Yes. But I there have... are girls that have different size pussies. Yep. That's a fact. Also, by the way, girls don't walk around thinking we have the tightest pussies. Yeah. I have really? given myself a very fair assessment, mm. I well, think. Okay. I'm not like, oh, God, you know, I don't think I have the grippiest pussy. I think I have strength, like my Kegels are real strong and I know how to time it with the undulation of a man. What does that mean? When he thrusts in and out, you time when you squeeze, right? Uh. You squeeze and suck. It's a timing thing. If you're just constantly doing this, there's, it's, there's strategy involved. But I don't think that I have the tightest <laughs> pussy in the world. No, I think I just know how to do it. And yeah. that's how so, I feel that men word. should also look at it. Because there's no, I also, but I'm very anti body shaming. Like I don't, like, I just don't see a reason to talk about like dick size and like better or worse. Because I've had sex with different sizes and different people, and like it's not there's not a correlation to the good time that I had. Yeah, that makes sense. If the motion was good, <laughs> is there a size that you would like the ocean to be? I, I husband dick husband yeah. dick yeah. husband mm. dick is where it's at it's guys like do you want no. some kind no. of not, not a woman <laughs> to be president I know the answer is no hey stop you right there I do want a well, I do want a female president uh, really? trans female no that'd be fire it's very progressive that'd be fire I don't divide them up okay female is female okay and the future is female <laughs> <laughs> so, so these are all important Why is things. that fine to be listen, on a shirt? But when someone says it out loud, no, dude, listen, it's the so future funny. female. But no, I want. I would love a female president. That would be fire. But do you want to know on some level? I was working. You gotta on let him finish. <laughs> you gotta. I know when a Schultz insult is coming, so you gotta let him. No, get I, don't, I don't have anything. I, I would. I think it'd be great. I think it'd be a great for our country. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You we should had call a black your president. insults insults <laughs> with a Z. <laughs> Um, don't you want diversity? We had a Catholic president with JFK. Yep. Right? Yeah, that was diverse. Yeah. That yeah. was yeah, oh white people, that white people were so funny back then. That in was the day. diverse at the time. <laughs> yeah, we can't elect this fucking Catholic. He's a Catholic. What is he gonna do? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to picture my president being fingered as a child. Um <laughs> Hold on. Hold yeah. on. What's, not Catholic all Catholics president? were fingered, okay? Oh, Jeez. I thought you were talking about Jesse Bob. Hart. <laughs> no, I mean, like, a Catholic <laughs> president, all I picture is, like, Oh, that he got diddled and shit like that. You know that. what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's yeah. a weird thing to lead with. Like, I'm Catholic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you think the priest is, like, proud of that? Like, he's like, like y'all fingered a bunch of opioid addicts. <laughs> I fingered the president. All like, <laughs> yo, that's crazy. <laughs> okay, but no, but seriously, tell me why. I know, I don't, my, I, female president, whatever. You're I was against just, a female no! president? No! I was, I was working on a bit about how, like, do you guys want, I don't, I want to know that when a female president is in office that she's yeah. not sucking dicks. You don't want your president sucking dicks? I, like, if you're married, like, there should be, like, four years. He can outsource that. Your husband can have, like, yeah. a side, yes. to hook, all only business, because I don't want all of our world leaders to know, like, She's not available. Like, she could be. She has to service her husband at some point. That's fire. Yeah, yeah. She should never be in a subservient position. She's but a female she should, president. though. That's fire. No, no, no. Outsource Are you that. sure? Everybody's happier. Well, she could be lesbian. She but be so gay. everyone would know. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, which that would be perfect. Lesbian president, fire. Yeah. That, yeah, Our that's position. pretty. I, I did How a lesbian president. Bro. No, hold on. <laughs> 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 My president's <laughs> gay. <Yeah. laughs> or, or prime minister for y'all yeah. out there if you don't know what a president is. Yeah, fucking pores. Pores. Fix your teeth. <laughs> so, just Do you think, I don't think we'll have a female Hold president on. in our lifetime. We said the same thing about black president. We did. Yeah. Say that. I never said that. <laughs> you, Winnie, you, you, you never thought it. <laughs> I thought it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever asked you, but you did. You were a little surprised when it I happened. I don't know. 
Mm, I'm trying to think. I don't know. I remember when he was giving his acceptance I don't speech. Know. I, I didn't was vote just for like, him, so I don't know. Get that motherfucker uh, so, off the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember yeah. that? Let me get his shoe. So I, I literally yeah, yeah. thought that. I'm like, why is he in public yeah. right now? Like, do you remember the inauguration when it was covered with the bulletproof glass? Yes. That It was wild. Yeah. As soon as you saw the family walk out, and then from one angle, you saw like all the reflecting of the light. It yeah. was so, it gave me, like, made me sick to think. Mm. But wouldn't you think it'd be great to have a female president? Why would a female president be better? It has be to be better? the right one. A bad one would be the worst thing ever, because no one would ever want one ever again. And uh, like, it would be such a setback. I'd say wait till the fucking perfect one, then Russian one in There's there. There's nobody you'd vote for now. What about Elizabeth Warren? She'd be talking sense. Michelle I, Obama. I, Michelle. Nikki Haley. Yeah. Nah. Tulsi Gabbard. Yo, shout out Tulsi. I, I like shout Tulsi. I like Tulsi a lot. Shout I don't Tulsi. know what, ha I feel like there was a weird little hit job that happened to her. Oh yeah. yeah. Right? Everyone said she was like a Russian bot. I don't want to get too political. Okay, me either. But if we did- <laughs> No, I want to talk about her body. No, I mean, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying like, if we did have a female president, right? Yeah. And I understand that you don't want her giving blowjobs because you feel like that's subservient. It's more like I just don't want leaders thinking that's going on because there's a lot of other countries that are way further behind than we are that might look down upon that. Mm. Mm. What if what if she's getting fucked in her shitbox? They might think we're weak. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say they may think we're weak. If they know it's just shitbox, they're like, that's a fucking that's a man. Boss. He, she takes in the ass like a man. That's yeah. a boss. Mm -hmm. mm. I, th I don't think there's anything wrong with giving blowjobs. I think it's a very empowering thing. But do you ever like? <laughs> <laughs> like I don't think that's subservient at all. Well, you're married now, so you're never gonna get. No, I, I, I don't remember what they're like. But so what I'm saying is, I do remember there was a time where I felt so weak when I would get a blowjob. Right? I felt like I had no control whatsoever. That's true, because you got. I have two sets of teeth. Don't do this when you talk <laughs> about it. This right here, you stop right you're now. Really totally this right here, there. you stop this immediately. Okay. Yeah. You gave me some winter dick. <laughs> this little piggy. Yeah. No, don't do that at all. That is, I guess, a really a power position because you are holding the most valuable part of your body in oh, your in your between your teeth. Interesting. Remember, yeah. there was that great Chappelle joke. No, no, uh, who was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the she was sucking the dick, and then she went to get shit done, <laughs> sucking the president's dick. Oh, uh, uh, we need to lower these taxes. Hmm. Is this a Google oh, search? Oh, yeah, that was just kill them softly. <laughs> it was kill them softly. I think we should. I really think we should lower taxes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Huh. It was way better when he did that shit. Right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, even, I lobbed it up to you because I was like, I'm going to butcher it. And then, that was but, the meanest thing anyone's done about Chappelle in the yeah, last, the last month. <laughs> Jesus, man. Okay, uh, it's it's very funny. Go check it out. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I just wonder if there's a female president, if there's just certain things we have to let everyone know. Or, you know? Like what? Like just, she's not, you know. She's not what? She's not gonna She's have her not. period. She doesn't have any balls on her chin for four years. <laughs> She's not gonna have her period. Oh yeah, I don't have to worry about that. Oh, that's yeah. a good point. I don't know, do you think about stuff like that when there's like a woman leader? Do you look at the husband and go like, ugh. Do I look at the husband and go, oh, like, he's gotta deal with her on her or period? Or just something, I don't know. We've never had a female problem. I'm just I curious. Don't. Like Angela Merkel? Yeah. Her? Mm-hmm. That was cool. Do you know Silvio Berlusconi? Yeah. Yeah. So he, did you see, I did a podcast for Wondery where I like narrated it's um, uh, the whole thing. So I learned a lot about Silvio Berlusconi. Uh, Can you explain who Berlusconi was? Of Italy. But also like kind of a gangster. Like, the most gangster. Super billionaire, controls yeah. the cable networks. He basically, oh, he's basically what Trump, Trump. They were, they were going to Mussolini that shit one more time, basically. Well, they, yeah, basically he owned all the TV networks. He put all these like shows, like showgirls on um, uh, and then put them all in parliament. Like literally showgirls. Like he just like bought the country. He bought the football team, uh, soccer, whatever the fuck. And his slogan to run for prime minister was go Italy and aligned it with football. Mm. And that's the most important thing to them. So he just like, people would go like, why do we vote for you? And he's like, go Italy, Italy wins only. Like it's very Trump. Like Trump's yeah. like, loves him. Um, super corrupt, like just a, a lot of he mafia. He can't be excited about his country? A lot of mafia money. Well, no, the the the, the week that people were, the magistrates were investigating um, his like money laundering and not paying taxes, his truly four best friends, like you, you and you, were all found having just committed suicide like in their homes, like his three best friends, like cr like the most crazy shit. Were they in Orlando? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a great question. <laughs> great question. These are things that we great have to know. Question. Before we get conspiratorial on this podcast, these are things that we have to know. There's a video of him calling Angela Merkel a fat ass. I like mean, she's not the best built bitch I've ever seen in my life. But is that kind of what you want out of a leader? Yes. Sturdy hips? Yes. I don't like, even know if she has hips. Like cankles? Yeah, she's like, um, 
Who's like our hottest leader that we still respect? Oh, that we respect? Like Amal Clooney? Like who's, like how hot can you Look be? Look at her, hold how on. How hot can you be and still be taken seriously? No, nah, I need you to. No, nah, I respect this woman. Yeah, th this, she's gonna get shit done. No yeah. kids, right? Uh, I don't think any kids. Got a husband, no kids. That is a looks Down like the mean syndrome in Harry haircut. You think she has Down syndrome? That haircut, her barber does, for sure. Who is that fucking NFL team owner? Oh yeah. Oh, Al Davis. Davis. Al Davis. Mark dude. Davis, his son. Yeah, Mark, Mark Davis. Davis. Mark yes, Davis, yes. yes, yes. yes. Mark <laughs> Davis. Yeah, she's a she's an odd one, this woman. But you don't have to look that bad. Is that Coco? <laughs> no, no, this is the That's Coco. Isn't that um the lead, Ice Cube's wife? This is the Croatian no. president. This is not just I don't know if this guy's debunked. That's her body? I don't know yeah. if this guy debunked oh, or not. That's, 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 that looks like Coco, Ice T's wife. Let's yeah, move but to it's Croatia. Not. It's the Croatian president. You see what I'm saying? So it is possible. We okay. Go there. Okay. Yeah. It how is possible. How big is Croatia and how serious are they? Very big. Yeah. Yeah. These, I think. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> what, okay, so the, what problems is she solving on a daily basis? In All Croatia. of them. All of them. Croatia, what's going Four on? Four million over there? people in Croatia. Yeah. Four million people yeah, yeah, in yeah, Croatia. Yeah. Okay. Four million. Yeah, yeah. You have I, no excuse not to look like that. No. I. <laughs> <laughs> this is the listen. The president sets the bar. Yeah, got it. You need to be an attractive, good-looking man or woman. I'm not pointing at you because I'm saying you are. That. <laughs> I'm just saying that Angela Merkel is is representing Germany in a way that's kind of odd. Do you want that to be the face of Germany, the man from up? <laughs> you mean the parachute from up? <laughs> I mean, come on. This is not this is not how you want your country represented. But no, maybe. but she gets shit done. Look at that. She's not busy trying to look good. She gets Dude, shit done. I was, I was wondering I where have faith in this woman. was. Yo, this is fucking Ratatouille. <laughs> Ratatouille is your president. Or prime minister, or whatever the fuck it is. Oh no. God. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I was curious what Brian Posehn was up to. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what happened to Brian Posehn? Is he out of here running busy? Journey? Okay, um, okay. Can we be serious? It'll be interesting. I, it'll be. I, I'm not like a. We need a female. I'm like, don't put any women in any positions where they're gonna fucking suck until they're fucking extra good. Why? Because you think we're gonna go? I told you so. Well, no. It's just most politicians suck, women or not, right? Or are disappointing in some way. I mean, think what politicians do we still like after they served any time? Barack. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Jimmy, George Jimmy Bush. Carter. But I don't know. Jimmy if he Carter, does, we if like he, more. If he drops a podcast, are you still going to like him as much? Who? I, I listen to a Barack podcast for sure. That voice, I'd listen. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay, I feel voice. like he's, he's like one podcast away from people being like, buddy. They did do a podcast, I'm not a right? He narrated uh, like a- The lakes, the, the, li the parks, this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He oh. narrated that show. Yeah. Called the Parks Project, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And he yeah. just told everybody about the parks that we have? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's wild because we're like, we're like, hey, Brock, white people know about these. That got, <laughs> hold on a second. That got greenlit. This yes. is by Netflix. That was greenlit by Netflix. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you guys to say something about yeah, Netflix? Yeah. No, not at all. Yeah. I, I think that they're making phenomenal decisions. Obviously, okay, they made a great decision with Look, you. Mm -hmm. Dropping it on a Monday night, the night <laughs> everybody's <laughs> super excited to watch some stand-up comedy. Look, in China, that's Tuesday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what is with the drop times on that? You know the problem with Netflix is they they literally just they what is it called? Uh fuck 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 fuck. They're like um they okay, they think they're like an old Italian town where there's only one restaurant. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They're like, "Yeah, we can take a nap during the day because there's no other place for people to go." Yeah, yeah. But it, now that there's like a yeah. a, a bustling yep. city, yep, 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 you yep. have to change things a little bit. You have to learn how to market. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And they're not like dropping it on a Monday night. Um, well, here's the thing. Uh, I do make lots of transphobic jokes in it, so please tune in. Oh! <laughs> do you think that in your lifetime, yeah. you will be able to befriend uh, an Indian or somebody I like that. that? I really you do. do. Mm. I really do. Yeah, I, just, I, I didn't believe that. I don't yeah, know for some reason. Yeah. I, I, I Ask love me again. you. Ask me again. Ask you again? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you think in your lifetime that mm. you will be able to, to befriend an Indian? Or? Yes. Yeah. No. And what do you think no, kidding, is getting dude. in the way? No, I have Indian friends. That's what they say, right? <laughs> I do. That's what they say. I have Indian friends. Who, who, who'd you name? I can't think of one right <laughs> Name four Indian people. Shanti. My friend Shanti, she used to open for me. She's yeah. like Shanti? Indian. Yeah. The rapper? No, she's from San, uh, San Francisco. She's okay. a very funny comic. Okay, okay that's yeah. one. She's very Indian. Name another one. <laughs> name another one. Izzy Zanzari. That's two. Love he him. returns your phone calls? 
Okay. Zines and Zari, what's the third one? I can say Akash. Uh, oh, no, no. Danny from uh, Community. Danny Pudi? Yeah. yeah. Love him. Oh, good. Danny Pudi, great guy. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't he half Indian? What? He's half Indian. Yeah, yeah. Still, I love him. That's why you love That's him. That's all I know. That's why you love Literally him. Literally all I know. Which half do you like more? No, we know. We know. The half that thinks Andrew is nice to him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many Indians do you know? None. What? I don't. <laughs> I didn't claim to know any of these people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know a lot? My my neighbor as a kid. He actually does the yeah. best Indian accent for a white guy. My neighbors are were Indian as a kid, so yes, I do know a lot. Wait, you can do they Indian? They were only Indian as oh, yeah. children. Really? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they grew out of it? Wait, wait, you, you do. You, if you're you lucky, do, you do, do Indian. <laughs> wait, I want to hear the Indian. His Adolf Hitler is great. <laughs> we'll get that. Dude, his Adolf my Hitler. My Indian Adolf Hitler is really good. <laughs> Go. Go, hit it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are the trains ready? We've got to kill the Jews, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dead on. Dead on. <laughs> Did I get the sound guy? Oh, yeah. 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 I didn't know you lit it up with the yeah. sound guy. <laughs> so oh good. my god! You are a good actor, dude. Oh, oh my god! god. So this is this is him just being curious. He's just kind of looking. No, around. no, no, no. Incorrect. You don't you don't think he's no? That's a polar bear. He smells meat, and he's trying to get in there and eat that dude. That's one hundred percent what's going on. He's, he's not curious. You don't think he's sniffing around? Uh uh-uh. uh. What what? Did he the guy smells have a meat. In there? That polar <laughs> bear. Look at this. That polar bear smells that man's meat. That's why he's doing this. This has nothing to do with curiosity. He is trying to bite that box to eat that man. One hundred million percent. I mean, this is insane. Yeah, because polar bears only eat meat. Hmm. They're not like any other bear. The They're the most predatory of all bears because they don't have any other options. Mm. They don't have any vegetables. There's no grass. All they eat is fucking uh, seals or anything else. Yeah, photographers sometimes. Anything that's there. Polar bears will come for you. So what do you do in that situation? Dude, pray. I heard the <laughs> most terrifying Wait story of these explorers. They were on an icebreaker. And they were on an icebreaker. I don't even know if this is true. What's an icebreaker? Like oh, an icebreaker. So they're out there in, in yeah. wherever the polar bears live. Yeah. And um, they uh, have a leak in their boat. And they have to literally get off the boat because the boat's sinking. Yeah. So they make their way to an ice raft. Mm-hmm. They get off the boat onto this ice raft. Uh-oh. And they wait. And there's multiple hours before someone can come get them. Mm-hmm. And they see a polar bear. Oh, fuck. And they see a polar bear on a neighboring ice raft. Yeah. And he's looking at them and he stands up and bloom. Comes up oh, in the water fuck. and pops up on the next one next to it. Oh, and they're like, oh, man. Back in the water, pops up on the next one next to it until he's right next to them. He dives in the water, comes up onto their ice raft, takes one of the guys, grabs him, pulls him into the water, swims with him over to the other one, and starts eating him. Fuck. Right in front of those dudes. Holy yeah. shit. So they're standing there going, what <laughs> the <got> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and then Where the did boat you think comes. it was heading? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> get away before. It. <laughs> <laughs> and then the boat comes. Oh. So they have to watch their friend get eaten by a fucking polar bear. They have to watch their friend get eaten alive oh, by a polar that's bear. that's fucking and They eat you alive, too. They don't bother killing you. Do you have any friends that died you. from, like, grizzlies or anything no. like that? No. No, I don't. I do have friends that have been chased by grizzlies and attacked by grizzlies. Really? And what happened? Brown bears. Well, most of the time, it's what they're trying to do is scare you. Most of the time, it's like a female with her her cubs, mm. and you just zigged when you should have zagged. Yeah. Mm. That's is, his thing. He thinks he could zag at the right moment. There's no zagging with bears. <laughs> and uh, that's happened with friends where they got charged, you know? Mm. Shot at them? Um, Cameron? No one, that happened with no, Cameron? No, he never had to do that. But um, Steve Rinella from that show Meat Eater has a horrifying story. Of they had uh, shot an elk on a Fognac Island, which is this uh, island in Alaska mm-hmm. where the biggest brown bears live. Mm-hmm. These things are fucking huge, man. Yeah. Like 11 foot tall bears. Right. They're monsters. Right. And they killed this elk. And when they went back to retrieve it, they noticed bear shit. Uh-oh. Mm. And they ignored it. And they said, let's just sit down, have lunch, Bad and we'll move. carry this meat out of there. And they heard a noise, and then they turned, and there was this fucking giant beast just running yeah. through the camp. And they all stood up, and guys were falling over each other. The bear was, like, running right past them. One guy, this guy, his name's Dirtmouth, wound up on top of the bear as it was running down the Holy hill shit. for, like, 30 feet. 
falls off onto the ground. The bear runs off into the woods and starts hoofing at them. And they, they scramble back to the camp. They didn't have their guns on them. The guns were sitting there. All they were doing was eating lunch. They had no idea it was going to happen this fast. And then all of a sudden, and then they've got guns. They've got to try to back out of there. Wow. But the bear had claimed their elk. Of course. Oh, it took their kill? You got, yes. They got off he easy. He decided buddy. it was theirs. Yeah, oh, just, yeah, they got off yeah. easy. Just lost an elk. Yeah. Who cares? Who cares? That's, they're lucky that's I don't even the, know if they one. lost the whole elk. I think they only lost part of it. Mm. I think they were in the process of cutting it up and, and shipping it and, move, and, and moving it back to their camp, which was like a couple of miles away in this rugged terrain. This thing just come out of nowhere. Yeah. Is it just the bear that you have to worry about? You got to worry about everything, man. That's the, the thing that's great about the woods is that it's a, a, a human reset. You, you're when you're like legitimately out in the mountains. It's a human reset, right? Because you realize like, oh, oh, no one gives a fuck, fuck yeah, who yeah, you yeah, are yeah, out yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. one gives a fuck about you. Yeah. Everything here is trying to do their thing. Right. The, the bulls are literally killing each other to fuck. Right. They're killing each what other. What do you mean? They grow weapons. Yeah. Every year. That's how they yeah, compete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They kill yeah, each other. I didn't know they attack each other. They, that's, that's how all the female they do. Uses, the whole dog. thing. The males will like uh, there'll be competition. Whoever yeah. wins is the dominant male. That's who the female will mate with. Dude, <laughs> what, and mate, Google, mates with all of them. Two bulls. Whoever the most, whenever she's in like seat or whatever. Yeah. That's when male competition happens. She's saying, "I'm going to choose the dominant male because I want the strongest genes for my offspring." Yeah. I control this because I got the so eggs. Look so look what happens. Choose. Look, they oh, start this. smashing at the water. Those are two big ass bulls. No. And they decided they both want to be the king shit of the herd, and so they have to go to war. So if you are in the woods and you're elk hunting and you hear clackety clack, 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 clackety clack, you're like, oh shit, they're fighting. And you could run in and kill one of those bulls because they're distracted. Yeah. Have you seen what they get locked up? Yes. Sometimes they'll like lock up their antlers and then they'll just die that way. Dude, I've watched this personally from, you know, 50 yards away. Really? It's amazing. It's amazing to watch. It's wild. Yeah, it's terrifying. And then what happened? Well, in the, my, my situation, the wind was bad, and we never really could get a shot. It was like there was too much, there was too many trees and shit for us. By the time we got to them, they had smelled us and took off. What's the biggest they animal smell you. you could beat the shit out of? <laughs> I don't think I could beat the shit out of a monkey. <laughs> no. I'm really scared a monkey would fuck me up. What about a wolf? I'm not kidding. Did Aaron, you see that you video? Did you ever see that video of a monkey who pulls that strip of that dude's head off? Oh, oh no. monkeys are freakishly strong. Wait, just, wait, wait, but wait, it wait. just climbs. This guy's like trying to be peaceful. He's like on his on his like sitting crisscross applesauce, and the monkey comes and sits on him. And he's like, "Hello, my friend." He's like, and the monkey just bites his head and pulls a giant chunk of his scalp off Bruh. and runs oh, away. Can you get that shit. up, Mark? I mean, pulls like <laughs> a crazy. fucking. Subway sandwich size chunk of scalp from this dude's head. I'm not bullshitting. Like this big. Do we have monkeys uh, in America? No, we do not. What about South America? South America has some monkeys, yeah. Wow. Arian Foster, he's a football player. He said, I could take a wolf. Yeah, he's crazy. We talked about it on the podcast. Yeah, do you think we did a podcast together. That's r ridiculous. No chance. No, impossible. Even you. You're a no, wrestler. No, 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 no chance. No chance. No chance. Okay. You, you would get, it's literally like a machine that crushes moose bones. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So no animals. A wolf's really. bite is five times stronger than a pit bull's. Okay. Did, did you see this? And one? their teeth are designed to crush bones. Oh, this is the craziest shit I've ever seen. No, what are you doing in this do situation? This? So this is a this is a, a family that went to Thailand for like a trip. Mm -hmm. Okay, if I'm not mistaken. So they're like hanging out and they go to like an orangutan exhibit. Oh no. And this is like one of the, this is not graphic, but this is one of the things that they do. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah. no. Well, <laughs> this. Like, I'm watching this lady get bit. <laughs> but but she's just chilling there, and then they, yeah. they do like an orangutan experience, and this is what happens. He walks up behind her. Mm -hmm. Do you see he what he's grabbing? Grabbing her grabbing boobs. Her booty, he's <laughs> smiling, tongue and out. Then he smiles and then just dips. But I don't think I would want to be that close to an orangutan ever in my life. No. Yeah, that's not necessary. If that thing wanted to, it could pull you apart like a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> just shh. Yeah. It could pull you apart like you were nothing. Yeah, these people like are... Like, we, we think of our... We, like, oh, it's not that much bigger than me. It's like, uh, it's kind of the same size as me. Mm. It's not even the same thing. Yeah, strength yeah. to weight ratio. We're made out of jelly donuts. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. There's not a goddamn animal where... You wouldn't be able to fight off a feral cat. 
Bears are the scariest bad. animal. I'm glad we actually cleared that up. I think they're one of the scariest. I accept that as an apology. But big cats them. might be even scarier. Yeah, I'm more afraid of a big cat. Yeah. Big cats Why? are scary. Way more afraid of oh, bears. I feel like I could get away, or if yeah, I, I feel like I do something. But stop with a tiger, a li- I'm being dead serious. But with a tiger, a lion, I feel like there's nothing. Do you remember when you scared me with the bear thing? No. What was when we were? Do you remember this? I forget where we were. We were at some comedy club. I told you about fear of bears, and I was like on edge all day because I was like going through all my childhood trauma with bears, and then you just popped out of nowhere at the comedy club. I think we're in like. Like city. Do you have a lot of childhood trauma with bears? I mean, kind of. As a kid, it was the scariest thing in the world because we would just be sitting in our house and all of a sudden all the trash cans would rattle. And I'm like six years old and, oh. and all the dogs would start barking crazy. And then we'd run outside and there'd be a bear there. And, and Florida bears are like Florida people. <laughs> yeah, they're all <laughs> very, they're very all unpredictable. Dude, smoking, smoking PCP, these bears are crazy. <laughs> unpredictable, bro. running from the law. Wearing yes. Trump hats. Yeah, they got guns and shit, bro. These bears have guns, dude. And I would go outside and I would just bump into one and then I'd run inside. And I'm like six years old. Years old. And then my family found out about it. They bought a bear mask. And then we had a Good full move. a full bear mask, and I'd be sleeping in my bed, eight years old. <laughs> my brother kicks in the door, wakes me up, and growling, and I'd wake oh up and there'd be a bear in front of me. This is amazing. I, 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 I so we made fun this. of you because yes. of this? Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I didn't listen to a lot of things you said earlier <laughs> yeah. when you were opening up. I'll be honest. I got with you. so terrified yeah. of bears. And then they knew once I got comfortable with the bear mask, then they just flipped the mask inside out. Oh my so god. So it was like just a beige. Oh, and then like, we did something. Did we no, print we out were, a we picture? We were planning to do it. Yeah. We never oh, did it. I don't know if we ever yeah. did it, it's but we wanted coming. to scare you with a full yeah. bear costume. I was terrified. Yeah. It's still coming. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be no, honest. Please don't. It's gonna come. That's bears, the scariest animal. Real bears are fucking. They're weird to see. Because you, you actually see them in the wild. Like I, I, I saw one grizzly, and it wasn't a big one. It was only about six feet tall. Mm. But it stood up and it was looking at us. It was looking at us in a totally different way than anything's ever looked at me. I saw I a bear like, oh, when I was in no. fucking Montana, and its cub. Nothing. To, it didn't, was I was it a biking. Black bear might have been a black bear. Maybe a black bear. Did you see I grizzly don't believe man? you. I swear to God, in my life, I was the at my boy at Mundo's my bachelor party. We're doing a bike yeah. trip. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> You need to get high more often. I have video. <laughs> this is, I have not, video of the bear. He's not arguing with you. He's fighting against the feeling the weed is bringing inside of you. <laughs> what is the feeling? I don't think I'm high anymore. I think it passed. It's oh, over. yeah, you're fine. Okay, let's get him a little bit more then. More afraid of bears Yo, or give sharks. Us, give us a blunt because we're in New Depends York. Depends on where we you gotta, are. We got to smoke a backwood. Oh, yeah, pop no. these out. Yeah, on the ground. Bring, bring, the, whole, bring the whole joint over here. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. the ground. <laughs> no, no, yeah. give the whole thing. Oh, we got the dipped ones. That's too crazy for me. But just bring the whole thing over and then we could choose. So here's my answer. On the ground, a bear is not as scary as a shark is in the water. When are you going to just be in one of our videos? Whenever oh, you want. Oh, Would you actually? Sick. In a heartbeat. That's wait, sick. I'll be honored. Let me see what Absolutely. we got coming up. Yes. Wait, let me run some of these. But Is yes. there a camera behind us? I just want to let you know, I no. do get, uh, <laughs> I do scare, not what it, yeah, I do have fears. Okay. Heights. Which is not way better. No one cares. Uh, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, kidding. Now you just got it where it's funny for me to be mean to you, yeah. so I have to play yeah. into it. That's Keep the going. show. We're right. mean to each other for, for yeah. money. The, next, flavor. One, the yeah. next one is fully booked. You can't come. Oh, but sorry. It's lasted, Damn it. It's lasted. Take hand off. Damn. Private jet keeps it. Last uh, to what? Take hand off private jet keeps it. Take the hand off a of private oh, that's jet. Sick, yeah. dog. That's a banger. But he would lose. Like it's not even like. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't. You don't he want would a give private himself jet. fast. But I mean, like sick. the thing with the private jet is, it's the cost of like Just having fucking it. Just sell it. Yeah, I so, guess. Yeah. Dumbass. I'll buy it off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see. Well, may, see how I got myself back in the video. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the one after that, we're testing like crazy experiments. So we're seeing if like a brick wall can stop a train. Um, if like a, a tank Lego can, wall can stop a Latino, <laughs> like, there's a lot. I'll yeah, be there yeah. for that one. Uh, uh, <laughs> if like if you a tank with like um, whatever connected to a train, which one pulls each other? Ooh, like that's interesting. What about a tank and like a Chinese person? Stop. And, like, no, see, he does this. He does this. That's a historic event. I'm glad we got you. Yeah, that's Come a on, historic Come event, on, dude. No, we're, we this can't. is why your ad revenue is low. Fuck, <laughs> we're losing money. We're bleeding money, Damn yeah, buddy. Bro, this Come podcast could have had great. You have me, <laughs> the family friendly guy here. Yeah. We could have had great RPM. And idea. you just, hey, hey, you just said no to thirty thousand hey, dollars. You know what I do? I reinvest the money, bro. <laughs> I give the money back. Yeah, yeah. all dozens you of those dollars. Exactly. We don't need those dollars. Yeah. We want content. Yeah. But so we're okay. It's, it's stuff like that. So experiment video. I don't okay. know if you want to come. The one after that, we're gonna try to fix a thousand people's eyesight. I think it'd be cool. Oh, I like that. Yeah, because yeah. like just a Can lot I do of people, it? a lot of people just can't see, yeah. and the only reason. That, it is because they just don't have money, which kind of blows my mind. I love that. Yeah, so that's that, beautiful. That's philanthropy. And that's philanthropy. Yeah, yeah, you can come to that one if All you right, want. So what's the next one? Uh, <laughs> but, see, the problem is like if I go any further, yep. sometimes 
Like I, I was just saying, idea, and then like the like there's 30 YouTubers watching. They're right gonna now. go like, do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. They're like, oh, you're doing that in November. All right, guys, we gotta get up in October. Wow. <laughs> they do. Uh, so so I, I can only give you like the. You know, I'll be honest. I am down 100 percent down. I fucking love what you guys do. I think it's absolutely amazing. I would be honored to be in video. So whatever one, I think it would be funniest if it, if I was really afraid. Okay. And there heights. are things that I'm quite afraid. Heights. Well, we are we Terrified are going to heights. Antarctica Five, later this year. I will do that. Okay. Everyone says that. We got like. I will. Oh, you will? I will go to Antarctica. Okay. And we got a. Tariq's our uh, person picker. Post is wanting to go. We might get Logan, Casey. Holy shit. We got to see how many seats are on the plane. Yes. Tariq, th- does he get to go over Post Malone? Yeah. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> you don't have a white Iverson, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on. You don't have one song. Actually, you know what? I want to like rip Post, but he seems like a really sweet guy. No, he does. Uh, and I don't, I don't even think know if he's going to last. Last. He just, he just, Say again? He seems sweet, but I don't think he's going to last. He's a cowboy. Well, he's got it's that. not last to leave. He's We're a just Texan, there for dog. Hours. Come on. It's, Wait, it's. Let's, oh. just bring, hey, let's bring everybody. I think, <laughs> I think we got to bring everybody. All right, well, then we need a bigger jet. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to need a bigger jet. Do you mind sitting on Post's lap? Oh. Which way? <laughs> Can I face him? Yeah, That'd yeah. be kind of fun. Cowgirl. <laughs> <laughs> there, um, one of the things we're going to do while we're there is, like, there's tons of mountains that have never been climbed. So we'll climb a mountain in Antarctica, be the first yes. people to ever climb it. We have to be the first person to do a podcast on an- in Antarctica. Oh. I know. That means I got to bring the boys. Thanks, brother. <laughs> Although, yeah. bigger I think, plane, I think Logan bigger wasn't plane. Plan, planning on doing an impulsive there, so. Yeah, but nobody yeah. wants to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> nobody wants to watch all that. <laughs> Listen, we'll do it at the same time, and let's just see whoever, whoever uploads it for. Yeah. Just like the YouTubers watching this with all the ideas, they're like, let's go. Yes, yeah. 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 we'll bring Starlink. I'll bring Starlink with us yeah. so that we get it up first. Yeah, that's smart. Genius. I like okay. that. This guy's got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We got this? Yeah, I think so. Okay, but if we're, we're going to go that effort we yep. gotta really optimize it talk to me like you know less going off tangents a little more structure probably <laughs> just really get that retention some high. type of like story at the end that people yeah, watch the whole way you're really taking the essence away from this podcast yeah no what is the essence to keep it random I don't I don't want to you be know like anymore. when British people ask questions they're really just shitting on you yeah, yeah, yeah. that's not, what you do I'm not I'm trying to help yeah, yeah, yeah. you I care about you are you trying to have a successful show yeah. like that's <laughs> I'm trying to get your attention up so you get more views so you can shit on Netflix more let's go no but we like Netflix Netflix is good now we well. both we both use them you know what yeah I'm but you make more money on your own that's facts yeah <laughs> that how, is. how much is that <laughs> Thank you so much for watching yeah. Flagrant. <laughs> oh, fuck. Now no. they're leaving in droves. Was that a good? Now they're leaving in droves. Oh, fuck. I mean, leaving. we're still in. We're still come in. back, come back, come back. No, yeah, you, yeah, everybody back. Hey, you lost 2 to 3%. Do we right bleep there. them? What? That? Do we bleep that moment? You should or you lose oh. viewers. Bro, I, oh, that's, that I'm, would keep them interested, actually. Okay, yeah. okay. Title and thumbnail for this episode. Uh, what are some interesting things? You were talking about uh, yeah. sexual positions, I think. You were yeah, talking about that. that. Then it'll get suppressed. That'll get dinged. Yeah, it gets yeah. suppressed. Okay. There needs to be like, oh, why oh. Mr. Beast stalker or something like that. The oh. story I was telling about Dubai. Or Mr. Somewhere. Beast drinks alcohol for the first time. Yeah. 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 yeah not, I, I think that <laughs> yeah, won't yeah, get yeah. views. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> no, was that a good one? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're pretty yeah, good yeah. in the bad bucket. Agreed. In uh, the bad bucket. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's okay. the worst. We're so talking about the good do, ones. Oh, we don't want to do good buckets? Yeah, yeah, okay. We're talking about the ones that, you know, keep my. I've never done anything bad in my whole life. Ever once? Never once. I just. Oh, dude. I'm just a perfect person. Yes. Christian. No, I. I <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! We got him back. Sorry, Tari. <laughs> Take that, buddy. Crusades 2020. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Um, how Mr. Beast is making more African Americans? Okay, that I don't know. I don't think though. So. That might. What's the plural remember, coming hey, remember from? Remember the goal here was to keep the money the same as I came in. Yes. So Are, wait, a, wait. Why? What do you mean by that? I don't know. I just feel like you're gonna just keep taking this and run with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we gotta affect the we brand. Need a, we need to tame, <sighs> tame one. Tame it. Like, okay. I mean, here, just come up with. You're the data guy. Come up with something yeah. great, and I'll just yes. tell a story to give you the title. Yes. Oh, so start with title, and then yeah. we wrap. Story like ideally, around. we would have yeah, done yeah. this before the podcast, so we could have tricked them. <laughs> oh <laughs> now, shit! Right. That would have been you're genius. Mr. Podcast. Beast slaps Andrew Schultz. That would be pretty good. Is that a good one? Can I do it? Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh. <laughs> I don't like, did he grab his nuts? Yeah, because they were hanging down like a bulldog. Yeah. Oh, so I didn't want you I to slap my butt. I might have done it, but then when you grabbed the nuts, I was like, Well, yeah. you could have slapped my butt, hit my nuts, and I'm trying to have a baby with my wife. Gotcha. <laughs> so I got to be I, careful. Here, can we get like a free, Tariq, can you grab like a free roaming camera? 
We can get like we got a free we got free up there. Okay, can you just punch it on his face? I don't actually have to slap you. I just need like a no face me. Okay, and I'm like yeah. Uh, no, do I go with all, it? Bro, okay. my hand's so cold. Well, hold on, just deal with it. Okay. So now act like I'm slapping you and okay. look at that You have camera. a cold hand, dude. Know, so He's crazy. a robot, bro. <laughs> so act like I'm slapping you. Look at the camera. Okay. The eyesight makes him click. <laughs> <laughs> dude, your hand is freezing. I know it is, bro. Feel how cold that hand oh is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well. You don't get ex machina. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Not you. I'm good. Like, you know what my favorite moment of your Rogan was? was Rogan is getting all excited. Or he's like... Watching somebody climb a mountain or some shit, and yeah. he was like, oh, freak, "Dude, I'm getting scared. Just watching me. Look, I'm nervous. Feel how sweaty my hands are." And, <laughs> he then, did. and then he just, Jimmy just goes, "No, nah, I'm good." <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I was like, "No, please, was feel crazy. the sweat on my hand." I was like, "I really am good." Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't need to feel it. I, I was, I think I was like, I can imagine what it feels like. Yeah. But you felt it though. Did I? I yeah. don't remember. No, you didn't. I, I really like, don't. That was it. the most alpha shit. That's when I was like, yo, this guy <laughs> was Rogan. You're on Rogan. You're like, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll, yeah, yeah. I just. And you were just, I he just, just goes, she literally go, I don't need to feel it. But he hand. was so <laughs> insistent on it. He's like, feel it. Yeah. <laughs> like, if we were this close, he would have been like, feel my hand. Dude, I want to look in uh, your hands. We should look into that. You think, that, yeah, yeah, what is, is that? This is a problem. It's freezing. This is a very serious problem. Yeah. yeah. Is it Crohn's? <laughs> no, for real. Like, or Bro, can you beat off? Or is it <laughs> like well, can this, you jerk off? What's, or is what it too is cold? very weird, and yeah. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, here. My, my right hand isn't freezing, but my left is. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why one of them is pretty hot. Jimmy. Bro, I haven't jerked off. I've been sitting here the whole yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. That you we wanna, know, dude. You would have saw my dick. Yeah. If I jerked off. Well, you were looking at the analytics yeah. earlier. I saw that. The that analytics little, is. I think you're jerking off. That's why this is here. I'm like, oh my god, that there's a hole in the keypad when we take it. There's a, there's a dent at the bottom of this computer. Look at that, bro. Dang. Uh, we got our thumbnail. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow. You defended Chris Rock's honor, dude. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was great. How long do you think I'm going to be in this? <laughs> Until oh. we decide you can get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're really yeah. a prisoner of this. Yeah. You're Fuck like Jada exactly. in her own marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Just trapped. Jada or Will? <laughs> well, hey, Jada that wants out, can't get out. That's, That's you. facts. What did you guys think of what happened? Thank you, Squire. I mean, dude. Like, uh, first off, the costume. Is yeah. Just unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, it's fire, right? Is this just, just in case like Will tries to attack you? Yeah, you can... this is what comedians are going to have to wear now. On oh, stage. really? Yeah, we're going to have to dress prepared for violence, dude. Yeah. Oh, really? This is what it's like now. Uh, comedians 100%. are under attack, dude. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Everyone dude. wants to talk about Ukraine. Comedians wow. are the real ones we're the that real are under attack. We're you, the Ukrainians of America. Absolutely. You don't look dude. like the we're Kingslayer. We're the Ukrainians of America. <laughs> <laughs> you're not the Kingslayer, but you're like the Prince Slayer. I think. I'm the Prince Slayer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 100%. Which Prince? Yeah, the Fresh. The fresh yeah, one. Definitely. <laughs> okay, um, guys, what were your thoughts on what happened with. Uh, with Will and Rock. <laughs> I mean, that was unreal. <laughs> it's hard to have a We can't move on. You want to hear something funny? I, I saw a tweet that said it wasn't even Rock's joke. It was one of the writers. That's so oh, good. What do you think he's doing backstage? <laughs> so but after, the just writer like, just like, Ugh. Ugh. Uh, Here's the thing. Yeah. The writer probably thought of way worse jokes about infidelity and was like, let's go with something mild. Dude, she's wearing a green, like a military green outfit. Fresh. Yeah. And yeah. is she going to be in G.I. Jane? Wait. No. No. Wait, no. They're not making another G.I. Jane? No. no, she's not doing this for a role. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? No, no, she's doing it because she has alopecia. Yes. She's losing her hair. Yeah, yeah, which is apparently a huge deal. I had no idea. <laughs> Every person at the Oscars has fake hair. Every it, person it, in this I, room is losing their hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shouts to Keeps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, for real, like if there's one place where you can wear like wigs and fake hair and all that kind of stuff, it's the Like every girl there probably has extensions. Yeah, but she and, wanted to be proud. She wanted to come out and say, yo, this is my hair. Well, then keep it a buck. Be proud, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If this is a big deal for black women to not wear their own hair, why have my women be been cutting off their own shit and Yo, sending it this way talk that for shit. fucking decades talk now? Talk that shit. Let's wow. start you a race You can't get war. a nice weave? You know what Wait, I mean? are we starting a race war? A crusade. A yeah. crusade. Yeah. A crusade? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I'm ready for a crusade yeah, right now. You look like it, bro. Yeah, y'all will get there first, but by the time I get there, <laughs> oh, I think that problem. was the strategy. They're like, if we just make them walk there from England in these outfits... The Muslims will just be dead by then. <laughs> <laughs> okay? There's no way that we're just waiting for them. Bro. Son, you're looking for a crusade. I thought you were looking for the yellow brick road over there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it took a while to go. It took a while to go. 
the joke was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The joke was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The joke was exceptional. Yeah. <laughs> but it did take you a while to it get did. there. But that was fucking good. <laughs> bro, Tin Man, bro. Yeah. yeah. They've also now said, I feel bad for him. They said no one's ever rented this album before. Say again? They said no one's ever rented this. I, I was like, I want to rent that. They're like, wait, actually? Mark, we didn't rent this outfit. Oh, that's what I This is handed down. Forged, yeah, forged. Yeah, it was my family. Yeah, they never Scottish forged. Ancestors. My Scottish ancestors yeah, yeah. when we were fucking up the English in their butts. <laughs> you know what I mean? We were cucking out the English, dude. We were Will Smith and the English, dude. Yo, <laughs> oh my if gosh. there's any August Alcina in the end, if there's anything you <laughs> want to say to to Andrew, now's the time because he can't do nothing. I can't about do it. shit. Yeah. You can say whatever you want to me, okay? <laughs> but if there's any time to use your Scottish accent. Now is also the time. <laughs> I definitely want some freedom from this outfit. That's for damn sure. Uh, now, now, question, guys. Jada Pinkett Smith's uh, hair condition. You think that's actually alopecia or it's all like the R&B singers just rubbing her head? Oh, oh my gosh. God. Stop. What? This guy's crazy. They said that her head is like the new log from the Apollo. Gross. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what, you thought I was going to give all the roast jokes in the intro? Come on, so we got to have a couple leftovers. For the conversation, oh you wrote that you can have a career. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's crazy. That's, that's wild, right? Yeah. You got to keep this on forever. Yeah, we got to swing on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I swing back. Well, you got to challenge him to a joust. Yo, yeah. that's fire. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Will he just put Jada like that? <laughs> yeah, Will took home an Oscar and I'll use Vala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> Sorry, Vala. Show the head. Hey. Let's go. We got some growth. Yeah, yeah right. Vala making a comeback. Watch yeah, out, Miles. <laughs> um, okay, what were you guys' thoughts? Like, Immediate reaction was well, crazy on the internet. Initially, Akash said it was fake. You dropped it in the group chat. I thought it was fake. I thought, I it, was fake. I I thought it was fake, too. I don't anymore, but initially, I was like, there's no way that's real. Okay. And then I was watching with Thushar and my wife, and they're like, no, Chris's energy shifts way too Yo, hard. There's a moment, I don't know if y'all noticed, when Chris is about to clap back. Not, not like fight him, but he goes, keep your wife's, Will goes, keep your wife's name out of, no, keep my yeah. wife's name out of your mouth. And Chris goes... Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, he I was about to unload. He needed yeah. to. Yeah, he did. He needed to. And he, he we would have been completely fine if he went crazy, bleep him out, whatever. Yeah, yeah. you got slapped on TV. Yeah, one hundred percent. Like. Not on TV, the TV. Yo, the, literally, like, <laughs> for losers, the Super Bowl. <laughs> the, the theater nerd the, Super the Bowl. The Virgin yeah. Super Bowl. The Virgin Super yeah. Bowl, yeah. he got slapped. Yeah. And it's so fucking crazy because the initial reaction was like, yo, Chris is pussy, blah, blah, blah. I don't think Chris is pussy for not hitting Will back. I think he's pussy because he was worried about his career. You know I saying? thought he was worried about his career, <laughs> but I also think... Mean? Like, if he acts crazy, if he acts professional in that moment, all the execs and everything are, oh my God, thank you so much for doing that. And you acted like a man. Will, you can't, I don't know if we can trust this person. He's got issues, mental health, this, that, the other. And then Chris is the ultimate professional. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it didn't work out like that. What do you mean? We're not looking at him like that. The not, people not are us, like... Not us. I'm saying the decision makers in Hollywood. Like, he didn't hit him back so he can be in Zootopia 4. Right? He's like, I need to be doing voiceover work. I need to do all that shit. Which is sad. It's That's yeah. the sad thing. Yeah. That's the yeah. sad thing. That's you're his 50, career. Son, you're, Antonio you're Brown is not beholden to no one. Yeah. Antonio Brown. <laughs> that's a horrible example. Bill. No, but no, like, no, 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 no. Think about it, think about it. He's, I, most Floyd athletes Mayweather. in that situation go, go. oh, I, I gotta make sure that I uh, keep my composure and I don't you know, say curse out the, the, the coach. I don't do any of that kind of shit. Antonio Brown said, fuck it, took off the jersey. I do whatever I want. I'm not beholden to the NFL. Now, I'm not saying you should be Antonio Brown, but he's free. That motherfucker is free to act however he wants, and he doesn't do what the NFL wants. He doesn't do what the coach wants. Mm -hmm. He doesn't do what the Buccaneers wants. He does what Antonio Brown fucking wants. Floyd Mayweather. Sure. He don't have no sponsors. He's not. He doesn't have to worry about people pulling out whatever. Yeah. yeah he's. I'm going to sell my next fight on my own. Yeah. Make a hundred million dollars, and I could tell me shit. Not Better example. Shit. Because Chris Rock can't do movies, but he can do stand up. Same yes. Yo, he literally his new tour is called Ego Death. <laughs> Antonio Brown <laughs> <laughs> getting slapped at the no. Oscars and not doing nothing. Mm. You can't have an ego about that, bro. Mm. And he can't even come back and make jokes about Will. Yes, he can. Yes, that's, he can. There's, soft, there's two bro. types of black people. <laughs> there's black people and then there's Will Smith. Oh, <laughs> Every time black people want to have a good time, Will Smith come and fuck it up. <laughs>
That's good. Yeah, Keep going. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yo, Will Smith always wants some credit for some shit you're supposed to do. I protect my family. You're supposed to, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> Be my full fifth mind. I hate Will Smith. <laughs> The media. You think when I'm at the Oscars, I'm looking at the audience for the media? No, I'm looking for Will Smith. <laughs> That's going to be so fired. Dude. Okay, fine. But let's like, That's yeah, all you got to talk about. His career is his life. Right, like, like you live and you make movies, and that's your job. Yeah, and that's also your life. And so yeah. it's like, yeah, he just defended his life by not swinging back. Yeah, but his life... That's the gayest shit, man. Yeah. Come on. He's in movies. He makes money by being in movies. And I know you're trying to disagree with us, so you have to have a take, but that's I'm being dumb. I'm going to bail, bail, bail him out. I'm going to bail him out. Okay, bail him out. Bail him out. How do, Will <laughs> Rand. Yeah. Huh? Will Rand. <laughs> Will Rand. <laughs> Will Rand. He did kind of... Slapped him, turn around quick, and started moving. I don't know if it's a run. I mean... I mean uh, it's pussy of yeah, Will yeah. to slap him, though. No, no, no. Because no, if you close that's, fist, that's the most he's disrespect. He's 140 pounds soaking that's wet. The thing, that's dog. the most disrespect. Yo, I, I, I'm I'd, sure a lot I'd of... rather get punched than get slapped. What do you think weighs more? Oh, my God. Chris no. Rock or the hair in the shower <laughs> drain at <laughs> oh Jada God. Smith's house? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think weighs <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No? <laughs> Al tried so hard. Al tried so hard not to. <laughs> Yo, did they think they wasn't going to get these jokes? It's crazy. Like, are you like you come think, the fuck on, bro? You think you could do that and not get more jokes? You think we're gonna, from the comfort of our own home, not talk more shit about Sorry, Jada? I'll be honest with you, and I and I re resonate a little bit with because I've been uh, punched on stage. Yes, yes, I have been punched yes. on stage. Yeah, you, what happened? Can you tell the story? I, I was I was doing a show, my first show in uh, Harlem. Yeah, shout out to Mocha Lounge. Shout out to Mocha Lounge and Smokey. And uh, I went up and I was making fun of some Puerto Rican guy and I wasn't funny. It wasn't even that good, but I was making fun of his ass. And he walked up to me and there's no stage. You're just performing right in front of like the bar, basically. Yeah. And he just walked up and I was like, what's up? And he just swung on me. Now, luckily, they grabbed him before I could do nothing. Yeah. Chris Rock oh, didn't have that luxury. Luckily yeah. for him? No, no. Luckily for before him. Before I could do nothing. Yeah. Luckily, they grabbed him before everybody could see I wasn't going to do nothing. Gotcha, yeah. okay. uh, let, me, let me word that correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I said that the yeah. first time. Yeah. Yeah. So I get to look like the oh, I would have fucked him up. Yeah. But, and I remember they just gave me the mic and they're like, all right, keep going. And it was, a, it was like a legendary uh, story for me because yeah. it's like, how do you react to that? Like, I know everything he felt. Yeah. In that moment, mm. except it wasn't by Will Smith on the most famous yeah, yeah, yeah. stage possible yes. for that. But in the moment, going like, "What the fuck is going on?" Yeah. But luckily, they all grabbed him and threw him out, so I didn't look as pussy as I was about to be. Did you have a sturdy chin? Oh, he didn't drop me or nothing, oh, bro. So you had a sturdy chin. <laughs> so Chris had a sturdy Chris Rock chin. Though. Chin was sturdy. Yeah, he that. leaned in, smiled. He looked like the shark in yeah. Shark's Tale. Do you see the picture of him leaned in, cheesed That's up? That's Will Smith. I yeah. think he thought Will he was joking. Will Smith. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's the guy. I think he thought Will was joking. I think he was 100%. like, oh, no, Shocked. here we go. Let's do 100%. a little bit. Then he legit slapped him, and he just says it like, yo, this guy just slapped me on national TV. Yeah. I mean, he's just no. shocked. I'm just saying, in that moment, you're not in fight or flight mode. No. You're in, like, complete shock mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I'm not, like, I'm not angry at him for not doing anything back. Obviously, you'd want to see him at least tackle him or do some shit. But it is so unbelievable. All of us watching are like, I can't believe this. Imagine being there. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I definitely empathize with him for that. But like, you got to address that shit, fam. You got to yeah. start going. In, right? You got to say something. Like, well, like I'm going to see you after. Or something That's like it. that. I'll just see you keep backstage. It, yeah, boom. And then Even if going. you don't, leave immediately. Yeah. <laughs> we'll handle this backstage. Yeah. Hey, Will. Some of us have a little bit more professionalism. Mm. Some of us have a little bit more decorum. The show must go on. I need to be in Zootopia 6. Yeah. <laughs> okay? But I'll see you backstage. Yeah. That's my point. Yeah. Like, I don't think you fight because it's like if you fight, you're fucking up your whole bag, your whole life. For what? Your honor? Like, nah, you can fight. You can fight. Your ego? Bro, ain't you're nothing wrong with honor, son. Yo, <laughs> also, I Yo, saw. Ain't nothing wrong with honor. Bro, he got paid 70 fucking million for doing a bunch of movies, Madagascar and shit. Like, Who? Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Like he's getting paid dozens of millions of dollars to be in these animated movies. Like if he fights, so not dozens you of think millions if he doesn't sound that himself, impressive. They're not gonna put him in movies now. No, if he like scraps and gets on the ground, if he defends like, himself. No, if you get slapped, no, you get, you're allowed to defend yourself. Yeah, not no, no, they, they might look. But here's the it, problem: like, he can't do nothing. That somebody said this. Mike Albany said this. I would love to see if The Rock said something instead of Chris Rock. Then is it no, keep my wife's name I'm out of your you mouth? One. I'm gonna give you one. What if it was what if it was Jimmy Kimmel? What if it was a white dude? What if it was Ricky Gervais? Ricky uh, Will Smith ain't hitting him, yo. Yeah. That's probably right. Will Smith, mm. What do you think, Al? I don't think he's hitting him. I don't know. 
I think Will was fed up. I think I, the this, next, and I, like, this is the thing. I think Will it could have been anybody. I, I think, think Will was fed up, and then he took it out on somebody he knew he could get away exactly. with taking it out, on. Yeah. which is why That's it's so point. pussy. To he's me. known exactly. him for like twenty five years. He's like, but he's also and made I jokes. Make, I want to make a point about that. He did make jokes in the past. I want to make another point. Nobody in that room was rooting for Chris Rock. What do you mean? Keep this in mind. All the people in that crowd have been made fun of by Chris Rock for the last decade. These are people who live in their own little Hollywood bubbles. Mm. Nobody ever mm. gives them pushback. Nobody ever teases them. Nobody ever says nothing to these people. They don't have a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. You go see these shows and they're like groaning about all these jokes and then applauding when the joke is virtuous, right? Yeah. yeah. They see every, they have to go to these events because they want the public uh, applause. Yeah. They want the public validation, but they know that they're going to get caught in the crosshairs from a Chris Rock joke and it drives them crazy and they were happy. Did you see the way Samuel Jackson dapped up Will Smith yeah, what a afterwards. Fucking loser, Did you see the way dog. that Denzel and hey, Bradley hey, Cooper? Hey, watch it, watch it. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. saying. Hey, Denzel a loser, dog. No, 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 no. Yeah, chill, 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 of of will these are people a lot of the people they are humorless it's not like we have actual comedians and mm. audience they can't go back and forth with chris rock so they were loving the fact that will got up and slapped the bully yeah yeah, yeah. i think they were rooting for it but again will smith was the bully if, yes. if you get bullied yes. and then you pick on another kid that you won't do anything to you you're not not a bully yes and right. Will Smith is choosing to stay with the woman that's causing all the bullying. Whether that's that's his choice, fine. But yeah. if that's the bed you made, you lie in it. I, I, I'm honest. I'm being serious with you. Um, and this is not my idea. So I can't give credit, but I won't give credit to this person because I don't want him to get in trouble. But a friend of mine was like, uh, I sincerely believe that Jada is a witch. <laughs> 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 like with spells and shit. Is this 1300s? Like, Are you talking about Schultz in the 1300s? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I'm being serious. I spent, the, I spent the weekend up in um, wherever we hung those witches. What is it called? Medieval times. Medieval times. Medieval times. Medieval times. Medieval times. <laughs> medieval times. <laughs> no, I spent the weekend up in Salem. No, no. I was talking, I was talking to somebody and, uh, and they were like, no, I think she's like a literal witch. Like, I think she has him mind controlled. And... He laughed at the beginning, at the beginning. That's what fucked him. Yeah, can we discuss that? Okay, the joke happens. It's yeah. a very easy joke. Everybody who's watching now has already heard and it. And not it's a really mean not joke, by the way. Not even that mean. Yeah. He laughs, though, and then she gets a little She upset. rolls her eyes. Okay, she yeah. rolls her eyes. And I think he went up there because he had to make up for the fact that he, that he, he laughed. laughed. That's right. Now, you lie a lot about being Mexican. <laughs> can, can you... <laughs> You're a big time liar about being Mexican. <laughs> Can you cut that shit out a little bit? Why do you think it's a lie? Do you speak Spanish? Claro que sí. No, hablas Oy. español, güey. Hablas español? Claro. Go ahead. <laughs> yo, 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 he was struggling. Yo creo que no hablas español, güey. ¿Dónde aprende uh, español? You don't speak Spanish, Louis. <laughs> Shut that fucking shit up already. Un, Viví un en España. poco, así, así. Viví en España. Uh, Viví un año en España. Okay. Y también trabajé en muchos restaurantes y, uh -huh. oh, y ahí okay. Entonces, aprendí español. Entonces, ¿estás española? No. Claro que sí. No, Porque, no, no. Uh, Eres español, no estás. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a grammar. That's what makes a person a person, isn't it? <laughs> Don't be defensive. Don't be defensive. Yeah, you're really East Villaging this right now. I know, you I really am. are. I own, I, I own it. I'm Listen, defensive about it. You but are, you don't even know anything about why I'm Mexican. I mean, why do you think... Do you really think I don't know why you're Mexican? I don't know anything about what you know. I hope this ends in a fist fight. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, way more fun. Yeah, just kick the shit out of each I other. I do my research. Yeah. I know about these things. Research is me-search. Mm. Oh. What? Now... <laughs> That's a saying. <laughs> what? It's the same when you're when you're when doing you research, research you're searching it. yourself. Yeah. It's mm. like when you're writing, you're always writing about yourself, even if you think you're not writing about yourself. Mm. That's I'm true. a smart motherfucker too. I'm French. I, I want to be French. Oh, I'll make out with a man right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mark is giving the opportunity. Invite him upstairs. Come on. We got some spiral stairs. Yeah, we do. Did you feel when you walked up those stairs? They weren't spiral, but I like that. It's a better. half the spiral. Don't tell people what's on the back end. Yeah. I didn't go back there. I don't know anything. Uh, I believe in that. I trust that. If you tell me that's a spiral staircase. Yeah. You want to go for a walk up the staircase? No, but I, 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 it's there. Can I try again? Hey. Hey. Where are you going? 
<laughs> if, it, if, it, if that guy had done that, it would have been like, fuck. No, no, no. <laughs> See, you guys don't know how to act. You don't know how to pick up. <laughs> You don't know how to pick up a teenage boy. Uh, damn, bro. <laughs> okay, okay. You don't no, no. act sexy with a teenage boy. You, 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 you act cool. You, hey, what's up? Come on. Oh, fuck. Is that cool? I mean, it almost worked on me. That's why I know it. Right, 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 right. right. Cool's changed, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, 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 it's all good. We all get old, bro. And, yeah. uh, okay. Am so, I the oldest person here? I think so, right? What do you mean? Do you really have to like, ask that question? What do you Double. think? What do you fucking think? Oh, my God. <laughs> Break out the yeah. font on your iPhone again. And then <laughs> yeah. Also, when you talked about the bald fat guys crying at Top Gun, I was like, was Louis crying at Top Gun? <laughs> <laughs> I cried at Top Gun Maverick. I did. The reality is, is this chapter of Flagrant is done. Okay? Um, and as we've done in every single place that we've been and as we've done in every single moment of our career, we have to burn the boats. Mm. Because mm. the only way you survive is if you tear it all down. Mm. You absolutely destroy it. It forces you to survive. It forces you to thrive. It forces you to change the motherfucking game. That is all we know. And it's all we will do. So, without further ado, I think it's time to burn the boat. Yeah. The only way out is through. The only way out is through. Yeah. The only process is through destruction. Yeah, the right, only yeah. progress is through destruction. And around. Both and of those. The clouds. Never around. No, no, never I mean, under. Around. Never over. Yeah, yeah. Just through. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. One last moment of flagrancy. Are you guys ready? I'll take that as a yes. Asshole Army, we love you. We'll see you on the other side. Here we go. Here we go, baby. <laughs> he gave it again. <laughs> nice. There you go. Let's fucking go. You got that shit, right? Hey, you got that shit. There we go. <laughs>